Slam that like button if you love cookies. Hannah, 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 Hannah. Oh my gosh, Molly, what do you want? You just asked me for a snack five seconds ago. But I'm still hungry. Can I have some treats? Maybe some chocolate, a uh, candy bar, something like that. No, your mom said no garbage food while I was on duty. Sorry. But, but Hannah, you have to let me eat some chocolate. Preferably, I would like to have a Hershey's bar or uh, maybe like something with peanut butter in the center. What are those called again? Reese cups. Yeah, Reese cups. Can I have one of those? <laughs> You're too funny, Molly, but no. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll have to entertain myself a different way. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, are you seriously jumping on the couch? If I turn around and still see you jumping on the couch, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm still jumping. You should probably give me some chocolate. Molly. Okay, you have five seconds to get down, Molly. One, two, three. <sighs> Thank you, Molly. Four, five. We were just counting my jumps. Molly, seriously. Would you please do your chores? Please, Molly, do your chores. Okay, jeepers, Hannah, you've gotten kind of bossy. Well, uh, I'm not bossy, I'm a good babysitter. You're just driving me crazy. Okay, I'll do my chores. Mom always keeps some extra things in here, and I'm going to eat them. Da, 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 da. What, your mom doesn't keep cookies in the safe? Must be you don't like to eat cookies as much as I do. <laughs> Oh, good cookie. Hmm. No wonder mom was hiding them from me. Mommy, are you eating sweets? I told you not to eat sweets. Yeah, and I have way too much energy. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to bounce on the couch again and you're eating a cookie. You're getting crumbs everywhere. Your mom's going to be so mad at me. Molly, that's it. I quit. Wait, Hannah. H Hannah? Uh-oh. Another one bites the dust. The babysitter, that is, not the cookie. I can't believe I'm looking for a new babysitter again. Molly keeps making all of the babysitters quit, and I need to be able to get to my job every day. Uh, what am I going to do? I know, I'll Google it. Babysitter that can handle bratty, misbehaving children. <gasps> well, mostly just Molly, but anyway. Oh, your kid will behave with my babysitting? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll send her a message. Hi, I'm looking for a babysitter for my three kids. One is trouble. Don't worry, she'll behave with me. Well, you're hired. <laughs> to wake up. Nah, Hannah usually lets us sleep in, Mom. Well, Hannah's not your babysitter today, Molly. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, baby girl. Oh, I know, you're hungry. Molly, get out of bed, seriously. What? Why? What, what's going on? Where's Hannah? She quit, remember? Ow. Ah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you get to stay home with us then, Mom. No, Molly, I have to work. And you have to be with the new babysitter. Now get out of bed so you can meet her. What, a new babysitter? <laughs> I'll have her quitting in less than 10 hours. <laughs> now girls, specifically Molly, I want you to be on your best behavior. This babysitter was the last resort and very expensive. So glue your mom, I'll behave as usual. Um, no promises. Uh -oh. Molly, okay fine, I'll try my best. I could jump on couch like Molly. No, baby Kira, do not act like Molly. Molly's very naughty. I don't want to be like Molly. I love her. Baby Kira, try to be like Daisy, please. Five. Oh, she just texted me. Her name's Brooke, by the way. Brooke? Like Brookie? Like my best friend? Uh-huh, sure. She's probably awesome like Brookie then. Everyone named Brooke, Brookie, whatever, they're all awesome. Ooh, pancakes. Mama, you try to make Molly be nice so she behaves. 
Uh, yes, absolutely, Daisy. Mmm, these are good, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Baby Kira, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my phone. I think Mom, but I want phone guy at five. No, no screen time this morning. Eat your baby food. I don't got you. I'm a baby food. Oh, so I'm going to be the naughty one with the babysitter, huh? Not. One hour later. Mommy, the new babysitter's here. Try to behave yourself. As I said, no promises. Good morning. I'm drunk. No television. But I was watching gymnastics. On my watch, there's no television and there's no fun. Wait, what? Oh, Kuwait! Mom, I owe a prison guard. Especially because of you, Molly. What? It's not my fault. I think about you get that from your fault, Molly. <gasps> I'm not a prison guard. I'm last chance babysitter. Let me tell you, I don't quit. You will behave. Now let's see. It's already pretty late. Time for those chores. Um, we don't really do chores on this day. Well, now you do chores every day I'm here. Starting with my laundry. Hop two. Your laundry. But, 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 but. Wow, this is a lot of laundry. Why are you bringing it here? You could have done it at home. I don't think so. Now, we will be going out for exercise in approximately 30 minutes. Uh-oh. So hurry up with that laundry. Oh, boy. Should have been nicer to Hannah, I guess. This is terrible. Maddie, don't complain. This lady seems crazy. Who knows what she'll do? Well, hopefully she she lets us go outside. Yeah, well, she already said we have to go out and exercise. Your favorite. Um, I don't exercise unless you count eating cookies. That's a lot of exercise for my mouth. Chew, 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 chew. Oh, boy. I, 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 looking up reviews on this babysitter, everyone doesn't even know who she is. Where'd mom even find this lady? Hop, hop, hop to their little bunnies. Time to go outside and get some exercise. Um, I don't exercise. Wait, where's my stroller? Your stroller? You're not a baby. Well, I could probably squeeze in there with baby Kira. Wait, come back here. Uh, no, you are going to get some exercise. No lazy kids on my watch. Whoa, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you're kind of grumpy there, Brooke. I don't think you should be talking to me that way. Would you like a timeout for the rest of the day? Does the timeout include cookies, sitting down and watching TV? No, it includes an underground prison that I've made in your basement. Wait, what? When did you have time to do that? Probably while we were doing our laundry. Oh my gosh, look at your nails. Those are crazy. But anyway, could you help me? Excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, nice Louis Vuitton bag. Molly, quit getting distracted. Um, wait, come back. My babysitter, she's evil. I need help. Your babysitter seems super nice, kid. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, Molly, there you are. You ready to have a fun day at the park? Brooke, you're wearing a smile? Who are you even? You were just a grumpy, miserable, mean babysitter. What? I have no idea what she's talking about. Don't listen to her. Um, do you, do you, seriously, listen to her. She's, she's just acting right now. Molly, I'm the nicest babysitter ever. What are you talking about? Now, come on. Okay, maybe I just misjudged her. Maybe she's not as evil as I thought. I just need to give her a chance. Glad you could join us, little brat. What? You were just so nice in front of that other lady. Yeah, but at last chance babysitting, I don't want to be nice. <gasps> I want you to behave. Whoa! Um, so you are actually me? Ugh, no. I'm honest. You're a brat. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm gonna go jump on the trampoline. Not today, Molly. Get down. No fun for you since you can't really behave yourself, ever. Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I'll just go stand over here then. Guys, I need to come up with a plan because this babysitter is super mean and grumpy. I'm gonna expose her on Snapchat. Then, everyone in, in Roblox, they'll have to believe me. 
Okay, it's Molly here guys and I just want to make this little video because my mom hired this babysitter and she's so mean So I'm about to show you guys so everybody will know Did I say you could have any fun? I don't think so I want to have fun because I'm at the park I don't think so kid, no fun <coughs> See, she just made my little sister cry Time to send this to everybody in Roblox. Hmm, what's this? I got a new snap. Wait, what? Is that babysitter being mean to you, honey? Yeah, and, and, and we need to call the cops. I think we just need to call your mom. Holy macaroni, there's an evil mean babysitter in here. <gasps> Cute guy, that's right. Um, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna call your mom, that's what! Oh, Molly, everybody in all of Roblox got your snap! Including the babysitter. Maybe we should take baby Kira and run! What? You posted this snap? That's it. You are gonna have a timeout forever. I don't think so, lady! Molly, run! Oh my god, this lady's crazy! Big in here! We need a ride! Get in, Molly. What's going on? Do you have room for my little sister? Do you have a car seat? Uh, we're just right here. We're, we're, we're kind of good. You need to take us to the hospital. Why? Did someone lose an arm or something? No. Ew. Gross. Um, no. We this we have this really evil babysitter. And can you just drive the car while you sit in here? Sorry. I didn't really get a really big uh, brain when I decided to be this bacon hair dude. Follow me, dude! Okay, I'm not very good at driving. Hey, man, can I have a ride? No, sorry, I gotta take these kids to the hospital. Something about losing an arm. Dude, bacon hair, we didn't lose an arm. Oh my god, this guy can't drive. Park it so I can drive it! Molly, we'd be faster off just running. Yeah, she's got a point. Let's go. Ah, and then I just got run over by the free candy guy. Okay, um, when I see my mom, I am going to scream that she hired this babysitter. Daisy, the hospital is right here. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> My brain was like in scared mode. Daisy, I'm confused. I don't know which one to go to. Imaging or emergency? I mean, I took an image with the Snapchat, but this is an emergency. Are you serious right now, Molly? Yeah, which one is it? Molly, imaging is for like an MRI or, or like x-ray. We have to go to an emergency. That's where mom works. Plus, this is an emergency, right? Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. I can't even with you. Mom! 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 Molly, I don't think you're supposed to run through the hospital like that. Oh, Molly! What's going on? Why are you here? Are you okay? Where's Where's my girls? Oh, okay. What's going on, girls? Mom, the babysitter's evil! Wait, what? No, you just don't like her because she makes you do your chores. Our chores? She made us do her laundry. Then she calls me a brat and she's really mean to me. What? What are you talking about? Mom, pull out your phone. Um, I sent you a chat, but you were a Snapchat, but you were just busy like with patients or something. Okay, well, let me look at my phone and see what you're talking about. <coughs> Wait, what? She was mean to my baby? <coughs> All three of them? That's it. She's fired and getting one star on Google. Yeah, um, last chance babysitting is not a very good business. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. But, Molly, you were so naughty, I couldn't get any babysitter to not quit. Don't worry, Mom. I've learned my lesson. I really learned it. I'm only going to eat one cookie and bounce on the couch once a day, instead of more like a hundred. Molly. Molly. Okay, how about just one cookie and no bouncing on the couch? Molly. Mom, I can't live without my cookies. <laughs> Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly, what's well, embarrassing? <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or? Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <gasps> and running to the bathroom. Mom, this is humiliating. Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Ugh. 
I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart down again isn't going to kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine and let's close the door quick before I die of s the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any um, ice cream. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Take it back. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor. I'll give you anything. I'll give you a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars, but please take it back. I'm sorry. It's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now, remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out, and um, they should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh! Ugh this lousy apple tastes so healthy! Oh, I just want to eat something delicious like pizza! Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? I guess it was fine! Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat! We could go get ice cream. Wait, um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm. This ice cream's delicious. Tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, sweetest in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. How are you? Whoa. Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're going to, like, faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class, everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh. Why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, well, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> so we meet again, Milk. 
<laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. I know, and now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? <laughs> we sure do! <laughs> so, should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up <gasps> with a fart? <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it! Hold it in! Hold it in! <laughs> She can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party, a farty party. <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait, who's that? Uh -oh. oh, no, you spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man, you spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher, 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 teacher. Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty right now, right now. Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom, and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz, and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do! Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around! Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Dude! She's gonna blow! soccer with me? Sorry, Molly, but I have to do some studying. Daisy, come on. Don't be such a bookworm all the time. Molly, studying is very important for my brain health and growth. And getting fresh air is also important for you. Come on, Daisy. All right, Molly, I'll come out for half an hour. Then I can come back to study. Yes! Finally, I can practice my soccer drills with somebody. La, 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 la. Where's that soccer ball? Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, Molly, what are you playing soccer so much for lately? I want to try to make it onto the soccer team at school. La, 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 la. I'm going to be amazing at soccer. Here you go, Daisy. I kicked it to you. Well, that wasn't exactly to me, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> I still need a little bit of practice, that's for sure. We could get an ice cream cone after this. Molly, I told you I have to study. I keep tripping over this. Why does it keep following me? Ah! It's like caught in a loop. That was really weird. Don't do that on soccer tryout day, Molly. Oh, man. It went to the shrubs over here. Ball, oh, come back here. Don't go down the hill. Don't you dare. Don't go down the hill. Oh, my God. I hate when this happens in Brookhaven. Seriously. You know what I do when this happens, Stacey? What, Molly? What? I just spawned a new soccer ball. Because I'm not chasing it. Like, seriously. That's just ridiculous. Hey, Molly, look. It's Bookie. Oh, Bookie, hi. You want to play soccer with us? Sorry, Molly, can't. I, um, have to go home right now. Why? You gotta go poo-poo or something? We have a bathroom, you know. No, I just can't today. Sorry, Molly. But she always wants to hang out with me. But maybe she's just busy today, Molly. Since when has my BFF ever been too busy to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, you have a point. But I'm sure she has a good reason. Don't fret about it, Molly. Girls, come on in. I made a delicious snack. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay, soccer, pra soccer practice is over. Time for a cookie. <laughs> I love when mom makes cookies. Mmm, these are delicious. Now remember, girls, one cookie a piece. These cookies are huge. And you don't want to spoil your appetite for your healthy dinner. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Just kidding. Give me all the cookies. 
Molly, don't be rude. Just say please and only one. Mmm, wow, these cookies are so good. Um, can I please have about five more? <laughs> Molly, maybe tomorrow you can have another one. I have to wait until tomorrow? I better really take my time with this cookie. It's all I'm getting. It's all I'm getting! Molly, you're so dramatic. I said tomorrow you could probably have another one. That's tomorrow! Today's today! Ay, 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 Molly. Today's almost over and you still have to eat dinner. Mmm. I think chocolate chip cookies make the perfect dinner. <laughs> See you next morning. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mrs. S. Today, we're going to be practicing our spelling words. <sighs> I studied so hard for this, Mrs. S. Great job, Daisy. I knew you would. All right. For our first word, Molly, why don't you come up, onto the, um, come up to the board and spell it for me? Uh-oh. What's it going to be? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? Oh, I get to spell the hardest word of the entire spelling quiz. Oh. Hip. Uh, hip. Uh, hip. Okay, and then I remember it was O. O. P. O. T. A. M. U. S. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> What's so funny, Daisy? <laughs> you spelled hip poop tonibus. Hip poop tonibus. <laughs> what? What? Um, Molly, did you mean to spell the word poop on the board? <laughs> Molly. Um, uh, okay, let me fix it. Is that better? Spell it out for me, Molly. H I P P O P O T A M U S. Very good, Molly. And for the actual quiz, remember there's no poop in hippopotamus. Actually, if they eat enough food, there is definitely. Molly, sit down, please. <laughs> oh boy, lunch. We're even having bean burritos today. Hey, Brookie, wait up. Sorry, Molly, I have to get my bean burrito and then I have to get going. What? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be in the lunchroom today. Why, do you have a doctor's appointment or something? Going to Disney World? Tell me what's happening. No, I'm just going to do uh, something else in the art room. What? But we always sit next to each other at lunch. I know, but not today, Molly. I'm really sorry. But, but Brookie, we're BFFs and we always sit together at lunch. Okay, Molly, uh, where's your school lunch ticket? Oh, I forgot it at home. I'm sorry, Large Marge. Seems that nothing's going right for me today. What do you mean, Molly? You need to talk to somebody about this? Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening, Large Marge. No, the school counselor's down the hall. I'm just a lunch lady. I, I, I'm not good at listening. But, but... Sorry, all I do is make bean burritos. <laughs> and they're good, Large Marge. Thanks for listening, I guess. Molly, where's Bookie? She's, um, not gonna sit by us today. Say what? What are you talking about? She always sits next to you, Molly. I know, but today she has something else to do. What's gotten into her? I don't know what's gotten into her. She just seems to be, well, distracted. And maybe she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Molly, I don't think that's it. Uh, it might be it. Large Marge, she said you weren't listening to my problems. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it over here. Well, you're not very helpful either, Large Marge. Good thing you're the lunch lady and not the school counselor. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just eat your bean burrito. It'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better till I figure out what's going on with Brookie. Well, you could just invite her out for ice cream. Tell her it's your treat. If she refuses that, then I know something's wrong. She loves chocolate ice cream. You've got a point, Daisy. I'm going to do it today after school. A few hours later. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Um, Do you want to walk home? Sorry, I need to take the school bus. But I was thinking that... Uh, wait, Brookie, wait. I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, sorry, Molly. I've been in such a rush today. Um, Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you if... You wanted to go get ice cream with me. Uh, I, I'll pay for it. My treat. Uh, two scoops of chocolate with chocolate sauce. Your favorite. Oh, that sounds really good, Molly. But I'm really sorry. I can't. I have to get right home. Bye! Oh, Molly. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Be an alien took over your friend. 
What? No, that's not it. Oh, and I missed the bus, so now I've got to walk home alone. I could walk home with you. Uh, no. Pass. Marley! Well, you're my sister and you're kind of annoying. Uh, I've been trying to help you all day. I've got something else that I need to do. I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to see at the library and study a little bit anyway. I hope you figure out things with Bucky. Thanks. I think I'm going to need a lot of luck. Oh my gosh, what is going on with my BFF? Does she not want to be my friend anymore or something? I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house without her knowing and spy on her. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea, but um, it's probably a good one. Molly, don't do it. You know that you shouldn't spy on your friend when she doesn't know you're there. Who said that? I'm your angel of consciousness, and I, I tell you to do good things. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Huh? What? what? Why am I hearing all these voices? <laughs> I'm the little devil that lives inside you. And I say spy on your friend. Spy, spy, spy. Don't listen to him, Molly. He's evil. What? I don't know who to listen to, but I got to figure out what my best friend is doing. So, sorry, Angel. I'm listening to the little devil inside of me. <laughs> Molly, no! <laughs> so glad we got rid of her. Come on, let's go. Okay. Probably listening to you is a bad idea, but I do need to see what Brookie's up to. <laughs> and we're about to find out. All right, here's Brookie's house. I'm going to guess she's probably in her room. And I can't go inside, so I'm going to try to climb this tree. And uh, I'm not very um, good at climbing this particular type of tree because there's nothing to grab onto. And what's that sound? Sounds like it's coming from her garage. All right, guys, I'm going to be very careful and sneak up so she doesn't see me spying on her. What is she doing? She's building something. Wonder what it could be. She probably doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, devil, she probably doesn't want to. Molly, think this through before you do something crazy. She's your best friend. Don't listen to Angel. You should be mad about this. Yeah, I think I should be mad about this. Now both of you go poof. Brookie, what do you think you're doing? What? <gasps> Molly, what are you doing here? Um, this isn't, this, this isn't what you think. It looks exactly like what I think. You are ignoring me and being rude to me. And, and maybe you don't even want to be my best friend anymore. Molly, where is this coming from? What do you mean, where is this coming from? First of all, you didn't want to hang out with me the other day. Then you didn't want to sit with me at lunch. Then you didn't even want to go get an ice cream when I was paying for it. What's wrong with you anyway? What are you doing? Um, Molly, I was taking all this time to build you a birthday present. What? Yeah, and, and I wanted it to be a big surprise. Well, it was still rude. I mean, you always spend time with me. And, and why would you be rude and not just tell me? Because, Molly, it was a surprise. I can't tell you about a birthday present that's a surprise. Oh, well, still, it hurt my feelings. You know what, Molly? I was going to give you this ice cream cart as your birthday present, but now I think you don't even deserve it for being so mean. So I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to eat all the ice cream. It's delicious. The chocolate is especially good. You're not going to let me even have any of my own birthday ice cream? Why should I let you have any? And it's not your birthday present because I didn't give it to you yet. Miss, I'm so rude. Um, uh, Molly, just get out of my garage. No! I told you that wasn't going to go very well. I warned you. Well, why didn't you warn me louder? Sorry, it's not in me to be rude. Don't listen to her. You yelled at her for a good reason. You two are way too loud. Well, Molly, maybe next time you can, um, well... You can just try not to be so mean, but in the meantime, you could apologize to your friend. Don't do it. She's evil. You don't want to be her friend. Ugh, oh, you guys are so annoying to me right now. Besides, I'm pretty sure that Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore. This is going to be the worst birthday of my life. <laughs>
No, I can't go to school today, Mom. I, I, uh... I've got bird flu! Molly, no you don't. You don't look sick at all. I can't go because I've got chicken pox! Molly, you don't even have a single spot. Get out of bed and come downstairs for breakfast right away. Uh, okay. Uh, who would have thought that school would have been every single day, Monday through Friday, for so many months? <sighs> who came up with that idea anyway? <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Did you fall down the stairs or something? What's happening? Oh, ma, I'm so sad, but I just got a call from the school. School is canceled. What? I didn't get a text or a call from the school. That's because they only send one call out per family. Otherwise, it just takes forever to call every student. Marty, they would just text all the students in one mass text. They wouldn't call. Your lies are ridiculous. Molly, are you lying to me right now? No, I mean, I'm so sad school's canceled. She's lying. Molly, get your breakfast and get ready to get on the bus. Or else. Fine, cheapers. Mmm, breakfast pizza. Uh, Molly, I didn't make any breakfast pizza. Nah, this is just a leftover pizza from last week, but if you eat it for breakfast, then it becomes breakfast pizza. <laughs> oh, boy. I go good today with my and Daisy. Uh, baby Carrie, you're too little. You can't go to school. What? I went good good. Oh, boy. This again. Mm, this pizza's delicious. I gotta go get dressed, though. Bye! I went good good. I went good good. I got backpack. I go good too. Um, baby Kara, you can't go to school yet. You're not old enough, honey. You're still just a little toddler. Yeah, baby Kara, besides, there's a lot of big kid stuff that happens like homework, math and science, riding the school bus. I want Goku! Oh boy, it's gonna be a long day. Okay, baby Kara, come on. Let's go change your diaper. Daisy, the bus is here! Molly, I'm standing right behind you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even hear you. We're like a sneaky ninja. Yeah, that's definitely me. Sneaky ninja. Um, well, you're more like a nerdy ninja, but you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Ugh, I can't even get on the bus. What's wrong with me right now? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Brookhaven bus, why are you so hard to get on to? Good morning, students. Now, remember, keep our hands to ourselves, all that stuff. I go in the school. Hey, what's a little kid doing on the bus? This isn't for babies. I'm not baby. I toddler. And I go in school like a big girl. Well, I don't. I can't believe there are any babies on this bus. This is total. Whoa! You that bad word. You said. Oh my gosh, a toddler just swore! <laughs> oh man, I think it might be a bad influence. Wait a minute, why, why is my baby sis still here? Good question, why are you here? I don't go to school like my big sisters. Um, you can't go to school because you're not five yet. And then you start kindergarten, you're not in middle school. Well this is total b Oh my gosh! Did you just say what I think you said? I think she did. Baby Kira, where'd you hear that word? I think it's a total Oh my gosh, go to the principal's office right now. She'll call your mother and, and work this all out. Daisy, where's the rest of the class? They're still getting off the school bus. Oh my goodness, baby Kira, you're gonna be grounded for life. Ah, oh, there's a student in my office already? School just started. Wait. I can't even see the student. Who is that? <gasps> it's a baby. I got baby. I told you. Why everybody call me a baby when I told you? This is b Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Aren't you Laura Acker's daughter? I am not Acker's daughter. Oh my gosh. I better call her on the phone right now. Mmm, <sighs> this coffee is delicious. Finally, a moment of peace just to myself. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no, I wonder who that could be. 
Hello, Miss Ackers. Is this you? Yes, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Well, um, this is the school calling. Uh, this is the principal. Oh, great. What did Molly do now? No, no, Molly didn't do anything. Well, yeah, anyway, the day is young. Well, what are you calling me for then? Did Daisy get another amazing grade in science class? No, it's about your other daughter. My other daughter? I don't have another daughter in school. You must be calling the wrong person. No, your littlest daughter, Kira. Oh, <laughs> what are you calling about her for? She's in my office. She's been saying, what? She didn't say that. She's right here. I, I just put her down for a nap. I'm just going to run into the room and look and make sure. Oh my gosh, she's not here. Oh, I am so sorry. She wanted to follow her big sisters to school today and apparently she succeeded. I feel like a terrible mom right now. Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. It happens more often than you think. I'll keep her here in my office until you can come pick her up. And you might want to tell her that she can't say uh, in school. All right, I don't know where she learned that word. It was, certainly wasn't from me. Maybe her father. Baby Kira, you still have a few years left to go before you, um, you know, come to school. Baby Kira, there you are. Oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. I am going to go like a big girl like I go to school. Because, honey, you're not five years old yet. What, what this is? Oh my gosh, you are not allowed to say that, baby Kira. Where did you hear that? I like to find this boy on your bus. He said a lot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. My daughter was so naughty today. Oh, I was hoping you'd be more like Daisy instead of Molly. Well, I can see my work here is done, so, um, well, good luck. Thank you, Principal. Come on, baby Kira, it's time to go home. I'm not going, I stay here forever. Oh, I can tell that you're definitely gonna be more like Molly. Oh. Who's not paying attention in my class? Molly, after school detention. Oh man, I'm always getting detention from this teacher. What's his deal anyway? Daisy, you can have detention too. What? But I study for math class. I don't care. Detention for you all. Ah! Oh my gosh. A robot has taken over Mr. Albert. Look at, he's got a wheel on the bottom and, 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 and robotic arms. Daisy, we have to escape. Quick! I don't know how to escape, Molly. He, he locked the door. No, he didn't. Look, see, I can get out. You think you're going to escape me? <laughs> Molly, run! You figured out how to pick the lock, but this guy, he seems to be business. Ah! He caught me, Daisy! Molly, just try again. Never give up, Molly. Oh, yeah, he caught me, too. Only guacamole. Look at the clock. It's like... It's like he's, he never wants us to leave, ever. Yeah, I think that's the whole point, Molly. Never leave, ever. Oh my gosh, she's so close to you. You can't even see where you're going. Holy guacamole, please don't kill me. Nope, he got me again. Oh my gosh, I can't even run fast enough. I knew I should have done better in gym class. Okay, let's try this one last time. What if you don't get it after this last time? Um, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck in detention forever. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, he got me again. Oh, this part's so hard. I can't do it. You can, Molly. I believe in you. Maybe if somebody would just distract Mr. Albert here, I could get out. Okay, I have to start running, like, as soon as I move. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. He's behind me. It's, it's, I can see his flashlight. No, that's not his flashlight. That's his arm. His arm is creepy. Oh, my gosh. I finally made it that time, guys. And then he disappeared. I'm in the flooded bathroom, though. It's okay, Molly. Just jump over the um, water coming out of the Oh, you touched it! Ew, you touched the pee-pee water. Ew, gross. Boing, 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 boing. Don't touch the poopy water. Well, Molly, I guess we're going to have to go down the toilet. Ow, ew, gross! Oh, it's a sewer down here. Well, where did you think that the toilet went to? I don't know. I was hoping the ice cream shop. <laughs> We don't know what's happening here. Oh, my God. I died. Okay. I don't know how to get Ooh. over. Am I supposed to jump? Yes, of course you are. Oh, my gosh. 
I think she might have rocks for brains today. I don't have rocks for brains. I just didn't know what to do right there. Whoa! Ha ha ha! I jumped over the side, so I feel like extra smart right now. Guys, have you played Mr. Albert's School yet? Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend this crazy game. Ooh. Ah! Ready, just be patient. This one won't, like, dump you over or anything, so you can take your time on this one. Okay. No, I didn't take my time. Okay, I finally did it. Oh, finally, Molly. Oh, my gosh. There's Mr. Albert. What a crazy psycho he is. What are we supposed to do here? Get washed away, Molly! Washed away in the poo-poo water. Okay. Ew. Ew! Oh my gosh, there's Mr. Albert. Ha ha, you can't get me. Let's go up this ladder and see where it goes. Oh my gosh, it goes out to the street. Does that mean I escaped already? Because I've only been playing this obby for like four minutes. Oh, okay, my car. Oh, I made my head go on backwards. Oh, that was just sad. All right, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Oh, it's always the blue car. Okay, I think if I just stand in the middle for a second, it might, it might work. I don't know. Come on, Molly. Are we ever going to escape or what? I'm um, hoping so. Yes. Okay, I sort of figured it out, guys. Yes. You can't stop in between. I thought maybe the car would hit me if I did that, but nope. Ooh, we're at a pool party. I love pool parties. Oh, my. Except for when I drown at the bottom of the pool. Not cool. Boing, boing. Oh, they sink! Does that mean I've eaten too many cupcakes? Yes, Molly. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> oh, man. That's harsh. You sunk everything to the bottom of the pool because you ate too many cupcakes and now you're too chubby. Ooh. Um, Daisy, I don't, I don't know what this is about, but maybe we can jump up here. No, don't even try that, Daisy. It's a fail. Look, my head is on backwards. It's so much of a fail. All right, I think you just gotta jump over it. Just be, like, super careful. Yeah, and it seems thinner right here. Ah, oh, ta-da! We made it. Dude, that says fire. Why does it say fire? Oh, my gosh. This part Ooh. is nerve-wracking. Ah! Look at my arm. It's, like, spinning around. <laughs> oh, you gotta start all the way back here? Um, okay. I'm trying not to die so much. I don't wanna die. Today's not my day to die anymore. Yes! Okay, back down into the school. We're in the science lab. Daisy, your favorite. Look, everything's so big in the science lab. Or we're so little. Uh, yeah, that's probably more accurate, Molly. Wait, where do we go now? Through the store? Oh, yeah, okay. Dripping water everywhere. Oh, wait, there's that creepy, like, lunch lady or whatever. I think we have to go see the creepy lunch lady. Nah, we're gonna go back into math class? Oh, my gosh. One plus two equals three. We're actually doing a math test. What? Wait, did he just kill me? I, I got the right answer. Oh, he punched me. Oh, my gosh. I think I got to the next part, though. Um, One plus two equals three. What? Daisy died as soon as she got here. I'm going into five. I don't understand why you keep saying... Okay, I tried to answer the right way, and it didn't let me. Watch, this guy's going to, like, punch me again. Oh, now the game is stuck. What is going on right now? Guys, we just had to run through the entire game again to get back to this point because it froze. Oh my gosh, that stunk so bad. But I think I may have this figured out. See, this guy is sleeping. And I think if you touch these red things, these red like carpets or whatever, you'll wake him up. So I'm gonna try to not step on these. And then I'm gonna answer the question. See, I, I didn't step on it. Oh wait, what? He just woke up? Three mine. Oh my god, he got me. Okay, now it's timed, guys. Now it's timed. If I have to start over again, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, here we go. He's right behind me. Um, wait, what did it say? Oh my gosh. What's that say? I can't see. One plus two is three. Remember, we can't touch the red circle. Okay, what's the next one? The next one is I'm stuck again in the same way. Oh my gosh, guys. This part of the game is impossible to get through. Guys, that was insane. My game froze twice. Daisy's froze once, so she had to start all the way over from the beginning. I had to start all the way over from the beginning twice, just to show you guys the end. Excuse me, this end of this game, and I have hiccups now, too. All right, the door is locked. Let's go see if we can find the, the key. All right, maybe we have to go through here. Nope, that door is locked. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know where there's a key. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find it. I'm sure of it. Oh, wait, look. There's, there's like a... 
There's a big red button that's probably gonna open the door and then the inside there is gonna be the key. That's what I'm guessing. This is just a guess. I don't know. That might just unlock the key, but oh my gosh, no. It brought out Psycho. So I have to do this part again, guys. Quit pushing the button before I'm ready because that guy comes and then we both die. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. DC, you have to wait for me, please. I was next in line. Daisy, you didn't even wait. That's so rude. Sorry, Mali, but I wanna survive. What, well, so don't I, cheapers. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, does he follow us past Ooh. here? What? Ugh, nobody lets me have a turn. I'm, okay, I quit. Daddy, don't quit. Oh my gosh. Well, you didn't want to wait till I pushed the button even though I was next in line. That's just rude. I'm telling mom. Molly. Okay, fine. I'm just saying, like, this guy comes out of here and I was waiting and... All right, guys, here I go. I have to try to escape Mr. Albert and I can't escape him. Oh, this game is frustrating. <laughs> Let's go push the button. Maddie, just don't give up. You're gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. I don't know. Wait, as soon as you push it, you gotta run as fast as you can. Run as fast as you can. Run like the wind. But don't cut the wind. Hmm. Did I make it? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, he disappears too. All right, where do we go now? Maddie, I got the key. You gotta go get the key too. Come on, I'll show you where it is. Daisy, I feel like you're leading me the wrong way. There's no key. Wait there, Molly, see? And I'm sorry I cut in front of you and took your turn. It's okay, I guess I forgive you. Really, you only guess? All right, I forgive you, sort of. Molly, I forgive you, okay? Thanks for helping me find the key. All right, now, oh, now we gotta go over here. What's gonna happen, epic boss battle? Oh my God, we're fighting the lunch lady with a baseball bat. Or is this a rolling pin, I don't know. Ah, I can't get out of the corner. Ah, ah take that lunch lady. Ow, she hit me over the head with a rolling pin. Black. That is one ugly lunch lady. Um, I'm not saying all lunch ladies are ugly. Maybe you're a lunch lady that's watching this. Maybe you're like beautiful, but this one's evil and also ugly. <laughs> okay, she might be sort of like trying to hit me in the head with a rolling pin over and over and over again. Ow, quit it. You are mean. Oh, okay, you gotta wait. Cause she's like, she times her rolling pin attack. And you have to hit her after she tries. Boink, boink, boink. Oh, I don't think I got her that time. Let me hit you in their gut. Right there. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, it's saying her health is the same no matter what I do. I don't know. She's invincible, guys. She's invincible. Only if she hits you back, I guess. Oh my gosh, I just died. I just got killed by the lunch lady. Can you guys believe that? Oh, now I have to start all over again and see if I can just beat this lunch lady over the head with this baseball bat. That is wrong. Wait, she smacked me once and I died? That doesn't seem right. All right, guys, I got this. I got this. Oh my gosh, how can I not like, knock this lady out already? I've hit her in the stomach like 50 times. She's very slow though. That's the thing about the lunch lady. She can't seem to like hit me with that very good. Okay, yeah, she did kill me twice, but I've almost destroyed the lunch lady. Oh, I got her down to 8% health, guys. Ah, ha, 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 finally. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> Bounced on her stomach. All right, finally now I can leave. Oh my gosh, look at this, Daisy. I know. I was waiting for you to show up just so I could see, you could see how creepy this part is. His hands are like trying to get you. Yeah, I see that. That is very creepy. Oh, we need this crowbar for something. I don't know what, but probably to pry apart our, to our freedom. All right, let's do this. It didn't seem to work very good, Daisy. Am I missing something here? Daisy, how'd you fit through there? I didn't need as many cupcakes as you, so I'm skinny you. Oh, man. All right, I've just got to keep breaking these. i got to break enough space so I can get through. Come on now. Hiya. Hiya. It helps if you had the crowbar in your hand. Ay, ay, ay. Have you seen this man? No, I haven't. Can I keep this crowbar, though? Because... I feel like Mr. Albert's gonna come back and it's gonna be bad. Molten lava in the school? What else could happen now? Come on, Daisy, let's go. Oh man, it's one of those. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at these. At least it doesn't go like down into the lava because that would be just my luck, right guys? Oh, Daisy died. Daisy died. Are you teasing me right now, Molly? Uh, maybe just a little. Oh, I got killed by a laser. Are you serious right now? Oh man, that was like so simple too. I feel like such a noob. Okay, then I'm gonna run through here and stop. Wait, what? I'm all right, I guess I did touch that laser. Oopsie. Can you just jump over them? That would be easiest. Yeah, I think actually you can. Perfect! Molly, look, a giant diamond! Wait, why did we get a giant diamond? Uh, wait, what? How do we get out of here? Oh, do I take the giant diamond? Okay, I took the giant diamond. And now what? Now I get 
Oh my gosh. This looks difficult, peoples. How am I ever gonna survive this? Holy guacamole. All right, I think I gotta go this way first. Okay, the fan's not lifting me up. I don't know what to do. Let's try this one more time, guys, because I think I may have done this wrong. Okay, there we go. Now the fans are working, but look at all these lasers. Oh, I always die on these parts. This is so difficult. I can do it. <laughs> on the first try. Awesome. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it pushed me into this gra grapple hook. I don't even want that. Wait, wh what? What just happened? I'm like floating outside the game? Okay, this game is very cool, but it's really glitchy. So just know that, guys. All right, I'm gonna reset my character. It was so weird. It was like the fan was still blowing me and then it blew me into like outer space or something. That happened to me too, Marty. It was kind of crazy town. What's gonna happen now, Daisy? Boss battle? Yes, Marty, boss battle. Oh my gosh. Um, He might have upgraded himself just a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm like beating him up right now. Hit his helmet. Oh, okay. Daisy, we gotta smash his helmet. Um, And hopefully he doesn't smash us to smithereens. How do I smash his helmet? How do I get close enough? Okay, I can tell. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be stuck at school forever. Oh, Molly, you poor thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. He totally annihilated me. Oh, my gosh, I lost. Can you believe that? I never lose boss battles. Well, there's a first time for everything, Daisy. Let me show you how this is done. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you can't even get in. What? Huh? What? Okay, I guess I have to go kill myself on the lasers then and then come back. This game is really glitchy, but it's it's it is very cool. It's just if you made this game, you have to make it less glitchy. Okay, um the the boss battle will not work for me. Um it's broken. What? You don't have to do the boss battle? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'm gonna jump back to an earlier save point and see if maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go find out. Oh my gosh, Daisy! We're stuck here for like forever! What? You died one time? Me? No, you died too. And now we're stuck in this horrible school with Mr. Alba? We don't even have the chance to beat him? Um, I guess that's the way they designed the game, which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the only obby I've ever played that if you die once on the boss, you just get stuck in the game forever. Well, unless you want to start all over from the beginning. I already did that twice. Holy guacamole! Do I need an ice cream after this game? Yeah, no kidding. This was crazy. Guys, let us know if you beat Mr. Albert at the end of this game in the comments section below. Daisy and I, we're failures. We're noobs. I can't believe this. Well, believe it, Daisy. It's our fate. Hey, guys. What's up? Today, Daisy is getting picked up and stolen by somebody. What? If we were trying to do the intro, put me down right now. You need to have a bottle and a night-night. No, I need to do the intro to this YouTube video. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this is okay, Daisy. I'll do the intro by myself. Guys, today we're in Twilight Daycare and... Oh, wait. Daisy's back. We are going to be playing the wow. new mermaid story. OMG. I can't wait to be a baby mermaid. Me evil. Why is this person standing in front? Oh, my gosh. I can't even with this intro right now. <laughs> oh, very funny, Molly. Oh, now your back is to every fan in the entire world. Sorry, I'm doing my best. You, I really do need a nap. <sighs> okay, this this girl with the bunny ears wants to be in our video, so we're gonna let her. Hey, what's up? Wait, what's your name? I can't see your name. Um. Oh my God, she just turned into a me clone. Weird. <laughs> Molly, she might be a super fan. Yeah, she wants to be my twinsy. The first thing I need is a mermaid outfit. Oh, purple mermaid, yellow mermaid, security dolphin, Mr. Fish, brown pirate, pink pirate, fairy tale princess. Oh my gosh, they have a lot of new stuff in here. But I'm gonna definitely be um the purple mermaid. And I'm gonna be the yellow mermaid. Holy cow, 249 Robux. Okay, so worth it though, so worth it so that I can... Be the purple mermaid. You've earned a new sticker. Oh, I got a vending machine sticker. Oh my gosh. Buy the mermaid den house and then you get the mermaid den house. Oh, I'm the cutest little purple mermaid ever. Oh, wow, Molly. Um, you are pretty adorable. Thank you. I know I am. <laughs> and I've earned another sticker. Oh, that sticker is so beautiful. I love it. Daisy, oh my God, you're a 
you're adorable as a baby mermaid. I know, right? Like, look at my pigtails. They turned green. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look adorable. Thanks, Molly. Now, come on. We better get to the water before our tails dry out. Good point. Let's go. <sighs> I'm not going to make it back to the ocean. <sighs> I'm not going to make it. Don't say that, Molly. We have to make it back to the ocean. I'm so thirsty. And my tail is so dry. Uh, look, Molly. We made it. Hooray. Let's get out of here. Oh, home sweet home. Ah, Now that's much better. I love this under the sea place. It's my favorite place to be. Daisy, I'm starving. I know, being in the human world is, well, exhausting, and I'm so hungry. Well, I have a little leftover chocolate. Uh, no, Molly, we need to get in our high chairs and eat real food. Okay. I'm not sure I'm good at feeding myself yet. Ah, I spilled some on my face. It's okay, Molly, just try, because you're super hungry and you're getting grumpy. Mmm, that was good. Mmm. Ah, I feel all better. Ah, <sighs> except for the fact that... I'm kind of tired. And also, I need to have my teeth brushed. I want my mommy. Well, Molly, I don't know where our mommy is right now. She she might be, um well, up in the human world. But I want my mommy. Oh, that's just great, Molly. You earned it. You cried, Stickle. <laughs> oh, seriously. Oh, my gosh. I keep earning so many stickers. Oh, I don't want any more stickers right now. Molly, let's read a story and maybe take a night-night. Good idea. I always like to read a story before I go take a nap. Time to start exploring Atlantis. Pearl, I don't think we should go that way. Why? What's wrong? Only that creepy dolphin who doesn't stop looking at us. Hey, I have a name and it's Jeff. You can't enter this area unless you have a ticket. How can we even get one? You can't. They're sold out. Ugh, fine. Think you can at least help us find any treasure around here? Sure. There's some right over there. Oh, that was quick. Thanks, Jeff. And so the mermaid friends went to explore the treasure. This has some really nice jewelry we can take home. That's true. But it stinks we can't visit Atlantis. I may be able to help with that. Jeez, don't sneak in on us like that. You scared me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anyway, if you let me keep this jewelry, I will give you two tickets to visit Atlantis. You've got a deal, but couldn't you just take it yourself? It is free to take. I could, but if Jeff sees me taking one more necklace, he's gonna freak out. And I want something nice for my wife's birthday. Oh, I see. Well, here you go. Happy birthday to your wife. And here are your tickets. Have fun. Yay! We can finally visit Atlantis! We're gonna have such a fun time there! <laughs> Molly, why are you still crying? We read a story. Do you want a night-night now? No, I want my mommy. We gotta go find her. I think she's still in the human world. You want to go back to the human world? If it means finding our mommy, then yes. She must be lost, and, and we've got to find her. I want my mommy. Well, I want to take a nap. I want sleep. Not till we find our mommy. Hey, you're not my mommy. Put me down. <laughs> I'll make it so you never see your mommy again. You'll be stuck at this daycare forever. <laughs> and once you turn into a human, you can never go back to mermaid land. You're evil. Get away from me, crazy. O-M-G. He was literally trying to turn me into a human forever. Hey, stop it. I need to find my mom. Oh, wow. Okay, Um. obviously, yeah, he is evil and wants to turn me into a human even though I'm a baby mermaid. Oh my gosh. And now I'm separated from Daisy and my mom. And I don't know what to do. I need my mom. Oh, look. It's the ice cream truck. No, have to stay focused. Have to stay focused. Wait, what was I doing? I really want a chocolate ice cream. Oh, well, who cares what I was doing? I just need a chocolate ice cream. La, 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 la. Ooh, what you got? Popsicles? Chocolate ice cream. Strawberry ice cream, a red popsicle. Ice cream with a cherry, chocolate, and vanilla with strawberry on top. Yes, please. Do I not have any money? What? But I wanted ice cream. Ah oh, wait, there it is. I got it. Okay, cool. Mm. Mm, that's good. Oopsie, I spilled a little bit. <laughs> what was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Look at for my mom. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! 
Molly? I is that you? Mom! Mommy! Oh my gosh, there you are! I was so afraid I'd never see you again! Molly, what are you doing in the human world? You're supposed to be staying in mermaid land. I only came here so I could get a job working at the daycare and to learn more about humans. Their babies are so cute, aren't they? Why did you follow me here? Because I was curious about the human world too, Mom. Oh, honey. Mom, where's your, where's your mermaid tail? Are you a human forever? No, honey. As soon as I get back in the water, my mermaid tail will reappear. That's because I'm a grown-up. Mama? Mom! You both followed me to human land? Oh, my gosh. You're both going to get timeouts. Yeah, and I don't feel very good. I eat ice cream and made my tummy hurt. Oh, honey. Oh, okay, well, come on. Let's get you both to mermaid land so you can get feeling all better. Seems like you both need a nap. Can you carry me back to mermaid land? Oh, feel so good. Of course I can, sweetie. Ooh, you are feeling sick. We need to get you girls back before you lose your tails forever. I don't want to lose my tail forever. Come on, Molly. We gotta get back to mermaid land. And maybe next time you girls will listen to me and stay in mermaid land where you belong. <laughs> Did you have a good day? I don't want to go home. I had such my fun. You don't want to go home because you had so much fun? Oh, sweet girl. I'm so glad you like your new preschool. Well, like, I can't come in today. Uh, no, it's, uh, I, I, I can't work tonight. Because I have my twins. That's why I'm here picking them up from preschool. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my job. Okay, all right, I'll come in. I can find a babysitter. Oh, hi. You must be a new mom, too. Yeah, I'm Lorelai. Oh, well, I'm Laura. Our names are almost the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really bad day because my boss wants me to work a shift because one of the other employees got sick and uh, I don't have anyone to watch my twins. Well, I'm sure we could have a play date with my daughter and you could come pick him up at my house later. Does that work? Oh my gosh, you do that for me? Yeah, that would work great. I don't think so, Mom. Yup, yup, yup. What do you mean, Baby Kira? You love playdates. No, 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 no. I think a bad idea. No. No, I'll lie you. Baby Kira, what's got into you? I'm sorry, Lorelai. She probably just needs a diaper change or maybe a bottle. Yeah, I don't need anything. I, I don't want to have playdate with the twin. Baby Kira, don't be rude. Besides, I already told Lorelai, so just try to have fun, okay? All right, Lorelai, I'll text you my address and you can pick up the twins after you're done with your work shift. Thanks again so much, Laura. You really saved my life on this one, or at least my job. No problem. I don't know why I did that, Mom. Those twins, they're evil. What? They're evil? <laughs> They're just babies like you. Don't be ridiculous. Here, baby Kira, take your passy and try to be very sweet to the twins. See, isn't everything all better now? I don't think so. Okay, Megan and Tegan, you guys can sit in the third row. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. I wanna sit next to her because she smells bad. I don't smell bad. I smell like, um, uh, like my bath bubbles. Oh, yeah, she does smell really bad. Baby Kira smells like a piggy. <laughs> That's not funny. Quit teasing me, Megan and Tegan. Mommy! What, Baby Kira? What's going on back there? They're being made to be all ready. Oh, my goodness. You little kids are something else. Just try to get along, okay, everyone? We're gonna go to a super fun diner for dinner. Then we'll go to the park. Oh boy, we're gonna book a fun diner, little papa. Mega and Tika, you're gonna love it. I'm so glad I got this mom bus. Turns out I really need it. <laughs> la 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 la. Ew, her singing's bad. I know, Tegan, her singing is really bad. 
Hey, don't talk about my mommy that way. Okay, girls, each of you can get something from the menu for dinner, and then you can each have a dessert. Oh, boy, I love dessert, Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby Kira. Megan, Tegan, what would you like from the menu? Mama, mama, mama. Wait a minute, baby Kira. I just asked Megan and Tegan what they're having. Okay, I'll wait then. I'm going to have an ice cream. And I'm going to have some pie. No, girls, you have to eat something for dinner first. Baby Kara, what are you going to have for dinner? Maybe the girls will have the same thing. I'm going to have uh, a cheap burger and... Um, and how about a vegetable? You want to pick a vegetable? A fruit salad? Yes, you can have a cheeseburger and a fruit salad. Those are great choices. Okay, Megan and Tegan, what are you going to have? I'm going to have, like I said, an ice cream. I I'm going to have pie. I told you they were evil. You did this to me though, Mom. Baby Kira, go sit in your chair, please. They aren't evil. They're just being a little naughty. Whoa, that's the biggest tea burger I ever saw in my whole life. Oh, wow. And the fruit salad looks good too. I don't know why I had your Roba. She's so annoying. She still talks like a baby, Megan. I know Tegan, she does. No, what's this? I'm not eating this. Well, I ordered it for you since all you wanted to order was dessert. I got you some tacos and I got you some chicken and salad. Doesn't that look really good? No, I don't want to eat that. It looks gross. You're a bad babysitter. I told you they were evil, Mom. I told you. Baby Kira, sit down and eat your dinner. It's not nice to call Megan and Tegan evil. I think they are, though, Mom. I think they are. I'm not eating anything unless I have my apple pie. Um, okay, well, um, I guess you aren't eating anything then because you can't eat apple pie for dinner and you're going to get very hungry. Oh, thank you. You're rude. You're rude, lady. I want to go home. Now my mom can see how evil they really are. One hour later. Okay, girls, you only have about 30 minutes. It's starting to get dark, and then we're going to go back so your mom can pick you up. I'll get a swing on that swing. Oh, there's one for all of us. Whee! No, I want to swing on that swing. Get off of there. Don't push me. Ah, oh, Megan. Oh, Megan, you pushed me. I'm good, you. Well, you should have gotten off the swing. Oh my god, baby Kira, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I can't move my foot. I think I broke it. I didn't do you. Oh my gosh. Megan and Tegan, you guys are being extremely naughty. And now you pushed her off the swing and, and, and she's probably really hurt. Oh my gosh. You guys really are evil. <laughs> We are wondering if you are ever going to figure it out, lady. Okay, I need to call your mom. And then I need to take baby Kira to the hospital. Mom, it really hurts. I need to leave you. Well, scratch that. I think I'll have to take these girls to the hospital and call their mom from there. She's not picking up. Megan, Tegan, don't let me see you doing anything else naughty today. For reals. You girls are going to make me crazy. Now, come on, baby Kira. Let's get you to the hospital and get that leg looked at. Megan, Tegan, keep up, please. We're coming. Jeepers. You're so bossy. <laughs> My leg really hurts. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I love my uh, Megan, why don't you go and get baby Kira some water? Here, here's some money. You can get it out of the vending machine. It's just around the corner. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, sure. I'd do it. <laughs> Tegan, I dare you to get in that x-ray machine. No, Megan, I dare you to get in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all your bones look like. I bet you won't even have a brain. Oh, uh, whatever, Megan. I will have a brain. <laughs> look at you. You're inside the x-ray machine and I'm 
the big doctor that says, um, hmm, nope, you have no brain. What? Yes, I do have a brain. Nope, see, you don't. I don't see a brain in there. Whatever, I definitely have one. Look at all these adorable little, little babies being so quiet, Megan. I know what you mean, Tegan. <laughs> Let's go some trouble. Let's have a rock concert. La 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 la. What are you girls doing? I sent you for a bottle of water and you're wrecking the entire hospital. Ah! Go get the bottle of water right now. We got your water and maybe now you can grow a new leg. Oh my gosh. You two really are the most evil identical twins ever. I need to call your mom and have her come pick you up right away. It just keeps ringing. Oh, wait, I think it's going to voicemail. Hi, you've reached Lorelei. I'm currently in Cancun and I'll be back next week. Can't believe I found someone to watch the kids. I needed this break so bad. Leave a message after the beep, but I probably won't check it till next week. Lorelai, you come get these evil twins right now! Whoa, look at this place. This beach resort is amazing. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Wow, this is going to be the best vacation ever. Well, it's, it's a little crowded, don't you think? Never! Everybody's coming here because it's so cool, Dad. Everybody wants to have a vacation here. Yeah, Dad, duh. I mean, this is the place to be in Roblox. Hey, w where's Mom? Your mother didn't think this was the place to be. She decided she wanted a vacation by herself. Apparently, being a mom all the time is kind of hard work. Are you serious? She went on a vacation without us? <laughs> Just kidding. She's putting the baby down for a nap in the hotel. <laughs> She'll be out later. Oh, I thought you were serious. Hey, guys, let's go check it out and, and see the beach and stuff. This place looks so cool. Molly, did you just stop and check for cars? Yeah, there's cars at the beach. Duh, you don't want to get run over. Like, oh, hey, I'm on my beach vacation. I've been here for five seconds, and I got run over by a Jeep. That wouldn't be a very good vacation. Okay, she does have a point there, people. This is the nicest sand I've ever been on, seriously. Ooh, is that a boat out there? Oh, my God, someone's drowning. All right, um, I'm not a lifeguard, but I'm a really good swimmer, so maybe I can help out. Just, are you okay? No, I'm drowning. I'm drowning too. Okay, well, let me just help you out. I'm rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Okay, I think I rescued you. Yes, that makes me so happy. Okay, guys, let's go and explore under the water. This is snorkeling. Buddy, you need snorkel kill. Oh, my sister is so annoying sometimes. Ow. What is that? Ooh. Oh, wait, I have to come up for air. Oh, my God, I'm drowning. Um, can I rescue myself? Um, guys, I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm seeing my life flash before me. Hello? Dad! You, you, Dad! Okay, I'm floating on top of the water. That's probably not good. Okay, maybe I can just get some air while I'm up here. Molly! Molly, I'm coming! M Molly, are you drowning? No, I'm already dead! You took so long to get here! Just kidding. Uh, that was horrible. Okay, now I'm sinking to the bottom. Dad, uh, do you know how to rescue me? Because if not, I'm about to die. Please, let's not start the beach vacation this way. Okay, Molly, just hold on. Hold on, okay, I got you above the water. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm rescuing you now. Molly, that was terrifying to have to rescue you. You do know that when you're swimming underwater, you have to come up for air, right? Um, well, I haven't gone swimming in so long because we live where the snow never ends. She has a point, Dad. We do have very long windows. She probably forgot how to swim. Yeah, you make me go to school every day. It's not like I have time to practice anything except for homework and detention. Oh, Molly. Oh, I'm just saying, if you go back in the water, make sure you can actually swim and come up for air. Yeah, Molly, you definitely need to know how to swim if you're going to go into water. Okay, well, I'm going to try that again without the drowning this time. Daisy, you want to come with me? Sure, Molly. I actually am a very good swimmer. Of course you are, Daisy. You're good at everything. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow. The water is crystal clear today. 
I want to swim out to Flat Rock. That looks amazing. And guys, look, I think the water's just going to keep getting deeper and deeper as we get farther out. That's what happens, Molly. The water just gets deeper and deeper. And you're going to drown because because you're too far out and you can't swim. You literally cannot swim. I can swim. I can swim. See, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, boy. I think maybe she needs to ride a boat. Whoa, there's an ambulance. You have all the other people who can't swim. All right, I'm going to go get on this boat, guys. I don't know if they'll care or not, but I'm definitely going to get on it. Hey, wait. Come back here. I need to go for a ride. Why can I not get out of the water? Ow! <laughs> Drowning on the side of the water. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm with the lifeguards. Cool. All right. Can we go out to like see some things like dolph dolphins or something? Because I'm on my first vacation of the summer and I want to see all of it. I don't know where my sister went. She's somewhere out there in the water, but it doesn't matter. She's fine. Girls, stick together. Uh-oh. My dad said stick together and I don't where my, know where my sister is. This vacation is kind of crazy. Get in the back. Whoa, the lifeguards are cray cray around here. Oh man, she looks like she's having a horrible vacation. What happened? Did you, are you having a bad vacation? Is everything okay? Don't even talk to me right now. I'm having the worst day of my life. Oh man. Daisy, oh there you are. Hey Daisy. Hey Molly, oh so you didn't tell me that you weren't going out to Flat Rock. I swim all the way out there. Oh sorry, but I want to go on the boat. But this boat just never seems to move. Oh wait, there we go. It's moving. Sunset cruise. Oh, Daisy, you're going to fall off. Be careful. I'm trying not to fall off, but there's not really a seat for me. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, it's because there's so many people on it. Do you guys see any dolphins? There are a lot of people on this island, Molly. I don't see any dolphins. Maybe we'll see a shark, Molly. Jump over the edge and let's find out. Are you serious? Uh, if this is shark-infested waters, that's probably a bad idea. Nonsense, Molly. You're an expert swimmer. <laughs> Not. Oh, whoa, look at we're out on this little island. And we crash on it. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I love going out on this island, though. I don't know. This vacation so far has had good moments and bad. Time to go look at some fishies. Uh, Molly, you just gotta be careful. Remember, you need oxygen. I know, I know. Wow, I don't see a single fish. That usually means there's a shark nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, it scared off all the fishes. That's the way it goes. Holy moly! Um, that sounds terrifying. Molly, it's not a good idea to be swimming after dark. The sharks will be very active then. Okay, going back on the island. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, I can't get out of the water! Daisy, can you give me a hand? Uh, no, Molly. What are you doing, Molly? Get up here. I can't. I just keep going down, down, down. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally got back up onto the island. Uh, Molly, let's get on their boat before they leave us here. And then we'd be stuck. And that would be crazy. Yeah, there's no coconut trees to eat coconuts or anything. Okay, they're saying we are going. Well, wait for us, okay? Don't leave without us. Jeepers. That one lifeguard looks like he was on Castaway. Look at him. He looks like he's been on a deserted island for a really long time. He's got like a crazy beard going on. Yeah, and he kind of smells too. Don't think he's taking a bath in a while. He was probably abandoned on that island. <laughs> oh, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. Molly, where are we going? I think we're going back to the shore. Yeah, we definitely are. The next day. Ah, this is the life. Oh, honey, I'm so glad we got to do some relaxing. And we found that amazing um, kids daycare at the beach. Ugh, I bet baby Kira's going to love it. Yeah, she gets to hang out and with kids her own age and stuff. Like, you guys get to relax. Yeah, it's going to be great. Seriously, I needed this vacation. Hey, Molly, I found a golf cart. You want to go with me on it and go for a ride? Yeah, can we, Mom? Can we? Oh, I don't know, girls. Come on, honey. We could use a little bit of just us time. Let the girls go have fun. Besides, Daisy's driving, right? Um, of course. I'm the responsible one. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible, responsible. Okay, where's the golf cart? It was just my right heel! Oh my god, someone stole it! Okay, this beach vacation has turned into something totally crazy. <sighs> um, alright, maybe we could take this. Molly, that's not ours. Hey, hey get, get out of here. We're going for a ride. No, no, I claimed it first. Oh my god, we're all fighting over it. I can't even get in the seat. It, like, won't let me. Come on, Molly. We'll go see if we can find a different one. Okay, let's go see if we can find um, a different... Ooh, look at this. We can go on a jet ski. Want to? Molly, that's for the lifeguard. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be fun. What? Where did you get that rainbow? Ah, uh, well, I 
I just got it for vacation. I want a rainbow. Look like a sparkly unicorn and I didn't get one. Don't be such a grumpy Gus. You want vacation, Molly. <sighs> well, I guess we're not going for a ride in the, um, in the golf cart or anything. Nah, I'll find another one, Molly. Daisy, I found an abandoned golf cart. Okay, I don't know where Daisy went, but I've got a golf cart. Wait, does it run? Okay, there we go. I thought maybe it was broken. That's why someone left it here. Oh my God, this is fun. Whee! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Should I try going up those stairs? Whoa, it's a little bumpy. I don't know where Daisy went. She went to look for a golf cart, but... I'm the only one that found one. Oh my God, guys, look at that. There is actually a water slide at this place. I didn't even know that. Okay, now I have to go down the water slide. That looks amazing. Hope nobody steals my golf cart while I'm up there. What? You have to go all the way up here on the cliffs and then you can go down it? Oh, um, gee, you can see the entire island. There you are, Molly. Daisy, look. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, that was seriously fun. <laughs> oh man, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. She's got the hiccups. Did you eat a hot dog for breakfast? What? No, ew. Hot dogs always give you hiccups. Yeah, sometimes when I eat um sushi, it does too. I don't know why. Okay, Daisy, <coughs> let's go. Oh, you ran into the golf cart. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Was that Molly I just saw fly by? I thought Daisy was doing the driving. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with the steering? Ah! Okay, um, I just got thrown completely. Okay, uh, that was crazy town. I don't know how that happened. I got in an accident. It threw me all the way over here. Did you guys just hear that? Sort of sounded like a shark. And I'm really, really far from the shore. Oh my God, guys. I gotta swim really fast. Really, really fast. Holy macaroni. It's one of those fish with those weird light things on the front of its head. Do you guys see that? Uh, I don't think they're very friendly. I'm going to swim away. And hopefully I don't run into that shark either. Ah! Whoa! There's a shark! Oh my god, guys. I'm in so much trouble right now. That shark looks hungry. He doesn't see me. Oh no, he definitely sees me. Ah! I met a shark on my vacation! Ah! Okay, don't follow me, please. Please. Wait, is he sinking? Is that shark in trouble? Well... At least I'm not in trouble because I don't want to get eaten by a shark. Ah, I don't know if this is the craziest vacation, worst vacation, or coolest vacation. All I know is, is that I'm almost back to shore. Wait, is that whales over there? Oh, no, wait, guys. They're not whales at all. They're, they're, they're dolphins. O-M-G. Um, can you guys give me a ride back? Uh, I don't know. I think those are orcas. No, the, those are orcas. I should have paid attention and... In, 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 into science class because I don't know what that is. Guys, can you tell me? I think that looks like an orca. At first I was like, no, it's a whale. Then I was like, nope, it's a dolphin. But now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm up close. It's definitely an orca. What's down here? More whales, guys. But none of them want to seem to eat me. So that's probably a good thing. But I'm gonna go back and find my family because right now i am just really hungry for lunch and i was thinking about maybe i'd have some fish sticks <laughs> just kidding <laughs> all right guys i'll see you when i get back from my vacation bye <laughs>
Feminism! Ah! Molly, that's just makeup you put on. Mom's gonna know. Now come on, we have to go. We're gonna be late! And then you're gonna get detention and a bad grade. You can get grounded for two months instead. Ugh. Good morning, Bob! Good morning, baby Kira. I need your papa. Molly, what, what what's wrong with you? Why are you painted green? <laughs> with that face, like looking all mad right now? She looks like the incredible Hulk, doesn't she? Daisy! I'm gonna go incredible Hulk on you if you don't leave me alone. Molly, what's gotten into you? Oh, go take a shower and wash off all that green paint. And turn your attitude to a friendlier one. It's time to get ready for school. Today's report card day. Don't remind me. Ugh, it's gonna be the worst day of my life. I just know it. Molly, come on, we don't wanna miss the school bus. Molly, what would you like for breakfast? You can take it on the run. I'm not even hungry. See you after school, Mom. Bye, Molly, have a good day. Okay, I guess she's not gonna say have a good day back to me. Oh well, this is what it's like when your kids grow up. Overall, everyone has had a great report card this semester. There were a few people that failed a few of the classes, which was disappointing. But I want to say that one student in our school has had a huge improvement, and I've decided to buy her ice cream every day for the week just because she's done so amazing. Huh, huh, I don't want to get my report card. I know I've failed. And then mom's gonna grab me for a month. She's gonna be so disappointed in me. I just know it. Well, Molly, maybe you got most improved. You have worked extra hard this semester. Yeah, right. I'm never be smart enough to get most improved. Most improved goes to Molly Acker. I know, I know, I get detention again. Ugh. I'll show up at three o'clock, just like I always do. No, Molly, she got, she said you got most improved. Say what? Me? I got most improved? Did I hear that right, Daisy? You sure did, Molly. Congratulations. Mom's gonna be so happy. Plus, you get free ice cream at every lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Okay, everyone, let's calm down and I'll hand out the report cards. Remember, you need to have it signed by one of your parents. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life, ever! I can't stop smiling. My face hurts I'm smiling so much. It's frozen this way. Oh my gosh, I got all A's and B's. Mom and dad are gonna freak out. They're gonna be so happy. <laughs> I get free ice cream for an entire week too. So happy right now, so happy. Daisy, I guess you got A's on the entire report card, and didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did fine, as I always do. <laughs> um, yeah, I did great. I did super great! Can't wait to get home. Can't wait to show Mom and Dad. I bet they're gonna buy me a car. Uh, Molly, I wouldn't depend on that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to show Mom my report card! Mom! 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 Mom, 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 Wow, Molly, what has gotten into you? Did they feed you donuts for lunch again? No, 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 no! I got my report card, Mom. And guess what? I won most improved in the whole school. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did get detention like every day, so the bar is kind of low. Mom! <laughs> Let me see your report card, Molly. Here you go, Mom. What? All A's and B's? Yeah, you're gonna buy me a new car now, right? Um, no, Molly, but I am gonna say congratulations. I'm very proud of you. And you know what? I think we can go out to your favorite restaurant tonight to celebrate. Really? Mm-hmm, sure. I like that you buy, I like that I put my diaper. Um, where's your sister? I don't know, usually she's so excited to come in here and show you her report card. She was kind of dragging her feet when we were walking home. Oh, hmm, maybe something's bothering her. Why don't you go find her while I change baby Kira's diaper? Okay, Mom. Hmm. Maybe she's in the backyard or something. Maybe she's sad that I'm smarter than her now. <laughs> Daisy! Daisy, where are you? Daisy! I can't believe it. This is the worst day ever. Daisy? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why? What's going on? I can't talk to you about it, Molly. You wouldn't understand. Well, Mom wants you to come in. It's almost dinner time, and she wants to see your report card. Well, 
I guess it's time to face my doom. What are you talking about? <gasps> Did you fail something? Molly, get out of my face right now. Okay, fine. I was just trying to talk to you, but apparently you don't want to talk. I get it. I mean, I did amazing this time. That must make you feel pretty bad. Molly, did you find your sister? I, I went by in my diaper before Mama chased it. Yes, baby Kara, I know. Yes, I found Daisy. She's coming. Why are you frowning right now? You were so happy about your report card. Daisy, like, was rude to me. No, I wasn't. You're just annoying, okay? Go away. I didn't talk to Mom alone. Okay, fine. I don't know what's ever gotten into everybody today. I think it's I the baby. Da, 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 da. Daisy, why are you crying? What's wrong? Well, I'm embarrassed to admit this to you because I'm always so amazing and perfect. Well, Daisy, no one's perfect. What happened? I failed gym class. It wasn't my fault. They wanted us to run around and get all sweaty. And when I get sweaty, it ruins my pigtails. And I look ridiculous and frizzy all day. Do you want me to look frizzy, Mom? Do you want me to look frizzy? Daisy, this is serious. You failed a class. I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you for a month. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <gasps> Daisy failed? Dun, dun, dun. This is so weird. I'm usually the one that fails, and now it's Daisy? You little eavesdropper. I told you not to... To listen! Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. I'm gonna go crazy! Don't worry, Daisy. It's only a month. And it's so you can practice. Huh, Mom? How's she gonna practice gym? Daisy, run around the block 30 times and get really sweaty and make your pigtails really frizzy. There, that's gonna be your practice. Ugh, that sounds terrible! I need time to work on my science project at night! Yes, but uh, Molly has a point. You are going to have to practice gym since that's what you failed. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to purposely fail lunch just so I have to practice eating more every single day for an entire month. <laughs> and I want what's on the menu, too. Pizza, ice cream. Molly! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> yeah, definitely going to fail lunch next time around. <laughs> today. You can tell that spring is right around the corner. Wait, soccer ball, don't go over the edge. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. There goes another one of my soccer balls. Oh, man. Hey, Molly. Brookie, is that you? Holy guacamole. Look at your hair. I know, right? It's so different. I love it. Oh, whoa. It's awesome. You, like, straightened your hair, and you dyed it darker, and then you put red streaks in it. Holy cow, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks, Molly. So, um, what are you doing? I'm playing with my soccer ball, but it accidentally rolled off into town. But that's okay, because I was thinking that maybe I could go to the salon and get crazy hair, too. Because us besties, you know, we should, like, both have crazy hair together. Do you think my hair looks crazy? No, 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 not like crazy, like, woo, woo. Crazy, like, amazing. Like, you're so crazy, girl. You look amazing. Okay, I think I know what you mean, Molly. So, you want to have crazy, amazing hair, too? Yes, exactly. Let's go. Molly, wait a minute. What? What is it? Um, I think maybe you should ask your mom first. She's kind of strict, and I don't know if she's going to let you do your hair like that. Um, I, I don't think she'll mind. We should just go. Molly, you know that your mom will probably say no, but you should ask her because you don't want to get grounded for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'll go ask her. I'll wait right here, Molly. Hopefully she says yes. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Molly, what kind of trouble are you getting into? What kind of trouble are you getting into? I'm not getting into any trouble. Mom, mom. Yes, Molly? Oh, I was just trying to think of what I was going to make for dinner tonight. Um, well, while you're thinking about that and not really paying attention, I have a question for you. No, Molly, you can't eat cheesecake for dinner. No, Mom, I was thinking, no, you can't eat a cupcake for dinner. No, 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 it's not about dinner. Um, Brookie dyed her hair like this dark color with red streaks in the front. What? Seriously? Her mom let her do that? Yeah, and it looks amazing. I was wondering, um... Can I take my allowance and um, dye my hair too? Um, no, Molly. I don't think so. What? Why not? 
Because, Molly, your hair is so beautiful the way it is. Besides, why do you want to dye it? Because I think it'll be really cool, Mom. And besides, look at your hair. I mean, your hair is like rainbow. I, I, I don't understand why I can't have rainbow hair. Well, Molly, I'm a grown-up, so I can do whatever I want with my hair. You're not a grown-up, so you have to do what I say. Mom, I'll do my homework every single night without complaining or detention for the entire month. Come on, Mom, that's a great bargain. Please, please, please! Ugh, you need to do your homework regardless, Molly, but the answer is still no. Maybe when you get a little older. Older? I practically have gray hair! Mom, I am so old. Ugh, so old. Look at these bones. They hardly walk anymore. The only thing that could help me be not so old is to get my hair dyed. Molly, quit being so ridiculous. You're not old at all. You're not even a grown-up yet. And the answer is no. Mom, it's not fair. Why? Molly, I just think... You have beautiful hair the way it is. Let's just leave it that way. Fine! Ugh, worst day ever! Hi, Molly! Are you having a great day? I am! Don't even talk to me right now, Daisy! Whoa, she's in a bad mood. Molly, um, how did... Uh-oh, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, uh, uh... Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. Y you can't get your hair dyed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to get my hair dyed, all right. She said, yes, that's amazing. Come on, let's go to the salon. I can't wait. Oh, I'll race you there, Brookie. Oh, yeah, right. My bike is so much faster than yours, Molly. I don't think so. Looks like I'm beating you. Oh, whoa, we almost ran into each other. Whoa. Molly, what are you doing? Be careful. Ah, I forgot which way the salon was because I never go there. Hey, you're cheating by doing a shortcut through the park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to win. Duh. Brookie! What? You said it was a race. Oh, man. Molly, I totally won. Ugh. I need a faster bike. Well, you can't afford a new bike and your hair getting dyed. So what's it going to be? New hair. Hi there, sweetie pie. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm going to have my hair dyed. Do you know what color, honey? Um, no, not really, but I'm going to think about it while you're washing my hair, okay? Sounds good, sweetie pie. Is this the lady who did your hair? Yep, it sure is. Liz is the best hairdresser in all of Brookhaven. She's so fabulous. Look at her makeup and her hair. She's so amazing. So grown up. Yeah, I'm so grown up too. I can't even believe that I get to have the hair done. Yeah, and then maybe we could do your makeup too if you want. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want my hair done though. Okay, is this water too hot? Ow! Yeah, that was super hot! Holy guacamole! Oopsie, sorry! <laughs> Let's try that again. How's that? Too cold! Ah! Sorry! Okay, I think I have it just right this time. Okay, I hope so. Man. All right, you're all washed up. You can go get into the chair, and we'll talk about what color you want your hair to be. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking about doing pink. Something totally different that I would never do. Pink? Really, Molly? That's so, like, different than what you'd normally do. I know, right? But I think it could be amazing. It'll look amazing on you, Molly. Go for it. Thanks, bestie. I just still can't believe your mom said yes. Um, yeah, well, uh... She did say yes, right, Molly? Um... There! I'm done! You look gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Molly, your mom did say yes, right? Well, not exactly, but once she sees how amazing my hair looks, she'll feel bad for not saying yes. Or she'll ground you for life. Let's make her hair blonde again. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't change her hair color twice in one day. It'll make her hair fall out. My hair fall out? Oh my gosh, no, I think that sounds like a bad idea. And besides, the pink looks amazing on me. Even Liz said I look gorgeous, darling. Well, I have to admit, Molly, it's very different. It's even more drastic than mine, I think. Come on, let's go back to my house and have a snack. Excuse me, are you going to pay for your pink hair? Oh yeah, sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> I gotta pay ya. How much was it? $300. $300? Um, uh, I'm really sorry, but I only have $250. Ugh, okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to sweep the floors then because uh, basically you have to pay for it. Oh, Molly, you didn't see how much it was before you came in? No, now I have to sweep the floors to pay for it. 
don't forget to get all the hair. Ew, gross. I got a vacuum of hair. That's disgusting. That's what it's like when you work in a salon. Do a really good job, please. You owe me $50. All right, fine. There, how's that? Well, it looks great. But next time, try to come with all the money, okay? Sure, thanks, Liz. My hair looks fabulous. I know, darling. You look gorgeous. Molly, I'm really worried about what your mom is going to say. It's going to be fine. Now, come on. Let's get on our bikes and go back to my house and get a snack. I'm starving. I'll beat you there. Molly, you never beat me there. Oh, my gosh. She always thinks she's going to beat me there. She never does. I'm going to this time. If I can make it up that giant hill. Because the hill is huge. <sighs> I should ride my bike more and get in better shape. <laughs> OMG! Beat you, Molly. What? Ah! Oh, you always beat me. That's so annoying. Come on, let's go get a snack. Hey, Daisy. Holy guacamole! What happened to your hair? Um, what happened to it is I look amazing. Oh my gosh, mom is going to ground you for the rest of your life, Molly. I don't think so when she sees how amazing my hair looks. Oh boy, I don't know what to say to you, Molly, right now except for good luck. Mom, I need a snack. Oh hey, Molly! What did you do to your hair? Please tell me that's a Halloween wig. Please. No, it's my actual hair. Liz at the salon said I look gorgeous, darling. Molly! I told you you weren't allowed to dye your hair. Yes, but mom, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? That's besides the point. You are grounded. What? No, mom, I know that you, would, you said no, but look at my hair. It looks amazing. No, Molly, you went against what I said, and there's consequences for that. Consequences? You mean like having awesome hair? Oh, boy, this is going to be good. I got my popcorn for the show. Daisy, get out of here. I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> no, Molly, you're grounded for two weeks. You have to do extra chores to earn money to get your hair back to blonde. Two weeks? Okay, but I can still play Roblox, right? No, and your friend, Brookie, has to go home. You can't see her for two weeks. What? But mom! Molly, when I say no, I mean it. Now go to your room. Oh my gosh, this was a horrible idea. Uh, how'd it go, Molly? Daisy, leave me alone. Pookie, I'm sorry, but I can't be your best friend for the next two weeks. What? Yeah, we can't see each other for two old weeks. I'm grounded and I have to go to my room. No, Molly. I'll write you letters. Yeah, I guess since I can't get on the computer, we could write snail, snail mail letters. Yeah, Molly. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, man, this day stinks. Oh, Christmas is over so quickly. I mean, it seems like I spent months saving for Christmas so that I could buy every person I love a present. And then in about five seconds, everything's torn open and I have to wait a whole nother year. Well, goodbye, Christmas tree. You've lived such a beautiful life, Bert. Bert? Dad, who's Bert? Bird's your Christmas tree! Well, that's what I named him this year anyway. Sometimes I name him Alan or Paul. Dad, you are so weird! <laughs> well, what would you name a Christmas tree? I wouldn't name it, Dad. That's just weird. But I will miss, uh, Bert. He was a great Christmas tree. What are we doing in here? We Dad, why do you get that axe? He's chopping apart the Christmas tree. It's time for Christmas to go away until next year. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I don't want to be here to witness this. It's too sad to my heart. I'm going outside. Hey, I have a better idea. Dad, can um, Daisy and I go to the park? Sure. I'll just be in here crying because Christmas is over. Okay, Dad, have fun with that. Come on, Daisy. Let's go to town. Wow, there's lots of people at the park today. That one's on the trampoline. <laughs> wow, you're right, Molly. Did you stop for a Starbucks coffee and you didn't bring me one? Sorry, Molly, I only had enough money for me. Oh, can I have a sip? No. Hey, Nicole, see you back in school next week. Hey, Molly, hey, Daisy. I love your show, by the way. Um, Your YouTube show is amazing. Thank you. Ah, why'd you run into me? Rude. Oh, my gosh. The town is full of people. <sighs> Sometimes I just wonder what it would be like if nobody was around. Oh, well, I guess it'd be kind of lonely and boring. 
Whoa! Going higher than the Christmas tree! Whoa! Molly, you're gonna go too high! You're gonna fall off of you! I almost fell into the pool! That would have been amazing! Molly, I actually filmed that. I'm gonna put it on TikTok. <laughs> hey, Stacy, what's up? Hey, what'd you guys get for Christmas? Um, you know, a bunch of stuff. I got a hoverboard. That was pretty cool. Should have brought it with me today. You totally should have, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Everyone's so friendly. Yeah, except for Sarah. Good thing she wasn't at the park today. Well, Daisy, I'm gonna go home and make hot cocoa. Do you want to come? Ow! You ran over my toe! Sorry, I'm still learning how to run this skateboard thing. I don't, I don't know how to ride it. I'm still little, so, you know, it's hard to figure out sometimes. It's okay. Um, hopefully you get better at it, though, because my toe is killing me now. <laughs> Going home for some hot chocolate. Last one to the house is a rotten egg. I'm going to beat you over. Oh, man, I'm totally a rotten egg. Dad, you're still chopping apart the tree? Yeah, Bert, he's just, he's so resilient. He just, he doesn't want Christmas to be over. Okay, Dad, well, we'll make you some hot cocoa, okay? Okay. I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's Sarah. Are you going to let me in or what? It's freezing out here. Uh, yeah, but why are you wearing a tank top and shorts? It's the middle of winter. Because I look cute, duh. Now stop telling me what to wear. Okay, come on in. What do you want? She always bullies me at school and then she comes to my house. Like, why? I have to tell you something. It's about your house. Wait, what? What's a, what? What's wrong with my house? Is it on fire? Dad, the house is on fire! Wait, what? Ah! No, your house is not on fire, jeepers. Oh, false alarm. Oh, oh, okay, good. Well, then what is it? You made it sound all dramatic and stuff. I just read this insane history book at the library. Wait, you read? Of course I read. What, a, like, stupid or something? Of course I read. Just because I'm amazing and fashionable doesn't mean I'm not also smart. Yeah, Molly, just like me. Yeah, no, you're not fashionable. Yes, I am. Okay, are you guys going to stop fighting? I want to know what Sarah learned in the history book about our house. It was not necessarily your house, but what was here before. Before a house? Our house has always been here. No, it hasn't, Molly. It was just built like 20 years ago. Yeah, a hundred years ago, all of Brookhaven was a different town. It was called Brookfield. Wow, well, they weren't very original with the new name. Yeah, the whole town burnt down. What? That's terrible! Yeah, it was totally a natural disaster. Your house is built on top of the graveyard. Hey, what? On top of a graveyard? That doesn't sound good. I knew I heard a ghost at night. That's kind of creepy. You heard a girl? I can't even talk! You heard a ghost at night and you didn't say anything? I knew you'd make a big deal out of it. I think Casper's just friendly. D Daisy, that's creepy! Well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I'm sure the dead will be coming back to make you pay. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Daisy, why didn't you tell me you heard ghost sounds? Um, I just thought maybe it was your stomach growling, to be honest. What are you girls talking about? Still chopping down this old Christmas tree. Bert, I'm sorry to do this to you. Dad, just give up. Light a match. I don't want to burn our house down. We might better. Made on an old graveyard. What? Yeah. This house is built on an old burial ground or something. The whole town, Brookfield, used to be here. And it all burnt down. All the people are buried here. Holy guacamole. Who told you that? That's creepy. And Daisy told me that... that she hears ghosts at night. Oh my gosh. I better go get the deed and see what the land was before this. I never thought to check that before the house was built. Huh. Well, we didn't build it, so that was done 22 years ago. And, oh my gosh. It was a burial ground. Oh, yikes. We might have to move. I'll call the realtor. Dad? Yep, this is probably the reason I didn't tell anybody I heard ghost sounds. I don't want to lose our house. I think it's for the best, Daisy. Girls, I, I need you to go and get your homework done and stuff. Dad, we're on Christmas break. There is no homework. Okay, well, 
Um, as soon as I find my cell phone, I'm gonna call a realtor. Don't you think you should talk to mom about this? There's my cell phone. Brookhaven Realty, how may I help you? Yeah, my house is haunted, and it's on top of a burial ground, and, uh, I want to sell it. Oh, um, well, we could try to sell it, but I'm not sure who would actually buy it. This is insanity! I can't believe this! I can't go to bed. I can't! What if the ghost gave me? Molly, just go relax. Try listening to some meditation music or something. Okay. Oh, I'm turning off the light now, Molly. No! Leave the light on! Molly, it doesn't matter if it's dark or light. The ghost can still get you. Oh, no. This is so creepy. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't. It's morning already? Yeah, but look at it outside. It looks really strange. Yeah, wow. The sky is like orange. Is it Halloween? No, of course it's not Halloween. Molly, everything sounds so quiet. Where's Mom and Dad? Where's Baby Kiwa? I don't know. Let's go check and see where they are. Mom? Dad? Baby Kira? Hello? Daisy! Daisy! Mom and Dad and Baby Kira aren't here! We need to go into town. Something about this seems very weird. Molly, you're still in your pajamas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should probably change. Aw, uh, Daisy? The sky just turned green. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Molly, who cares about getting dressed? Let's just go to town and see what's happening. Good idea. Come on. Where is everybody? Hello? Hello? Molly, I think... I think the whole city's been abandoned, just like in Brookfield. Wait a minute. Is that toxic waste in the air? <coughs> I'm having a little trouble <coughs> breathing. It's probably from the fire, Molly. Somehow we've gone back in time, and we're in the old Brookfield. Wow. We have to investigate. I was thinking we should go home and pretend this never happened. No, Daisy. We have to find out why this happened. Come on. Let's look for clues. Everything's abandoned, Molly. Where can we look for clues? Definitely not at school. I'm sure there's still some homework or something. Yeah, and you hate doing homework. Hmm. I know where we should start, Daisy. Where, Molly? Where? At the hospital. You know, if we go into the hospital, there might be some injured people in there. They can tell us what happened. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Whoa, Daisy. This doesn't look like the, the Brookhaven Hospital. That's because it's the Brookfield Hospital, Molly. Wow, what happened in here? It's really creepy and... And, yeah, creepy's the right word. I'm gonna try calling 911. Daisy, what are you talking about? This is back in time. There won't be a 911. Molly, there was... Oh, wait, yeah. Why do I have my cell phone? I don't know. Maybe you took it with you when you went back in time. Why do we even go back in time? I'm so confused. I don't know. I really don't. We just need to keep investigating. Oh my gosh! Is that a dead person in there? Oh! It looks like they were trying to turn him into... Zombies! Oh my goodness, this isn't good, Molly! Get back! Get back! Ah, he's dead. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Ugh. Except for all this green slime everywhere. Molly! Did, did you hear that? I hear somebody coming! Who could it be? Oh no! Oh no! I've just wait a minute. There's two humans here that I haven't destroyed. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> I destroyed other everyone else, but <laughs> not these two. <laughs> I guess I'm not as crazy as I thought. Um, you look a little crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> What's your name? I'm 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 Doctor Jekyll. <laughs> Doctor Jekyll, huh? Wait, that kind of rings a bell. Nah, never mind. Never heard it. Molly, he looks crazy. Step away from him. Okay, my sister says you're crazy. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I just had a little bit of a science experiment go wrong. <laughs> um, what were you trying to do? Oh, nothing, but I blew up the whole town. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're the reason why Brookfield exploded. Wow. Um, That's got to make you feel bad, huh? 
I did, but now I see there's two humans that are left. Ha 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 ha! I could take your DNA and make a bunch of others. You can make clones of us? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, except for when it came time to do homework, I'd be okay with it then. Molly, that's a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, all Brookhaven would be full of is just Molly and daisies. Why would that be so bad? I think Molly is pretty amazing. But then you'd also have a million daisies. I see your point. That's a horrible idea. Oh, well, I tried to make everybody come back to life, but they turned to zombies. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> There's probably some coming right now. Wait, what? The Brookfield is full of zombies? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I've prepared a fire to wipe out the entire town. Oh, wow. That's how the fire was started. So first an explosion, then everybody died, then the mad scientist tried to bring them back, and they turned into zombies, then a giant fire to take care of the problem. <laughs> Aren't I smart? Um, uh, no, not really. Um, D Dr. Jekyll, is that your name? Yeah, Molly already said that, duh. Come on, get with the program. Okay, rude! I'm just, Dr. Jekyll's not very memorable. I mean, who would name themselves Jekyll. I mean, I can't even remember that ever in a million years. I didn't give myself that name. <laughs> it was my mom and dad's last name. <laughs> Did you stop laughing like that? What, like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. It's weird. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's enough to drive you nuts. Bonkers, crazy. Yeah, maybe his laughing drove him crazy. Ray. Brains. Oh no! Here comes one of the zombies! I have to burn it down! Burn it all down! Daisy, what should we do? I don't know, Molly, but I hope this is a bad dream! Me too, me too! Okay, stand next to me, Daisy. Close your eyes. Repeat after me! Repeat after me! No, I, I didn't mean you had to repeat that part. Okay, but be more specific! Your directions stink! Alright, alright, okay. Um, start repeating now. Stop repeating now. No, I meant after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, just say it. We are going to travel forward in time. We are going to travel forward in time. This has been a bad dream. This has been a bad dream. Is anything happening? I don't know. My eyes are still closed. Okay, say it again. This is a bad dream. Please make it a bad dream. I want to go back to Brookhaven. It was all a bad dream. It was all a bad dream. It was all a bad dream! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I had this horrible dream. So didn't I, Molly. It was all about Brookfield. Oh my gosh, I had a dream about Brookfield too! Wow, weird. Well, I'm gonna go get some breakfast. I'm starving. A dream like that will make you hungry for sure. I wonder who that could be this early. Hi! <laughs> I'm your new neighbor! <laughs> Do you have any coffee? I'm very thirsty. Ah! Ah, Daisy! It's, 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 I know who it is! It's, it's Dr. Jekyll Pants! Jekyll Pants? No, 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 just Dr. Jekyll -um or something like that. Jekyll! Dr. Jekyll! Wait a minute, we had the same dream? Yes, Molly! Ghosts are getting in our brains! Ah! Okay, lock the door. I don't know why no one wants to be my friend. <laughs> I'm just a very lonely scientist. Well, now I'm a pharmacist, but a hundred years ago I was a scientist. Ah! He doesn't age a day! Oh my gosh, he's a vampire. Definitely a vampire. Ah! Okay, Molly, I'd like you to do problem number three from your workbook up here on the board in front of the class. Um, uh, uh. Come on, Molly, quit stalling. It's your turn at the board. If Michael has six eggs, and Luke takes one egg and drops it, and Sarah takes three eggs and cooks breakfast, and Mitchell has an egg for his dog, how many eggs does... is there left? Um, uh, uh... Molly, this is a review question. You should know this already. It's the end of the school year. Did you study at all? Um, well, um, no? Molly! Okay, that's it. You have detention! Oh, man! I need to find
find a new book to read. Ooh, what's this? A joke book? <laughs> Sounds exactly like the book I'd like to read. What do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine? A slowpoke! <laughs> Excuse me, did you not read the sign? This is the library. Shh! <laughs> this is a funny joke, a slowpoke! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read another. Um, what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, this is the library. Why are you so loud? Um, well, why did you put a joke book in the library? Because if, if you don't want me to be laughing and loud, you shouldn't have put a joke book in here. That's it. I'm writing you up. Oh, boy, not again. Oh, hi, Matilda. Ooh. Pizza looks delicious today. Only one slice per student. Okay, lunch lady, okay. Hey, what's that over there? What's what? <laughs> Two slices for me, oh yeah. Mommy, she said only one. Who took that extra slice of pizza? Was that you? Molly, I'm writing you up. Oh man. Mom, I'm home from school. Oh, just who I wanted to see. Why, did you make me cupcakes? Oh, you missed me so much, didn't you, Mom? Molly, I have so many slips from so many people here. You were naughty in the library. You you didn't do your math work. Y you were naughty in the lunchroom. Like, Molly, uh, I have no choice but to take away your phone. My phone? You wouldn't dare. Molly, I am your mother and... I'm not your friend. I I, I, I want to be your friend. But when you're naughty like this, I, I have to be your mother. So I'm sticking by my word. You're grounded from your phone for two weeks. What? Two weeks. Um, okay, Mom. I understand. Wait, what? What? You do? Yeah, I gotta go poo-poo. See you later. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. Try not to get in trouble. Yeah, right. Trouble's my middle name. It's boring to be in the bathroom without your phone. That's okay. Mom will never know I'm playing on it. <laughs> Mom will never know if I'm playing Roblox in the bathroom. She'll just think I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Molly? Molly! I thought, ew, it smells funny in here. I know, I had to go to the bathroom. Well, but you're on your phone. I said you were grounded. Oh, man, you outsmarted me, Mom. Well, I am pretty smart, you know. And and give me your phone right now. Oh, Mom. I'm going to lock your phone so you can't play Roblox for two weeks. Only emergency calls. That's what I'm locking it for. Oh, Mom, this is terrible. Why do you have to be so smart? Would you rather I was a dumb mom? Um, yes, that's precisely what I wish you would be. Molly, what is that? It's spell book? Where did you get that? The library. Apparently joke books aren't allowed, so I looked up this spell book on the computer and it said they had it in stock in the library, so I rented it. <laughs> now watch this. Alakazam! Alakazee! When I say dumb, that's what you'll be! What? What's happening? I feel, I feel exactly the same, Molly. That's a ridiculous spell book. Okay, if you say so, Mom. Molly, uh, you ate all the treats in the refrigerator and left a huge mess in the sink. Why don't you do these dishes? I would, Mom, but um, I'm too dumb. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Whoa, Mom. Are you okay? I think so. <laughs> I just, uh, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, I think you said you were going to do the dishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn on the water faucet? <laughs> uh, you, ju you just click right here like that. Oh, <laughs> good thing my daughter's so smart. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, mom. As soon as she's done with these dishes, I'll say the word smart so she goes back to being normal. 
<laughs> She's a little crazy like this. Smart! Whoa, that was weird. I could have swore I asked Molly to do the dishes. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Mom won't mind if I get on Roblox on the computer. She just said I was grounded on my phone. <laughs> Loophole! Molly, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be playing Roblox. You're supposed to be doing your math homework. Um, well, I can't because it's too hard. And I'm too dumb. <laughs> what are you talking about, Molly? That math homework's probably super easy. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to give it a try? What's one plus one? <laughs> uh, well, one plus one what? Okay, one apple plus one apple equals how many apples? <laughs> uh, five! Oh my gosh. Did I get it right? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Not even close. Well, <laughs> if you don't understand your math, and neither do I, I guess you can't do it then. That's right, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to go watch some TV. Uh, but don't worry, Mom. You're really smart. Hmm. That's strange. Why am I standing in front of the computer? I'm not feeling very good today. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Oh, no. Here comes my annoying sister. She ruins everything. Molly, what exactly are you talking about? I'm the world's best sister. <laughs> yeah, right. Go away. I'm a little busy. Um, Molly, why don't you help me set the table for dinner? I would, Mom, but I'm feeling a little dumb. What? What did you say? Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> what was I just doing? <laughs> Oh, I think I was making dinner, but I don't know how. How do, you, how do you boil water? I'm not really sure. What is going on with Mom? Molly, did you cast a spell on Mom? Yeah, so what if I did? She decided to ground me for my phone. Probably because you deserved it. You got written up five million times today. <gasps> Molly, this is evil. Go away. I don't need you to tell me what's good and bad. Oh, boy. I know how to solve this. Mom, you put the water on the stove and turn on the stove. And then you have to set the table. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I almost forgot. <laughs> you're smart, Mom. You'll figure it out. Whoa, what, what's going on with me? Marley, I'm going to give you one more chance to not do this anymore and reverse the spell. Nah, um, wait. Uh, even if I wanted to... I I don't know where the book is. That's because I have it. Daisy, give me back my spell book right now. I don't think so. Mom's rubble and your glue. Whatever you've cursed her with bounces off her and sticks to you. How's that for a spell? Dum, 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 dum. Whoa, I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, where did everybody go? Wow, is anybody home? <laughs> Molly, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Molly, can you speak English or human even? I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly. You're drooling on yourself. Oh my goodness, we better take you to the hospital. I think you might have a concussion. Uh, yeah, you're definitely messed up. Molly, hurry up, get on the school bus. We're gonna be late for school. What school, but, but it's summer. Okay, but in Roblox, oh no. We just missed the bus. In Roblox, it's actually school time. Oh, well, in Roblox, you're lucky because here comes another bus. <laughs> Molly, we're going to kindergarten again. Aren't you so excited? If it's school, I'm not excited. But it's pizza day. Okay, I'm a little excited. <laughs> la, 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 la. What a beautiful school day. Hi, kids. 
Welcome to your first day of kindergarten. I'm your principal. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Me too. All right then, everybody follow me. Uh, Lizzie the lizard is going first. <laughs> I didn't know they let lizards in the school. Molly, if the lizard wants an education, let the lizard have one. Maybe he wants to be a doctor someday. Uh, Lizzie, I think it's amazing that you're coming to our school, even if you are a lizard. If anyone needs to use the bathroom, now would be the time to go into the bathroom and use the bathroom. Molly, we need to get to our classroom. Come on. I don't know which one to go into. Um, classroom 004. Oh, Daisy's going into the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, he said if you have to go to the bathroom, go now. Um, I'm gonna sit in the green seat, I think. Oh, wait, I have to actually find my name? Oh, I can't. Ah, I'm spinning around. Ah! Ah, why am I spinning? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa. Okay, I made it to my seat. Daisy, there's your seat. Very good. <laughs> You're starting off kindergarten on the right foot. Now, Lizzie, take a seat. Oh, M G, Lizzie the lizard, we're gonna be the best of friends. Hi class, welcome to your first day of kindergarten. I'm your teacher. Today we're going to start off with a nice and easy math warm up. Ugh. Is it time for lunch yet? I'm going to put some questions up on the board. First one to answer the question right will get a prize. Oh, a prize, I love it. Um, what do I answer? Uh, here I guess. Oh, six minus. Oh, I, I, I did the math wrong. Oh, boy. It's okay, Molly. You still got the answer right. And she gave, she's going to give you a cookie. Oh, my God. You're so lucky, Molly. OMG. She's speaking to my heart right now with this cookie. Okay, next question. One plus eight. Jippers, Daisy. I didn't even get a chance to say that. The answer. I wanted a cookie. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry, Lizzie the Lizard. I'll share my cookie with you. The final question for the day is... 4 minus 2. What? I answered the same time as Daisy. I want a cookie. Molly, I'm sorry, but you get two cookies. I get two cookies. You get one cookie. Ugh. Can you believe this, Lizzie? Well, that's enough math for today, kids. Let's have some free fun time. How about it? Yes! Let me out of the seat. I'm starting to feel like a prisoner. I'll give you guys a bit of time to go to the washroom, play outside, and do whatever you'd like. Have fun! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. First of all, I have to go into the bathroom. Do you guys see that? Looks like a banana peel in there. Why is there a banana peel? I don't know, but I'm gonna collect a cookie off the toilet seat. Hey, don't judge. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go out and explore the school. Oh, this, there's the janitor. Let's have a conversation with him. I think we can talk to him. Hey! There's too much garbage in this filthy school. Too. Much. Garbage! Whoa! Crazy! I'm going outside. Ugh. Look at this playground. Wait a minute. I think I went the wrong way. I think I have to go this way. Janitor's closet? Hmm. I wonder what could be in here. There's a vent! I'm going up in there. I'm going up in the vent. Seriously, the first time in Roblox ever, I couldn't go up into the vent. I only have 57 more seconds. What am I gonna look at right now, guys? I don't even know, but... I'm just looking around, looking around. Oh, I bet there, <laughs> I bet there's a cookie in the boys' room too. Don't judge, I want to get a toilet cookie. Oh, there isn't. I think this is the way out to the playground. I think. Yes, it totally is. Awesome. Daisy, you're swinging on the swings? Yeah, it just seemed like a fun thing to do. Playing in the sandbox seems even more fun. I wish I could go back to kindergarten. Life was so much easier then. Oh my god, guys. There's a little car in here. You can drive it around on the track. Whee! <laughs> this is so much fun. Well, I'm not very good at driving. I'm only in kindergarten, though. Don't judge. All right, everyone. Free time is over. Everyone return to your seats now. And let's get started on the next lesson. Uh, okay. I have to go back to my classroom. Do I really have to, though, Daisy? Yes, it's required. It's a part of school. I hope you kids had a blast. Now for the next lesson, we're going to be talking about sa, sa. Whoa. Well, it looks like the power went out. Oh, darn. We can't do a science lesson. Nothing to worry about, children. Everything is fine. And oh, my gosh. This power. <laughs> I've never felt so alive. After making a deal with a certain someone, I can finally do what I've always wanted to do. And no one's going to stop me. Um, is what you wanted to do, um, 
Me, am I principal? Who is going to kick your booty? Take these bats, kids. Oh, boy, I feel kind of bad. I mean, he does, you know, have to mop the floor after we all throw up at school. Well, that's not very nice to say. Now, is it? Well, it is what you do. Ah! My minions will take care of the rest of you. Wait, a teddy bear minion? Oh, that's just wrong. See you on the other side, simple mortals. Give us back the teacher right now! Teddy bears on parade. Don't worry, we've got a wizard on. Oh, what? It's hitting me. It was hitting my head on the desk. You bully teddy bear. I thought you were cute and cuddly, but now I'm thinking, no, you're just evil. I'm running around because I don't know what else to do. These teddy bears are seriously demons. Ooh. Oh, I got one, Daisy. I'm proud of myself right now. But it took down some of the students. Did Lizzie the lizard make it? Is that it? Uh, apparently not. Two of them are ganging up on me at the same time. Get back here, teddy bear. Oh, boy, I think I need to go eat a cookie, guys. Okay, I'm back to good. I still have one more cookie, though, if I need it. Wait, did Daisy die? No, but I'm about to. Thanks, Molly. Thanks for taking down that evil teddy bear. Nice job, guys. Now we need to go rescue the teacher. Let's go, everyone. Whoa, Molly, when did you get so brave? Well, we can't just leave her with that evil janitor demon. Um, guys, the principal died. I, I... I tried to stop him. Took the secretary as well, and there's nothing I could do. He's too powerful! Okay, we can't give up. We have to find the teacher and the secretary. Very well, then. The janitor took them into the janitor's closet and locked it. Get the key and rescue the ladies. Please, don't let him win. No way we will. We'll find that key. You can count on us. Great. I do believe in you kids, but sadly, it's the end of my time. Whoa, that was dramatic. Totally. Okay, let's see if we can find this key. I think it's in here. Let's just put that baseball bat away. Where is the janitor closet key? Daisy came into the same room as me. Why? Because you'd think it would be in the front desk, right? But none of these drawers open. Molly got the key! Oh, she went into the principal's office for it. Um, okay, but I don't see. Guys, look! A secret entrance! That wasn't here when I went here before. They must have went down there. Come on, let's go, Molly. Whoa! This place was under the school the whole time? What? How did you feeble children manage to survive? No matter. I doubt any of you will get far. Hey, demon! We're not gonna let you win! You just win! Focus, guys! We need to save them! It looks like we need some kind of four-digit code to open the door! Let's do this, guys! Okay, we've gotta find a four-digit code. Where is a four-digit code? It's in a four-digit code. Maybe it's... Zero, one, zero, one? <coughs> zero, one... Nine, five. Yes, I solved it! Oh my gosh, this is the first time ever in Roblox that I've ever solved it. What do you kids think you're doing? Oh no, this isn't good. I think the cavern's going to collapse. Hurry, Molly, get across! Oh boy, a timed Abby, my favorite. <laughs> not. We, well, yeah, I think I actually made it. Uh, Molly, I'm not sure that's the end of it. Uh oh. Oh, yes, we made it! Phew, we made it! Well, except for Daisy, she had to respawn and use some Robux. Yeah, that was crazy. Can't believe my sister actually beat me at a game. This definitely looks challenging. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Okay, that's not it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm supposed to remember that? Yes, Molly! I did it! That was hard, let's keep going though. Wait, do, do I need to do it myself? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Here we go. Thanks, Daisy. I knew you were the smart one in the group. What is this place anyway? <laughs> ow! Ow! I hit my head. Ow! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Lizzie just, like, walked down. Daisy, are you okay? Daisy? I got a concussion for sure. What is happening? Better run, my children. The lot rising lava won't wait for you. If I die, I have no Robux. What? Molly, are you serious right now? Um, yes. Molly! I know, I was taking my chances, but, uh... I sort of spent the last of my money on a Reese cup. Ay, 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 Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Don't worry, I'm okay, I'm okay. I pushed the button. Ha, ha, ha! Molly, what are you doing? Huh, what? The lavas can come up here, too? No! Oh, my God, I'm gonna die! 
Probably, Molly. What are you doing standing up there for? I don't know. I just didn't think the lava could come this high. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I'm, um, just fine. Um, I think. But I'm kind of stuck in this room. Ay, 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 Molly. Well, what are you going to do now? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe reset. Maybe that'll work. Oh, well, let me. It's okay, Molly. I think it automatically moved you to this next section. Um, okay, okay but I'm I'm still stuck back here. Ooh. Ah! Oh my God, it really did kill me. Oh, I got free two free spawns. Oh, phew! Thank goodness. Find and insert six shapes into the slots but i don't have any idea where i am right now oh here you guys are thank goodness i was a little worried i'd have to go through that lava again i don't really know where the rest of the shapes are but i'm thinking there's one right there hey lizzie i don't have any real bugs so i'm just letting my sister find the shapes what's your excuse <laughs> oh it's because you're a lizard huh <laughs> yeah i totally feel you um, okay guys, this game was made by Cranky Games, and if we don't find this shape soon so I can escape and eat a cupcake, I'm gonna get real cranky! Ten minutes later. Nice! We did it! I mean, I did it. Yes, yes, we know, you did it. The teacher and the secretary! Kids, be careful, he's here! Please help us! Don't worry, we're gonna help you as soon as I figure out how. The water is rising! Come on, guys, hurry! Okay, there's Lizzie, and there's Daisy, and I'm right where they are, so I should be safe, right? He is hoping, Molly. He is hoping. The water keeps getting higher and higher. The end is now. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, I should have... I should have... Um, yeah, oh, boy. Eliminate the janitor. Molly, I think you should just try to stay alive. Um, yes. Oh, my God, there's a laser coming at us. Holy macaroni! Molly, come get him! Um, okay, he's sending out his minion bears. Get away from my sister! Ah! Okay, I took one down. <laughs> Daisy's up hitting them in the arm. Here he comes with the laser eyes. No, no, no. More bears. More evil bears. They're all chasing Daisy and Lizzie. Ooh. Oh, no, they ganged up on me, guys, and now I'm dead! O-M-G, guys. If we don't win right here, I'm definitely going to lose the game. Molly, come beat up on him like I'm doing. I'm trying, but I'm just trying to avoid these spikes because this guy is crazy. Okay, you can't take me down another five. The spike didn't even hit me. Oh, Daisy's like hitting him in the arm. Yeah, and it works, Molly. It works. Uh, that doesn't look good. He looks like something bad is going to happen right now. Holy guacamole. Oh, no. Pink bears. Oh, man. They're much faster and crazy. Oh, Daisy, I'm going to die right Ooh. now. Oh, no! Your balance will be 180. Wait a minute, do I have Robux? Oh, my God, guys, I actually had some Robux! Dun, 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 dun. Best news ever. Get him in the arm, Molly, get him! I got him, Daisy, I got him. <laughs> See you later, demon janitor. See you later. Huh? What? Well, what's happening? Huh? Was that all a... A d d d d dream? <laughs>
You taught me my I got you. No, I didn't teach you that. Don't tell mom that I'll get grounded. Okay, girls, it's 6.30 and you have school tomorrow. So time to start your school night routine. Okay, fine. What do we have to start with? Homework, of course. Fine. Let me get out my school books. I'm, like doing homework. Can't they teach us something at school? I tell mom work too. I pick Oh, baby Kira, that's not your homework. That's... <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're reading the cat in the hat. How cute. Definitely not your homework. It's my homework. I do it, see? Um, does mom know you have that pen? Don't write all over the wall. I do my homework. Just like Pico. Okay, you do your homework like a big girl. Oh, can you do my homework? <laughs> I don't read. Oh, so much homework. Oh, too much homework. Too much homework. Too much homework. Mom, I've gone crazy. I've gone insane. I've gone bonkers. Okay, Molly, I think you're done with enough homework for tonight. I do homework like Pico. Oh, baby Kara, that's so adorable. Do you think you're going to school? I go to school. Yeah, I go. Thank goodness that schoolwork is done. Okay, Molly, time to go. Gather all your books into your backpack. I know, so I don't forget in the morning. Wait, where did I leave my books? Where are they? I can't find them. And this is exactly why you do it tonight and not in the morning. Okay, I picked up my last book. And it's all in my adorable kitty backpack. I got a cute backpack for school, too. See, it has bunny on it. Ooh, let me see. Oh, that's adorable. Except for you're not going to school. I got good. Don't say that. Okay, baby Kara, sure. If you want to go, fine. Mom, I, I put my books in in the morning. I've still got some more studying I need to do. I'm going to wake up early to work on it. Oh, such a good student, Daisy. I know. Um, I, I'm going to go take a shower now. Me too, Mom. Um... If I, I did all my homework, can you sign my paper for my my teacher? Because she said you have to actually check it over. Okay, Molly, sure, no problem. Here you go, Mom. Here's a pen. All you have to do is just sign on the dotted line. Okay, let me just read this. No, don't read it! Just sign it! Molly, this says you got an F on your spelling test. Um, oops. Molly! Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Molly, this means you need to study an extra half an hour every night. Oh, man. I study because I'm smart. Oh, yeah, you are smart, baby Kira. Okay, Molly, go get ready for school tomorrow by taking your shower and getting clean. And don't forget to wash behind your ears. So demanding. Baby Kira, what are you doing in here? I take bath in the sink and get ready for school. You don't take a bath in the sink. Ugh, this kid. La, 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 la. I have to get ready for school. Me too, Molly. Da, 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 Look, baby Kira, if you knew what was really good for you, you would not want to get ready for school. Why? I think we're we'll fine. I go first day tomorrow. Yeah, you think that it'll be fun, but trust me, you're in your golden years right now. You have zero responsibilities. Ah, oh, there's so much homework. And tests. And homework. And tests. All right, time to find something to wear. Hopefully I have some clean clothes. Because sometimes I'm not very good about doing my laundry. Mm, no, no, no. Okay, this is perfect. I'll wear this and I'll be super comfy for bed. Perfect. I wear my jammer. I, I, I take backpack to bed. Okay, baby Kara, take your backpack to bed. Molly, I'll be up in a minute to say goodnight. Take your sister with you, okay? Yeah, sure. Come on, baby Kara. Come on, you can't operate the, the elevator, but... Okay, she did. <laughs> I told her she wasn't supposed to, but she did. I keep a yofu. <sighs> Ooh, Daisy, I sleep it. Yeah, she's already sleeping. She has to wake up early so she can do way more schoolwork in the morning. It's kind of lame. Ah, don't turn out the light! What was that noise? Guys, be quiet! It's like one in the morning. I'm exhausted. It was baby Kira, not me. Good night, baby Kira. <sighs> another day of school, another day. <sighs> I see my 
Big Kid's room, I can wait for school tomorrow. I'm Big Kid now. I go go too. It can be fun because I learn that and play and eat pizza for lunch. Uh -huh. Molly, your eyes aren't even open yet. <laughs> Do you need some coffee? Uh -huh. Just point me in the direction of the waffles. Okay, Molly. In the refrigerator on the left. Ow! I hit myself with the refrigerator door. That's probably why you should definitely... Ah, the waffles are frozen! Of course they are, Molly. You just took it out of the freezer. Open your eyes up. Good morning, everybody! Oh, she's so chipper in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Okay, girls, eat your breakfast. Chop, chop. You don't want to be late for the bus. Yeah, that would be such a tragedy. <sighs> Molly, quit pretending to sleep. Now, go get dressed. Fine. Huh, why do we have to go to school so much? Being responsible is lame. What should I wear to school today? Ooh, this is cute. I think I'll wear this. Easy peasy. Oh, I might get kind of cold in this. Uh, I probably should put a sweatshirt over it or something. It's fall now, so <laughs> you totally need that. <laughs> Love it! I'm all ready to go, Mom! Oh, you look adorable today, Molly. How do you know? You're not even looking at me, Mom. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not quite awake either. <laughs> okay, well, do you really think my outfit's cute, Mom? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yes, Molly, your outfit's adorable. Now get to school before you're late. Sure thing, Mom. Have a good day. You too, Molly. Come on, Molly. We're gonna be late, Jeepers. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh-oh. Forgot my backpack. Molly! What? I need my backpack, Jeepers. Finally, I'm gonna get ten minutes of peace and quiet. Ah, baby Kira's still sleeping. Bye, Mom! Love you! Love you, too! I'm going to school. Come on, Molly! Okay, I'm coming, bossy. Molly, why are you going to listen to this song? Because I love it! <laughs> it's just some solace before I go to school. I go to school, too. I go to school. It's my first day. Got my backpack and everything. <laughs> over to my birthday no problem penny i'm so excited for your birthday party we're going to have so much fun at this sleepover i can't wait be evil i'm so excited my nanny is home just in case anything goes wrong but i'm sure we'll all be super safe yeah what could possibly go wrong in a roblox story <laughs> go ahead and explore the house and get comfy first things first where's the kitchen Molly, you're always thinking about the kitchen. Hi, Nanny. Uh, I got any snacks. Huh? 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 Molly, how about, how about we don't have so many snacks? How about, how about we just, like, explore the house and... How about you mind your own business? I'm, I want to have a snack, okay? I already went into the living room. Let's go up the stairs. Oh, man. I ran out of time. Hello, kids. I'm the Nanny. You can call me if you need anything, dears. Oh, well, I need a cupcake, an ice cream sundae. Molly, we're going to celebrate Penny's birthday with cake. Ah, you heard my request then, Nanny. Please take a seat at the kitchen table and we'll all have cake together. Perfect. Mm, this is going to be delicious. I just know it. You and luck, Molly, that they're serving cake at this birthday party. What would you do without your sweets? I don't know. Probably cry. Ooh, cake. And my favorite kind, too. Guys, this is the best birthday ever. Thank you so much. And the cake. Mmm, it's delicious. Mmm, yum. Should we open your presents next, Penny? Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get, huh, Penny? Not so fast. You guys have to help clean up the birthday decorations. Uh, that's weird because the birthday's not over yet. After that, you guys can go open presents. Yeah, but you're supposed to open the presents... Before you... Okay, never mind. I'm just going to eat some... I'm just going to eat some cake. Mm. Oh, that's good cake. Mm. Molly, we've got to pick up these decorations. Well, Penny can't open a present. Well, I just think that's ridiculous because you're supposed to leave the decorations up until the birthday is over. Oh, there's still a lot more. There's still like three more we have to get. Um, I think that's all of them, guys. Time to open Penny's presents. These are awesome gifts. Clothes and cool toys? I feel like the 
luckiest girl ever. This is going to be the best sleepover of my life. I have to agree, you did get a lot of really cool presents, Penny. And your sleepover's pretty amazing. Especially since you have to eat the second piece of cake. But you said to Piggy, it's late, kids. You need to go to bed. Um, Nanny, it's 9 o'clock. You can stay up all night as long as you're in your room. Have a fun sleepover. That's more like it. Uh, okay, now I gotta get up to the room super quick. We only got 30 seconds. The floor is lava in 23. Molly, that's a different game. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa, she set it up for all of us. That's awesome. Um, I'm picking this bunk because if something tries to get us in the night, I'll be the farthest from the door. <laughs> I claimed this bed. We're not actually sleeping, right? It's a sleepover. We're supposed to stay up all night. Yeah, of course we are. Although your hat is a little creepy, I have to say. <laughs> You look like that monster from Stranger Things. Of course we're not sleeping. We're doing an all-nighter. Just waiting till Nanny falls asleep. I wonder what secret present your nanny got you. Yeah, Penny, I wonder. You guys, you want to go look for the secret present? Yeah, of course I do. Molly, don't be a, a troublemaker. Well, I'm picking that we sneak down and find the present. You can stay in bed and be boring at the sleepover if you want, Daisy. Okay, fine. I don't care about a vote. It's my birthday, so we'll sneak out and find the present. Whoa, Penny, you sing everything too? I knew you were alike. Watch out for the loud steps on the stairway down, though. It's like floor is lava, okay? And if my nanny hears you stepping on a, a loud step, oh man, she's gonna wake up and be so mad. Don't worry, I'm great at the floor is lava. Molly, no, you're not. Okay, well, I'm trying to be good at the floor is lava. So far, I'm doing good at the floor is lava. Uh, yes, I made it. So I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm amazing at it. Look, the basement door is unlocked. I think the present is in there. But it's creepy down there. I don't want to go down there. Let's go check and see. It's my birthday, so you have to go with me. Uh, this might be creepy, Daisy, but it is Penny's birthday. So she does have a point. Looks like a big empty room to me. Uh, Nanny? What are you doing down here? I told you kids to stay in your room. Whoa, Nanny just got real creepy. This is my private area no one can know about. Oh, her teeth are red and they match her eyes. I must end you. Um, okay, time to bring out my bat. Holy macaroni! Run from Nanny. Swack, swack, swack! Come here, Nanny! Quit chasing my sister, you evil lady! That can't be the real Nanny. She wouldn't be that evil and crazy, right? I don't know, Molly, but um, I hope you have some Robux. Ah, she's stuck behind this tank. <laughs> uh oh, not for long. Wait, her face is back to normal, guys. What is wrong with Nanny? Nanny, I am young and sort of in shape when I don't eat too many cupcakes, and I'm probably able to outrun you. <laughs> well, she's chasing Daisy, too. I know, Molly. I'm trying to get away from her, this crazy old lady. All right, that's enough of that. Wait, where'd she go? We need to escape. There's a path. It's it's right there. Okay, Penny, Um, but just so you know, your nanny is not invited to the next sleepover. She's cray-cray. Whee! Ah, down the laundry chute. Uh, or down in the sewer, one or the other. Oh, uh -huh. ew. Ew, we're in the sewer. Here comes the Abby. We need to get across and climb out of you. It smells so bad. I know, tell me about it. Melly, unplug your nose and jump. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. You died. I can revive myself by spending Robux, right? Yep. Oh my god, guys, I can't revive myself again, though. I won't have enough money. Oh boy, I better not die again. Are we the only ones that survived? Yeah, you, me, and Penny. There's only one way to find out what's at the top of this ladder. Go up and look. We made it out! There's a long walk ahead of us, but let's go. All right, as long as that crazy nanny's not out here. La, 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 la. Hey, where is this anyway? There's coconuts on the trees. Penny, are you coming? Who, who is that? I have no idea, but maybe they'll give us a ride back to my house. I have much more fun sleepovers than this. Hello, sweet children. You guys seem lost. Can we help you go home? Uh, these old ladies don't look trustworthy. Guys, they're old like like our nanny. She probably sent them to kidnap us. Dead 
da-da-da-da-da. And the plot thickened. Don't be silly. We're just old grandmas. We want to help. Uh, maybe I'm a little jaded, but I don't think so. Leave us alone. We don't want your help. Yeah, we can walk on our own. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I knew it. We're evil. They threatened us. We have to fight the old ladies. Ugh, I need more cake for this. Where's all the cake? Somebody give me another piece of cake. Okay, uh, is it the old lady? Ow! Quit, quit doing that. Ow! Okay, she's hitting me with her cane. That's just rude and wrong, and I'm just gonna run. Yeah, Molly, run, because... If you get hit by one of them, you don't have enough money to respawn. Then game over, Molly. And next time, have more Robux. Ah, that one's hitting me. Daisy, what am I going to do? Run, Molly, run. Oh, man, this is the end of us. I thought we could escape. But as it turns out, you're goners, Daisy. We're goners. We got them. Can't trust anyone. What do we do now, Penny? Um, well, if you're me, you remember that you need to buy Robux before you play these games. We all have to destroy our nanny once and for all! Unless you're me, and then this game is probably over because I don't have an any Robux, and, um, I'm most certainly going to die. <laughs> oh, no! Here comes Creepy Face again! I heard you kids want to destroy me. Such a shame. I bought you all those birthday presents. You were good kids. Yeah, you're a terrible nanny. We'll destroy you. <laughs> and you ruined my birthday. Oh, man. This is where I die, guys. Because, like, look at me. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, mama! Whoa. Oh, my God. I don't want to die. Uh-oh. 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 Ah! Ooh. Oh, guys. I don't think I have enough to revive. I'm out of Robux. No! Buddy, I could have told you that was going to happen. You know you stick your Roblox. No, I don't. It's just, okay, yeah, maybe a little. Molly needs to get 440 Robux. Then she can finish the game. <laughs> what ending did I get? I got that you're poor and you can't afford Robux, so you don't get an ending ending. <laughs> That's a terrible ending. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Why is this math homework so hard? Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brook High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? Obviously, learning how to eat. Learning how to not drool, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and all of Brookhaven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all to be baby. <coughs> no, Molly, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are a little baby like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not allowed to eat anything out of the fridge the way your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on, we have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. Also, you're a big cry baby. Take that back. You're going to get a time out. 
No way, you can't give me a time out. You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. It's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. <coughs> Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. Um, we could get you a kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal, too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. Well, we did only order three kid's meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering. My, don't be rude. Couldn't get us kicked out. Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no, she pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. Your stand up, you're so short. Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to stand on the table. Coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What's <laughs> taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, sorry. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown-ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm going to start getting hangry. Ugh. Here you go. Order's up. What, a bottle? Wait, why are we get to, ugh, Fine. I guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Ew, Molly, gross. Yeah, Molly, see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some. We can get some. Um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger. And Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well they might. They might. I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car too. Na, 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 na. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because, hey, I wanted to ride in the car. Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny baby and you are too. And that's why you can't push me because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just get out of the car so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I'll put Doritos in the car. Okay, it's not letting me put Doritos in the car. All right, I'll just I'll put them in my hands. That that'll that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get you guys get some soda and Daisy. You you get um you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss baby. If I ever saw one. Come on, guys. I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's there's no cashier. Yeah, there's a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy! What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy! Um, you you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. 
Oh my gosh, if I call the police, you're gonna end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay, we'll go get some money. We just gotta go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're gonna get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You can get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Well, not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishy, Molly? What do you mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody changed my diaper! Not me, I'm mad of you! Me too, gross! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend. Well, you're my sister. You're going to help me, right? Absolutely not. Goodbye, squishy butt. <laughs> oh, I can't get this fireplace started, and it's freezing in here. Well, Molly, just try to think warm thoughts. That's what Mom told me to do. Daisy, just thinking warm thoughts is not going to actually make me warm. This house stinks. It's always broken. The furnace doesn't work. The pipes leak. The, even the fireplace won't turn on. We need a new house. Yeah, but it's not like someone's just going to show up at our door and give us a new house. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody's at the door. That was really weird. It was like someone heard that we needed a free house. Molly, he's probably a vacuum salesman. He's not going to give us a free house. Or maybe he's dropping off Mom's Amazon package. Hi, what do you want? Uh, my parents are home, so you can't come in. Oh, <laughs> my name is Ed Schnoodlebutterbubbala. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a really hard last name to pronounce. But don't worry, you don't have to. Because I'm here to tell you, you've won a beach house. What? Were you just listening to our conversation? Who, me? No, I would never do that. But anyway, it's still in Brookhaven, but it's down at the beach. What do you say? Do you want it? Just sign right here. Wait a minute. Does it come with heat? Does the furnace work? You betcha. Uh, do the pipes leak? No way. Okay, fine. I'll come out and sign. Okay, great. Just sign right here on the dotted line. All right, cool. And congratulations. I now own your soul. I mean, your old house. <laughs> I'll sell it and stuff. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, I'm sure my parents won't care if I sign the old house away. Daisy, we just want a beach house. We just want a beach house. What? No, that can't be real. Here's the legal document saying we own it now. Holy guacamole! I can't wait to see our new house. Well, don't just sit there. Come on, let's go. Let's pack our bags. Holy guacamole! Look at this new house. It's amazing. Tell me about it, Molly. I bet the heat looks awesome in there. Yeah, we're never going to be cold again. And look at it. Look at the pool. That's amazing. All right, I'm going upstairs. I want to see this whole house. <gasps> oh, MG, I'm in love with this place. I can't even believe that we won those sweepstakes. I don't ever even remember entering any sweepstakes. Me either, but who cares? He sold our old house that was a total clunker, and we got this one. Oh my gosh, look at this bathroom. Holy guacamole. 
I totally want to go outside and see the pool and stuff. Pool! There's a pool! Yeah, and also the lake, and uh, it's just too much. I can't even stop running around. I'm so excited right now. Well, Molly, um, it's getting kind of late. We should probably make some dinner and then go to bed because there's school tomorrow. Yeah, you're probably right. Ugh, I'm so tired. Look at this huge bed. I'm annoyed. What? You're annoyed? Why? Because there's only one bed in one bedroom. At least in our old house, we each had our own bed. Well, I don't know. I just think the beach house is amazing. And uh, I guess you're going to have to room up with me. No, I don't want to. I, I just... Oh, fine. But you know, you know, you better not fart in your sleep. <coughs> Molly, are you asleep already? <coughs> oh, my gosh, she farted already. Ay, ay, ay. That was the worst night of sleep ever. Molly farted and snored all night long. But she must already be at school. Wait a minute. She left for school before me? Of course she did. She actually got a good night's sleep. Huh? What? What? What are you saying? Well, I better get off to school. I don't want to be late. Daisy, what are you talking about? I'm standing right here. Daisy, I didn't go to school yet. She's ignoring me on purpose. Probably because I farted in my sleep. <laughs> Daisy, come on. You're going to be late. Come on. Well, I guess I better get to this school bus. I still can't believe Molly left before I did. Daisy, I'm standing right in front of you. What? Did I just walk through Daisy? What? Daisy, come back here. I, 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 I. Oh, my God. I just walked through her again. Am I a ghost? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I didn't die. I think I'm just invisible. Whoa. I don't know if this is good or bad. But I'm going to go to school and see if anybody else sees me. Good morning, Brookie. I wonder where Molly is. She's not here yet. She's going to get detention for being late. I'm right here, Brookie. I'm right here. Oh, no. I can walk through Brookie, too. Wait, there's Sarah. Na, 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 na. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> I farted right next to you, Sarah. Ugh, something really smells. What is that? I think the school has a sewer leak. <laughs> she thinks it's a sewer leak. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just me. Ugh, this school is so gross. No one can see me. I'm invisible. Wait a minute. Why am I invisible? Where do you think Molly is? I don't know. We got this beach house for free. She's probably chilling by the pool. Wait a minute. You want a free beach house? I want a free beach house. You did? Holy guacamole! Yeah, mine's over at um, Takawana Beach. Where's yours at? Oh, I'm over at Brookhaven Beach. Oh, wow. I can't believe we both won new beach houses. Me either. Um, did you sign the paperwork that says, you know, like, you give up your old house or whatever? Yeah, my old house wasn't nearly as nice as the one I got. Oh, well... That's cool. Maybe we could visit each other's beach houses. Sounds good. Come on, let's go to class. Oh, wait. I still have to get my books. I'll meet you in there, Daisy. You know, since I'm invisible, I won't be getting credit for coming to this class, which probably means I don't even need to be here right now. Oh, I better not be late. Oh, Molly, there you are. What? Brookie, you can see me? Yeah, of course I can. Why couldn't I? Um, because, um, I'm invisible? No, you're not. I wonder where Brookie is. She's going to be late for math class. Uh-oh, Brookie. I hate to break this to you, but now you're also invisible. Wait, what? Nope, they can't see you. Not even a little bit. How come we can see each other then? Because we're both invisible. Ugh, something is really stinking again. Ew, Molly. <laughs> I ate some beans the other day, and I've just been, like, farting all morning, and Sarah thinks it's the sewer backing up. <laughs> oh, Molly, you're such a prankster. What are we going to do about being invisible? Celebrate! It means no more homework, no more teachers. All day we can eat pizza. Molly, I don't think this is such a good thing. I mean, my parents will miss me, and, and wait a minute. What would make us both invisible? What did we do that the other kids didn't do? Ugh, I can't believe those two losers got a free beach house and I didn't. Wait, you got a free beach house? So didn't I. Oh my gosh, I knew 
the beach house was too good to be true. That guy was obviously a demon. Um, Molly, I don't think this is so good. Well, let me pull out the contract and see what it says. Molly, did you read the contract before you signed it? Uh, uh no. Me either. I was too excited about the beach house. Me too. Um, I, Molly Acker, give my soul to the demon? Oh my gosh! The demon! He, 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 he took our human soul! I mean, our, our, our human soul or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but he took it! What? No, we have to get it back! Yeah, or we could be invisible. Forever! Let's go find him. Let's go find him! Um, do you think Sarah will mind if we borrow her car? Um, wait, I'm invisible. Can I sit in it? <laughs> sure can! Come on, invisible best friend. Time to go get our souls back. Molly, can we listen to some good music? Sure, why not? Molly, you just ran that red light! Who cares? We're invisible! Now let's go over to get some um takeout first. Molly, we don't need takeout. We need to get our we need to get our souls back so we're not invisible anymore. Okay, yeah, um, let's go over towards the beach. Maybe he'll be over there trying to give other people free beach houses. What a little trickster. Look, Molly, it's the demon in his real form. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for the free souls. How are you liking your new house? <laughs> well, the house is great, but um, being invisible, not so much. We want our souls back right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, well, have it your way. For real, Molly, you're just giving up? Giving up? <laughs> I don't think so. Who are you calling? You'll see. Hello, this is Laura. How can I help you? Mom, sorry to bother you at work, but um, I accidentally signed our house away. What? Yeah, and um, now I'm invisible because I signed it over to a demon. Give me a beach house, though. What? What do you mean you're invisible? Are you okay? Rookie did it, too, and um, this demon wants to steal our souls forever. Oh, really? You put me on speakerphone right now, Molly. Okay, here you, here you go, Mom. Listen here, Mr. Demon. You gave my daughter and her best friend her their souls back, or you're going to sit in time out for the rest of eternity. Do you hear me, mister? Whoa, your mom means business. Yeah, don't cross her. Seriously, she can be pretty fierce. Okay, I'll give them their souls back. And I think this is very bad, bad, bad behavior. You should really think about what you do before you do it next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Love you. Molly, I'll talk to you about this when I get home. And take the chicken out. I want to make it for dinner. Okay, Mom. Bye. Well, I guess I got to give your souls back. Ugh. Here you go. Hooray! We're cured! Now, I get my beach house back. Uh, no. We're keeping that. Yeah, the beach house is amazing. No, that's not part of the deal. You get your old crummy houses back, and that's all there is to it. Oh, man. Hey, guys. We've hidden a candy cane in this video. The first one to find the candy cane and comment below the time you found it gets a special message from me in the comment section below. That's right, guys. Make sure you find the candy cane and tell us in the comment section below the time you found it at. And now, it's time for another video. No, no, Santa. T -t Don't put me on your naughty list. I, I swear, I I'll do my homework next year. I, I will, as soon as school starts again. No, no, no. No, I, I, I don't want to go on the naughty list. No. Wait, all I get is reindeer poop? Oh, that's gross. Huh? What? Oh, too early. Buddy! Oh, turn off that alarm clock. Hit snooze. I need another 15 minutes. Ugh. I would fall back asleep, but my stomach is growling. Must be all that um crazy dreaming I was doing. Ugh, hopefully Santa doesn't put me on the naughty list in real life. I hope my mom made pancakes this morning. Although it usually smells like waffles or pancakes or something. And I don't smell anything in the house this morning. Ah, look at our Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. Mom, I'm awake. I'm time for a change. Well, that's because my stomach woke me up. Mom? Mom? Oh, maybe she's doing the laundry. Mom? Where's my mom? Oh my gosh, maybe she's sick. 
Oh no, I better go check on her. Mom? 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 Mom, you overslept! What are you doing? We need pancakes or waffles or something for breakfast! Huh, what? Oh, Molly, go away. I need another hour's sleep. Mom, get, get out of bed! Oh my gosh. My mom has officially quit as being my mom. She she's she's quit her job! Mom, you can't. Please! There's only one mom like you. Oh, I just quit for the next hour, Molly. Oh, I'm still so tired. I wake up early every day. And besides, oh, it's a snow day. Wait, what? What'd you just say? It's a snow day. I saw it this morning on the news. Whoa! A snow day? Why didn't you say so? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Gonna do a little dance. Molly, couldn't you do your happy dance Ugh, somewhere else? No, Mom, I'm so excited! <laughs> wee! Wee! Well, I guess there's no extra rest for a mom. What do you want for breakfast? Well, I'm so glad you're awake, Mom, because <laughs> I'll have pancakes. Oh, all right. Ugh. Wow, look at it outside! It looks magical! And I can see the town Christmas tree from here! Ah, I love this time of year, mostly because I get out of school. <laughs> Daisy, wake up! You're late for school! What? Late for school? Are you serious? Yeah, the bus went by like 30 minutes ago. <coughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get detention! I can't believe it! Why don't you come wake me back up? <laughs> you better hurry up, go brush your teeth, get dressed wicked fast. Oh my god, oh my god, wait a minute, why are you still here? I'm always late for school, duh. Yeah, good point. Oh no! My, my entire high school career is ruined! <laughs> I love pranking my sister. Oh, more coffee. More coffee. Mom, look at my pajamas. They're very festive. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Oh, so what are you going to do on your day off? Um, I don't know. Probably play out in the snow. Um, ride the new snowmobiles. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, well, you should wait for your sister. She'll probably be up soon. Uh, something tells me she'll be down in a few minutes. All right, let's see what's on TV. Breaking news, breaking news. There is a three-car pile up on Main Street due to all the snow. If you can stay home, please stay home. Yeah, yeah, same old, same old every year. Don't go out. Guess what? I've got no plans. Ah. <sighs> okay, it's time for school, it's time for school, it's time for school. Molly, come on, come on, come on. Daisy, why are you running around like crazy? I'm late for school, Mom. I love you. Don't worry about my lunch. I'll just starve because I don't want to be late for school and wait for it. There's no school today. There's no school today. There's no school today. Wait, what? It's a snow day. Didn't Molly tell you? What? No. She didn't tell me it was a... S Molly, you pranked me. <laughs> perfect day. Well, girls, I don't know about perfect. I just heard on the news that, well... We might not even be able to get out of our houses. What? Yep, we might be snowed in for the entire blizzard. 24 hours. Well, better get out there and get the snowmobile running now. Molly, I'm not done with you. Seriously, this was not okay. Yep, sure, whatever. La 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 la. <laughs> Perfect way to have no school. First, no school. Second, no school. Third, prank my sister. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Um, Molly, do you think that that really matches? Well, my pants match yours. Does that count? Okay, Molly. Well, I guess you look pretty cute. Pretty cute. I look totally cute. Look at my sweater. It's adorable. It's got Santa all over it. I'm trying to get some brownie points with him because everybody knows I'm very naughty. Yes, we all know this, Molly. Just do your homework and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Nah. <laughs> okay, Mom. See you later. Whoa. They weren't kidding about this blizzard. Wow, this is insane. Okay, well, time to take out my snowmobile. Where's Daisy? Oh, well, she's probably still irritated that I pranked her. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I haven't really learned how to drive this thing yet, but, you know, who cares? Whee! Molly!
Emily, don't go too far from the house. There's a blizzard. Nah, never, Mom. Never. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to go off the hill. Whoa. <laughs> that was so fun. Ooh, there's my school. Too bad I'm not going to see you today, school. <laughs> That's what I think of you, school. <laughs> oh, look at the Christmas tree out in front of the daycare center. That looks beautiful. La, 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 la. Ow, I ran into something. Wow, I hope I can get home. Snow keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Wow, look at the Christmas tree, though. It's beautiful. Well, um, let's see if the pool is frozen over. Oh, no, nope, it's not. Oh, man, I just crashed my snowmobile. Um, now I'm going to have to try to help walk home in this. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Mom? Mom? I'm going to have to call her. Maybe she'll give me a ride. Ho, 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 ho. Ahem. <clears throat> I bead ho, 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 ho. Santa? I know him. Well, sort of. Santa? Oh, my gosh. Is that you for real? Ho, ho, ho. Of course it's me. Now, what are you doing out at this blizzard? Um, I'm enjoying my day off from school, Santa. How are you? <laughs> I'm on your good list, right? No, you're not on the nice list. What? All you're getting this year was reindeer poop. But, Santa, I can explain. Can I have a ride home, too? Of course you could. But, like I said, reindeer poop. I've been collecting it all year just for you. How do you collect the reindeer poop? In little plastic bags. Wow, you sound a little bit like, I don't know, never mind. Santa, I'm sorry. I I I'll do my homework better. Oh, you're not on the naughty list for that. You're on the naughty list for pranking your sister. You really should be nicer to her. Santa, seriously? I'm very serious. And stay in your house, too. Santa, no, I can explain. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, you little brat. Oh, no. Santa, Santa, do Santa doesn't love me. Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mom! Mom? I'm still here doing the dishes while you're out having fun. <laughs> That's what it's like to be an adult at Christmas time. Oh, well, I'm glad it's your job and not mine. <laughs> one day, Molly, one day. Now, what's the problem? <laughs> Molly, you have to calm down so I can understand what you're saying. <laughs> Santa gave me a ride home. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, he did, Mom. He said I was going on the naughty list and I was only getting reindeer poop, but he's been collecting it in plastic bags. Oh, my. That doesn't sound right. Are you sure it was actually Santa? It looked just like Santa and it said ho ho. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it? I think one of the reindeer was fake. I think it was actually a dog. What? Yeah, but Santa was real. I'm on the naughty list. Ah. Ho, ho, ho. You're on the naughty list. Daisy? Wait. You were pretending to be Santa? That's right. You fell for it. Don't prank me again, Molly. Daisy, I'm going to get you. Molly, don't chase me. Girls, try to get along. We're stuck in this house for 24 hours till this blizzard pass. Passes. I can't even talk. You guys are driving me crazy. I'm going on vacation. And by vacation, I mean I'm going to hide in the bathroom and lock the door and eat chocolate bars until 24 hours is over. <laughs> oh, Mom. You're the best. Oh. Well, looks like baby Kira's up. I'll get her, Mom. Good morning, baby Kira. Why are you crying? Oh, wait, that's right. You're like three years old. You cry about everything and nothing all at the same time. I go outside and make a snow angel. Aw, I'll take you outside and make a snow angel. Come on, let's go. Like this, baby Kira, like this. Ooh, wait, the snow cold. Yeah, the snow is cold. <laughs> but it means you get out of going to daycare today. Ooh, I like it. Yes, exactly, baby Kira. Exactly. And the snow doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Woohoo! Wow! Baby Kira, you're really starting to learn your alphabet. OMG, that was adorable. I don't get it up like a number. You know numbers too? Okay, let's hear them. One, eight, two, 
Tick, five, nine. Wow. Um, now you just need to learn that they actually go in an order. <laughs> oh, Marty, she's learning, though, isn't she? Girls, girls, guess what? The mail just came. Okay, is it bills? Because we don't care about that, Mom. We're not grown-ups. No. An giant box just came from Grandma in Texas. And it's addressed to all of us for Christmas. What? Her Christmas presents arrived from Grandma? Oh, ho, ho, ho. show me where they are. Show me where they are. <laughs> now, Molly, you know there's no peeking. No, no, not going to peek. Not going to peek. Are they in here? Okay, where's the light? Got to turn the light on. <laughs> Whoa! Holy guacamole! Look at the size of that box! I know, right? There must be a million presents in there. Why is it so dark in here? I'm gonna trip over this. Whoa! This giant box! <laughs> here, let's turn on the light so we can see. Ooh, I got you double equipment! I got you double equipment! Yeah! Grandma sent these to us from Texas. Isn't that amazing? Uh-oh. Baby Kira doesn't understand the concept that we have to wait until Christmas. Well, you see, Baby Kira, Grandma sent these presents from Texas because, oh my gosh, there's so many of them and she couldn't fit them all on the plane. Mom, seriously. Sorry, I'm just kind of excited. Anyway, when Grandma flies in from Texas, she'll get here on Christmas Eve and she'll take all the wrapped presents out, put them under the tree, and then we can open them all on Christmas morning. You know, after Santa Claus comes too. Oh, M. Gee, this looks amazing. I can't get my dick open now. Okay, she still doesn't understand. All right, girls. Well, it's time to go to bed. And in the morning, we can talk about this some more. By that, do you mean that you hope that she forgets about this giant box of presents? Well, <laughs> sort of. I can't believe it. Grandma sent a huge box of presents. This box is the biggest one I've ever seen on Christmas. <sighs> Christmas can't get here soon enough. Well, time for bed. If I can even sleep, I'm so excited about all the presents. <laughs> presents from Grandma. They're going to be amazing. Can't wait to see what they all are. Ugh. Morning already? Why is baby Kira awake so early? <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. Wow, baby sure to get up early. Baby Kira, baby Kira. Baby Kira, are you awake? Wait, where's baby Kira? She's not in her crib. Oh my gosh, where is she? Whoa, where did all these toys come from? Oh my gosh, I wanted that banana so bad. Wait a minute, where did all these toys come from? Equipment, a mirror equipment. Um... Oh my gosh, Molly, what's this all about? Did you open those presents, Molly? Me? No, it wasn't me. It would be a Merry Christmas. Um, Daisy, baby Kira opened the Christmas presents from Grandma. Oh my gosh, Mom's gonna have a cow. Uh, maybe we can wrap them up really quick. Good morning, girls. <laughs> Where are you guys? Girls? Girls? Oh, Mom, <laughs> let's have breakfast. Don't go in there. Why? Um, no reason, just it's gonna be a surprise. Have you seen that big box from Grandma that was in my room? Um, yeah, I was wrapping it. Why would you wrap that big box, Molly? It doesn't make sense. I got my baby Christmas. Oh, baby big Kira. It's not Christmas. Ah! What happened in here? Oh my gosh! Who opened all the presents from Grandma? Um, don't look at me. For once, I was not naughty. And I wasn't be evil. Baby Kira misunderstood what you said, I think. She thought this morning was Christmas. Oh, no. Baby Kira, Grandma will probably be so disappointed. Mom, I don't think she meant it to be, like, mean or hurtful or anything. She just didn't realize. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> that is a cute toy. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to call Grandma and tell her that Baby Kira really likes what she got for Christmas. <laughs> so don't I. I got a giant banana. Ooh, is that a brightly colored unicorn back there? Yep, and it's got your name on it, Daisy. I like early Christmas. I like it a whole lot. Ah, oh, what am I going to do with you girls? What am I going to do? Merry Christmas! Ah, this is 
the life, just chilling out. Oh, it's been such a long day. Marty! Oh, there you are, Marty. Hey, do you want to go down to the Book Haven ice cream shop with me? What? The ice cream shop? Of course I do. That sounds delicious. I'm going to get... Mm, uh, uh, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, my gosh. This day just keeps getting better. My best friend's here. Hey, Brookie. Hey, guys. What's up? I just came over to see if you wanted to hang out. Totally. Let's hang out. At the ice cream shop, of course. Yeah, we were just about to leave for some ice cream. Oh, um, yeah, could we just hang out here? What? Why? Brookie, why are you so sad? Uh, I can't go for ice cream. Why not? Ice cream's delicious. Are you lactose intolerant? Yeah, sometimes uh, eating dairy makes me... <laughs> Molly, rude! <laughs> sometimes cupcakes does it to me, too. And occasionally when I eat beans. Oh, Molly, that's stinky. Oh, Brookie, maybe we should go without Molly. Actually, you two go. Um, I'll just, I'll wait here till you get back. Brookie, what is going on? Why don't you want to get ice cream with us? Yeah, Brookie, why? Um, okay, I, I can't afford to go. I don't have any money. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? We'll buy your ice cream. You will? Really? You guys don't have to do that. I don't want you to spend your money on me. No, it's fine. We want you to come along. And we want you to have a delicious ice cream cone, too. So, come on, let's all go together. Okay, if, if you really don't mind. Wow, Brookie, <laughs> you beat me here. <laughs> you must be pretty excited about the ice cream. I haven't gotten ice cream all summer. I'm poor. I don't have any money. But I love ice cream. Well, get two scoops on me, then. Hmm, I'm having my favorite mint chocolate chip. What are you going to have, Brookie? Where's Daisy? She's so slow. I'm coming, I'm coming! Rookie, I have the slowest sister on the planet. Well, she did say that she was just a little tired today. Nothing some ice cream won't fix, right, Rookie? What kind did you get? Um, I got this blue kind. I'm not sure what kind it is yet, though. Um, that's bubblegum, Rookie. Ooh, bubblegum! That's super crazy! I got birthday cake! <sighs> yeah, it took me a long time to get here. I noticed. Mm. Two scoops of ice cream. You guys are the nicest for buying me ice cream. I don't know what I'd do without my best friends. Probably be at home without any ice cream. <laughs> but lucky for you, we have lots of money. Well, we don't have a lot a lot of money, but we have enough to buy you ice cream. I have no money. So sick of being poor. Well, money isn't everything. Yeah, Blookie. Sure feels like it when you don't have any. Can't do anything fun. Can't go on school trips. Can't get ice cream. It's just plain, well, awful. Well, today you can have ice cream with us. Mmm, and it's good. Uh, are you guys ready? I, I, I think I should be heading home now. Sure, we could go if you want to. Let's go. Come on, Brookie. I'll race you home. <laughs> Last one to the street is a rotten egg. Brookie, are you coming? Are you, oh, you're so slow. Come on, Brookie. Molly, don't be mean to Brookie. Yeah, Molly, don't be mean to me. Besides, you're the one that I'm leaving in the dust. Only because I turned around to see where you were. Molly, I am so sick of being poor. Well, I'm sorry, Brookie, but it sounds like maybe it's just the way it is for you. Maybe. Ugh, I just want to have a nice house like this one. Whoa. It looks like you have a pretty good imagination because this house is like a million dollars. I know, but I just really love it. Maybe someday when you're a grown-up you can have this house. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Molly. Bye! Molly, what are you doing right now? It's almost time for class. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually studying. What? No, you're not. You're probably on YouTube. No, for reals. I'm actually studying for the math test. Holy guacamole! Feel the earth move! Molly is actually studying! Who's that? Holy guacamole! That's the coolest car I've ever seen! What car, Molly? I don't see a car. That's because you're turned around backwards, Daisy. <laughs> you have to be looking outside. Whatever, Molly! I was concentrating on... On the... On the... Wall? Okay, Daisy, you might not be awake yet. Do you need some coffee? I kind of do, Molly. I kind of do. Holy guacamole! Brookie? What, what are you... Are you... Are you wearing Louis Vuitton? Yeah? <laughs> sure, of course I am. 
Whoa! And is that your car? Yeah! <laughs> it's brand new. Do you guys like it? Uh, yeah! Holy guacamole! It even says her name on the front of it. Oh, wow! I love your new car! Thanks! Well, we better get to math class. We don't want to be late or we'll fail our test. But I have so many qu- Okay, I guess I'll have to ask her the questions later. You can't ask questions during the math test, Molly! Well, it wasn't about the math test. It was about how did she afford all that? Molly, that's rude. Don't ask people about their money. Where's the teacher? Ha ha ha! There's no teacher, no math test. Mmm, this Coca-Cola is really good. Molly, where's your lunch? Well, I sort of spent all of our money at the ice cream shop yesterday. Oopsie! Oh, <laughs> hey guys, no worries. I can totally buy you lunch. Wait, what? You couldn't even afford an ice cream cone yesterday. Now you have a new car and new clothes and you have money for buying our school lunch? What is going on right now? Um, yeah, I'm cool. Look at all this cash. Now, what do you guys want? Um, I'd like some pizza, please. And a drink and some Doritos. Marty, cheap was you eating everything. Uh, yeah, that's sort of a plan. Mmm, that's pretty good. Cheap was creep was thanks, Bookie. That was really nice of you. Don't mention it, guys. Mm, what am I gonna have for lunch? Mm, I think maybe I'm gonna have pizza too. Yeah, it's definitely a good choice. Pizza's good today. Mm. Sometimes school lunch tastes like it came straight out of a dumpster, but not today. I can tell they ordered this from a local pizza shop. Mm, it was really good, Maria. You can never stop eating. No, never. <laughs> Um, well, guys, I have to get going. Um, since it's half day at school today, I have things I have to do. Oh, well, um, okay. Bye! Molly, do you think it's weird that she has all this money all of a sudden? I think it's really weird. I think I should follow her. Follow her for what? Because I want to see where she's getting all this money from. Did she find a special tree out in the forest that, that, that grows money leaves? Because if so, I want to go there and pick all of the leaves off of it. Oh, boy, Marty, that sounds very greedy. Well, I, I, I want to discover a money tree, too. Well, I'm not following her. I have an after-school job now. You do? Yep, and I love it. So have fun and let me know what's up. There's Brookie's car. <laughs> I'll see what she's up to. Where's she going? Looks like she's headed to that house she likes so much. Don't tell me she bought it. <laughs> that house is a million dollars. How would she ever afford it? I wish I had a fancy car. These are huge hills! Huge! Wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay, I don't want to get seen. Where's this money tree she has? Hmm, this house looks like the perfect house to rob! <laughs> what? Did she say rob? Nah, <laughs> she couldn't have. Watch what she does next. <gasps> She's putting on a black outfit. Why is she doing that? <laughs> no one's home, so this should be a perfectly easy job. She is going into that house. <gasps> I hope she doesn't really say that she's robbing the place. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to look in the windows. <gasps> okay, I don't want to be seen. Where's she going? She's stealing stuff out of the dresser. Oh, my God. God! They have an indoor pool? That's amazing. Okay, focus, Molly! Focus! Oh, look! It's the safe! <laughs> now I'll be able to afford this kind of house because I'll steal all the money. What? Brookie's a, a, a crook? A thief? A, a criminal? My best friend! And I didn't even know it! Oh, my God. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? If I call the police, my best friend will go to jail! How will I live without her? But if I don't call the police, well, then it's wrong because she's doing something criminal and, 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 and I'm supposed to call the police. Oh, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, no. I have to call the police on my friend. Oh, no. 911, what's your emergency? Um, I'm at 175 Brookhaven Lane and my best friend is a criminal. Could you be a little bit more specific? I kind of have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. What are you doing right now? Oh, sorry. I'm eating a donut. <laughs> I'm almost finished. <sighs> OMG, this is serious! My best friend's a criminal! She's robbing this house as we speak! 
What? She's robbing a house? Okay, I'll send an officer over right away. Because I can't come. I'm eating a donut. Yeah, yeah, okay, I I'll be here. Just hurry. Where are these police? I mean, they're being so slow. Holy guacamole. Wait, here they come. Oh, and she, they're going to block off Brookie's car. Brilliant police move. Okay, who's who's going to be a new arrest? Daisy? What are you wearing? Oh, I didn't realize she would place the car, Marty. What's going on? Daisy, why are you in a police uniform? Because this is my after-school job, duh. A police officer? Yeah, I love it, too. Oh, I feel so amazing. Powerful. Go, power! Oh, my gosh, Daisy. You as a police officer is just scary. Why? I'm good at it. I don't know. It's just something about the little pigtail. You're just too cute. You can't, you can't act mean. I'm going to act mean right now and throw you in jail if you don't talk nicer to me. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know how to be nice to you. You're my sister. Wait, I think Brookie's coming. Shh. What's going on? Oh, OMG! What, what's going on here? What's going on is you're busted. Molly, did you did you call the cops on me? Um, I, I'm sorry, Brookie, but, but, but I had to. It was the right thing to do. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. But she was my best friend. Yeah, and, and I had to. Who are you here to see? Uh, the only person in the jail. Who is it that you are to see? Mm. These blueberry donuts are so good. Dunkin' Donuts makes the best donuts in the world. I I'm here to see my best friend, Brookie. Oh, yeah, the criminal. Okay, you're checked in. You can go in and see her. You have a face at all? Thanks. Oh, it's you. Um, Brookie, I, I just came to see you. I... I I, I'm sorry that our friendship has ended up this way. You should be. You called the police on me. I, I had to, Brookie. What you were doing was wrong. What I was doing was right. I'm tired of being poor. I couldn't even afford an ice cream with my friends. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. And you ruined everything. Brookie, ugh, it, it, you can't just be a criminal because you're poor. That's not okay. Stop yelling at me. Well, actually, I can yell at you because I'm out here and I'm not a criminal and you're in there. So you kind of have to hear what I have to say. No, 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 I'm not listening. Oh, wow, that's really immature. I'm not listening. No, 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 Go away. We're not best friends anymore. You're not my friend at all. What? Brookie? S -s Seriously? Yeah, I don't like you. I hate you. You're horrible. You're, you're the worst person ever. Oh, my God, Brookie. Brookie! Ah, I was my best friend! Ah. Well, you do the crime, you do the time. Ah. No! No, Brookie! No! <laughs> Brookie! Molly? Mo Molly, are, are you okay up there? What? What's going on? Huh? Oh, oh my gosh! It was all a nightmare! Hey, Molly, <laughs> you sleepy head. Why are you sleeping so late? I had a really rough night's sleep. It looks like it. Have you been crying? Oh, yeah, no, 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 never mind about that. I'm okay, uh, I'm okay. Cute PJs. Oh, <laughs> thanks, they're super comfy. Molly, I thought today would be the, what? Where'd all that money come from? Whoa, Molly, what is your problem? I knew it, I knew it. You, you have to go to jail, that's just it. What are you talking about, Molly? I thought it would take you out for ice cream today. I don't want ice cream for you. You, you stole that money. Molly, that's not very nice. What, what happened to you? Did you roll off the top bunk of bed and bunk your head on the floor or something? How rude. I don't know if we can be friends if you're going to be so mean. Well, well, you belong in jail because you steal the money. What are you talking about? I didn't steal that money. I got an after-school job at the grocery store. Oh, uh, I'm so... I'm so sorry, Brookie. I... Okay. It's a long story, but I had this horrible dream that you broke into people's houses, stole all their money from the safe, bought a Ferrari, got new Louis Vuitton clothes, and basically, um, yeah, you were criminal and went to jail. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's ridiculous, Molly. 
I know, it sounds ridiculous, but the dream felt really real. <laughs> like your friend would ever be a criminal. No, seriously, I, I, I felt like it was so real. But I know, you're not a criminal. R right? Of course I'm not, Molly. I really did get a job at the grocery store. <laughs> now, do you want an ice cream cone or not? Yeah, sounds pretty good. I got uh, a call about someone robbing the house next door. Said they ran in here. <gasps> I know it, Pookie! It was you! It wasn't me. I, I didn't do it. Had your description. Um, short brown hair, green bow. Ah! She did it! She robbed the house! She's a criminal! <laughs> I like to good my funny bone. <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy, you got Molly so good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, Daisy, you're so bad. <laughs> The perfect day to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Hey Molly, what's up? Oh, Brookie! I didn't know you were gonna be around today. Yeah, I thought maybe we could hang out. Do you want to? Yeah, sure, I'll hang out. Let's ride bikes. Nah, I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't wanna ride bikes. Oh, um, but I rode my bike here because I thought it would be really fun. It is like 90 degrees outside today. I am not riding bikes. Too hot! Oh! We could always go swimming in your pool. Yeah, that would be amazing, except for my dad just refilled it, and the water's freezing. I don't mind cold water. Well, you would mind this. It's shocking. Come on in, Brookie. Oh, hi, Brookie. I'm just watching adult book pig videos on YouTube. Oh, hey, DZ. I just came to hang out because it's summer vacay, and it's boring at my house. Well, it's not really boring here because we have tons of snacks. Molly, do you want to watch a movie in the air conditioning? Nah, I don't want to watch a movie. Molly, not to be rude or anything, but I've been noticing something. Every time Brookie comes over to our house, you never want to do what she wants to do. What? That's, that's not true. Look, we're doing what she wants to do right now, right? Just chill on the couch. Actually, Molly, I don't want to just lay here on the couch for my summer vacay. I wanted to ride bikes or go swimming or, or watch a good movie or something. Yeah, Molly, you're just nothing but a lazy bum all summer. Hey, that's rude! I can't believe my best friend and my sister would say something so mean. Well, Molly, if the shoe fits, wear it, diva. Me? A diva? I don't think so. Um, Molly, you're wearing your sunglasses inside. That uh, kind of makes you a diva. Um, I just want to be fashionable. Cool, you know? Diva, diva, diva. If you don't stop calling me a diva, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Guys, stop fighting. It's really frustrating that you guys fight all the time. I come over here to hang out with you guys and have fun and... Well, <sighs> Molly, I have to tell you something. Okay, what is it? If you can't ever want to do anything I want to do, and it's just always about you, 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 then I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? You would give up being my best friend? Well, you're not much of a best friend if all you ever do is be selfish, Molly. I'm not selfish. I mean, well, I guess I am kind of selfish. And also, summer vacation's not really fun when all you want to do is sit around and eat Doritos. Yeah, Molly, so what's it going to be? Hum, hum, well, I'll do whatever you want for 24 hours. And I'll see if I like the things you decide to do. Seriously? You'll give me 24 hours to do whatever we want? That sounds amazing! Uh, okay, well... I don't know how it could be more amazing than just chilling out on the couch and eating Doritos, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, Bookie, can I see you over here? I want to talk to you about something. Hey, no secrets! Molly, I'm just going to talk to Bookie only. What did you want to tell me, Daisy? Molly is being such a selfish brat. I wouldn't blame you at all if you wanted to do things like have her take a mud bath. Dress up like a giant banana for the whole town to see. <laughs> you know, fun stuff like that. 
Why would I be so mean, Daisy? It's not mean. It's just testing to see if she really will do whatever you want. Or if she's still the selfish person we think she is. Well, you do have a point. Um, well, there's only one way to find out. Quit whispering! I know it's about me! Um, well, um, okay, Molly. Well, you said I'd, you would do whatever I wanted to do for 24 hours. Yeah, so quit whispering and tell me! First, I want you to turn your phone upside down and be so ridiculously happy! I don't know if that's humanly possible. You just really irritated me. Molly, you promised our friendship is on the line. Ugh, okay. I'm so ridiculously happy! <laughs> Look at me! Happy, 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 happy! How's that? Whoa, that's a little creepy. I'm not used to seeing you like that, Molly. <laughs> I better go back on my computer. Have fun, you two. Okay, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? First, you're gonna dress like a giant banana and wave to everybody in town. Wait, what? Yeah, doesn't that sound like fun? I think it'll be hilarious. Everyone will be so cheered up by your banana costume. You aren't serious right now, right? Totally I am. Are you going to do it? Our friendship is on the line. Oh, I guess. I mean, I don't wanna lose my friend. Well, how do I look? <laughs> like a giant banana! <laughs> See, you're already making me super happy! Oh boy, I feel ridiculous. Oh yeah, this is YouTube gold. Marley, say hi! Turn that camera off! I'm not- oh my gosh, I'm just running out of here. Running out of here! Molly, you know what would make this so much more amusing to everybody driving by? Ugh, I'm already dressed like a banana. What else do you want from me? You should do a little banana dance and sing a song. I don't know any banana songs. Um, think of one, Molly. Our friendship is on the line. I know. You keep saying that. I'm a little banana, but but banana. I'm a little banana, but but banana. O M G. <laughs> is that Molly dressed up like a banana dancing? I'm a little banana, but but banana. I'm a little banana. doing working for a banana farm or something you look ridiculous i'm trying to keep my best friend happy i am happy i'm so happy well see you later losers and the banana <laughs> loser banana that's what i meant you're a loser banana whoa that was just rude what the police seriously excuse me do you have a permit a permit a permit for what a permit to be a banana dancing on this street. Uh, are you serious right now? You don't need to be a, a, a permit to be a banana. Actually, you do. In the town of Brookhaven, you can only be a banana on the street dancing if you have a permit. Oh boy, Molly. I think you just got a really big ticket. $500? $500? Are you kidding me? Are you talking back to me right now? Because I could make that ticket 600 banana. No, I'll just pay it. All of my life savings goes to being your friend now, Brookie. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Molly. Maybe we should do something more fun than, um, than humiliating me as a banana on the street? Yeah, definitely that. Come on, let's go back to your house and we'll do something actually fun. Fun sounds like sitting on the couch and eating Doritos. No, Molly, something actually fun, like riding a bike or something. Ugh, fine. As long as I can take this banana suit off, I'm sweating. Okay, let's ride bikes. Okay, if that's what you want to do. But ugh, this zipper seems to be stuck on this banana costume. Can you help me out of it? Sure, let me just see if I can get the zipper. Uh-oh, Molly, I can't get the zipper either. What? I'm stuck in this banana costume? Well, let me go see if I can get some scissors out of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'll have to cut myself out of this banana costume. Um, Molly, the banana costume's rented. You can't cut it or it'll cost us $500. Really? I don't have another $500. I have this ticket for being a banana. Now I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna have to buy this banana costume? Oh my gosh, this is the most ridiculous day ever. And everybody wonders why I wanna be in charge of what we do. 
Well, um, um, maybe we could just like put some butter on you and you could slide out of it. Oh, I hate my life right now. I hate my life right now. Please have butter. Please have butter. Oh my God, we're out of butter. Oh no, how am I ever gonna get out of this banana costume? Well, I do have this leftover popcorn from the movies last night. That's pretty buttery. We could probably just smear the popcorn all over you and you could slide right out. Oh my gosh. Have I said I hated my life today? Have I said it? Molly, don't eat the popcorn. We need that for the butter. I'm just hungry. I need something to eat and I'm stressed out. Sometimes I stress eat. Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rub all this popcorn all over me and, and, ah, thank goodness I'm out of the banana costume. Now, come on, let's go ride bikes. I wanna go lay on the couch. That was the worst day ever. Why are you making me dress like a banana anyway? It was just rude and I didn't like it. It wasn't even fun. Molly, you promised for 24 hours. And okay, I admit, the banana idea was Daisy's. Wait, what? Yeah, she wanted to see if you were actually going to do things for me because she said you're very selfish. Well, are you happy now? Are you satisfied? I need to rub popcorn butter all over me. And I got a $500 ticket. Yes, Molly, now we're just gonna go have real fun together. Ugh, I don't want to, but I guess because you're still my best friend and I don't want to lose you as my friend. All right, come on, it's gonna be fun, Molly. Now, come on, put a smile on. You're, you're pushing me too far, Brookie. I don't want to put a smile on. No smile ever. Whoa, Molly, your bike is so cool. I've never seen it before. That's because I hardly ever come out to ride my bike. Oh no, there's a police officer. Okay, I'm going downtown because I definitely do not need to get another ticket for something. Whee! Okay, I have to admit, this is actually kind of fun. I told you, Molly, I knew you were gonna love it. Well, don't let it go to your head. I'm sure I'll be tired soon enough and wanna go home and just eat Doritos. Um, well, we could go swimming if you want. We could go back and go to the um, pool or something. Um, yeah, why not? It's your 24 hours. As long as I don't have to go as a giant banana. Ugh, it's pretty hot. That water looks really refreshing. We don't have our bathing suits, Molly. Oh yeah, that's true. We should probably just go home. Nonsense, we'll just jump in right with our, our regular clothes on. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, you go up the diving board and I'll go down the slide. Okay, <laughs> whatever she wants for 24 hours, I have to say yes. Whoa! Gee, that was so much fun. <laughs> again. Don't worry, Molly. You're not dancing and singing on the street as a banana anymore. I'm sure you can't get in trouble for not having a permit. Hi, officer. What's going on? What's going on is that you're in the community pool without proper attire. What? It's not like I'm swimming naked or something. I've got my clothes on. I know, but you're going to clog up all the filters in the community pool by wearing your shoes and clothes in. You're supposed to be wearing a bathing suit. No socks, no shoes. Go read the sign. Um, well, we didn't know, but she'll get right out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm right out of the pool. Huh. So, um, wait, what's that? It's a ticket, and you have to pay it. $500? What? That's the cost of having all the threads from your clothes taken out of the pool filter. Have a nice day. Ugh, why is she saying have a nice day? She wrote me tickets for $1,000 today. And now you see why I sit on the couch and eat Doritos. But Molly, didn't you have fun? I mean, a little bit? Ugh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Even if I got a bunch of tickets and looked like a total fool in front of the school bully. Excuse me, you still look like a fool. Has she been standing there that whole time? Um, no, it looks like she's in her car, Molly, and driving the block just to see you get the ticket. Oh, Sarah! Well, at least we're still BFFs. Really? You still want to be my best friend even though I've been really selfish? Yeah, Molly, after today and how devoted you were to me, 
there's no one I'd rather be my best friend. Oh, Brookie. Now, will you do the banana dance again? Are you serious right now? No, I'm not going to do the banana dance. Molly, I still have a few more minutes of my 24 hours. Oh, okay. I'm a banana, but, but, banana. I'm a mama banana, but, but, banana. I'm a banana, but, but, banana. I can't believe it! Today's the big day! I'm going to adopt my baby! I'm so excited, I can't wait! I even set up her nursery for her! Isn't it so cute? Look, there's a little crib in here! And I have a little thing to um make her bottle and all of that. Over here is a little tub and a bathroom so that I can give her baths and stuff. Well, I haven't quite moved in totally to my house yet, but seriously, she is going to love it. So now it's time to go and get my baby. Oh, I can't wait. Now, which way is it to the adoption center? An adoption party is starting at the nursery. Would you like to attend? Yes, I would love to. Oh my gosh, I'm going to an adoption party. It's going to be amazing. Um, what? No, this was just back to my house. What is going on? I want to go to the adoption party! Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I think it's telling me to go this way. Cool, this must be where the adoption party is. You can't go through a wall. Don't be ridiculous. Ha! <laughs> Going to an adoption party for real this time. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this town. It's so beautiful. A hot air balloon. What? Look at that giant Christmas tree. Be the best Christmas present ever if I got to adopt a little baby. I can't wait. Look at all the snow. Hey, watch where you're going. Jeepers creepers, you almost ran me over. Here I am at the nursery. <laughs> that little baby is lifting weights. Hi. Okay, I've made it to the nursery. Are there any babies in the crib? Hello, little babies. Oh, hi, Anna. Oh, you're just like a little... I'm only kidding. This is where you come to get adopted. I already have a family. I'm just here to make new friends. Oh, you're so cute. Will you be my friend? Of course I will, Anna. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I need a baby, though. I need a baby that's not adopted. <gasps> oh, you're in a family? Do you want to join my family? Oh, you're so cute, Luda. I'm going to call you Luda. Is that okay? Wait, I thought you were going to be my baby. Oh, someone should be my baby. Anybody? Anybody? Whoa, family of six. No, no, no. I need to have my own baby. Thank you. Lolo Ladybug. Hi. Oh, you're so adorable. Will you be my baby? I want to adopt you. And you have a little puppy, too? Seriously, could you be any cuter? G -g -g -papa? Mama? That's right, Lala Ladybug. I'm your mama. Come on. Here, I'll put you in your stroller. Hang on, I've got to get it out. Okay, Lala, let's go. Oh, such a good little girl. Mama? Of course I'm your mama. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll give you something to eat. Here you go. Here's a sandwich. That's not nice. You ate sandwich. You ate sandwich. No, 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 no. It's okay. Here, have a heart plushie. Here you go. I 
And now you can have an apple. Thank you, Mama. Aw, you're such a good girl. Come on. I'm going to show you where we live. Oh, you're full? Okay, that's a good girl. Whoa, look at all these places. Mama? Hi, little baby. Okay, Lala. Look at this, Lala. This looks like a toy store. Oh, my gosh, Lala. You're going to love it here. Come on. I'm going to totally get you a toy if I can. Hello. Welcome to my toy store. Uh, I hope you have fun shopping today. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just here with... What? Your name is Mia? I thought it was La La Ladybug. Tata Mia. I'm your mom. My name is Molly, though. Smiley face. <laughs> Have a look around my store and see if there's anything you'd like to buy. Okay, I will. <gasps> look, Mia. It's a teddy bear. I want to buy this for you, Mia. Oh, Mama, teddy bear, teddy bear. That's right, Mia. I don't know if Mia knows this, but um, I'm a YouTuber, and you're going to be on a video. Smile. <laughs> Come on, baby Mia. Mama, I'm thirsty. Have a great day. Thanks for shopping here. Anytime, anytime. Thanks for having us. We had so much fun at the toy store. OMG, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> that's right, Mia, that's right. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, now you said you're thirsty, right? Let's go to this pizza shop and see if there's anything delicious to eat. Do, 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 do. Ooh, look at these pizzas, Mia. Should we get one? Mm, no. Oh, poor baby. Pizza! I thought you didn't want a pizza, Mia. Pizza, 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 pizza. I'm hungry. Pizza, pizza. Okay, okay. Welcome to Ramsey's Pizza. You can have tomatoes, cheese, salami, anything you want on your pizza. You can even have pizza on your pizza. <laughs> Ramsey, you're funny. Come on, Mia. Let's see if we can make a pizza. Okay, here we go. Come on, Mia. Let's go sit over here at the table. Here you go. Mmm, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. My favorite. I'm so glad, Mia. I'm, I'm so glad that you, you love it. Delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mia is so hungry. She's eating the entire pizza herself. OMG. Do you want to go to the um, playground? Whoops, I spelled playground wrong. Okay. Ooh, I got to check. Just for doing nothing. <laughs> Come on, baby. Now that you're done eating your um, pizza, we can go. Yeah, yeah, playground, let's go. <sighs> now I just have to remember where the playground is. Toys. <sighs> oh, there it is. Wee, playground. That's right, little baby. It's time to go to the playground. You're going to have so much fun. Okay, I'm going to put you down now so you can go and play. Come on, let's go on a swing. Wee! Whoa. <laughs> the swings are kind of crazy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm adopting. Oh, I highly recommend it. Adopting is wonderful. 
Hey, except for I can't find Mia. Mia! Mia! Mama over here! Oh my gosh, Mia, be careful! Okay, get on the swing, baby. Okay, you want me to give you a push? Yeah, Mama, yeah. Okay, here we go. Go, Mia, go, Mia, go! Go, Mia, go, Mia, go! Whee! Whoa, Mia, look at you! Go, Mia, you're doing awesome! Whee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad you love it, Mia. You're the best daughter ever. Thanks, Mama. Thank you. Aww. You're so sweet. I'm so glad that I adopted you. You're my favorite baby ever. Mommy. Aww. Toyo fans, give a huge thumbs up to Mia for being the cutest baby ever. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. We put out awesome videos like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>
Glad to see you've done so well for yourself. Oh, thanks, Molly. <laughs> hey, um, I was wondering, uh, would you like to have dinner with me and catch up? Really? That, that sounds amazing. Sure. You look really good, Molly. You're so grown up now. You too, Luke. So, um, when do you want to go out to dinner? How about right now? The bank's about to close. Sounds really amazing. Sure, just let me log off and, um, I'll meet you wherever you want. Okay, I'll see you at the diner in five. Wow, Luke's back in my life and I'm about to go on a date with him. Woohoo! Whoa, is that Luke's sports car? He really has done well for himself. Hey, Molly, over here. Uh, sorry, Luke. Uh, this date was last minute and, uh, I didn't have time to change out of my bank uniform. No problem, Molly. I don't care what you're wearing. Let's go inside and get something delicious for dinner. It's so good to see you, Molly. It's so good to see you too, Luke. Where do you live now? Well, I was living in San Francisco, but I really miss Brookhaven, so I decided to move back. What? You live in Brookhaven again? Yeah, and the truth is I really wanted to see you. You did? Yeah, I did really like you. I really like you too. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation and I just want to say, don't do it. Don't do what? Don't fall in love. It's a trap. It's evil. It, uh, true love doesn't exist. Whoa, you sound kind of jaded. <laughs> Did you get a broken heart? She must have. Yeah, so? All love is it's fake. Um, I don't think all love is fake. You just haven't met the right person yet. Uh, what's your name? Cindy. And, um, Okay, fine. What do you want for your order? Whoa. Uh, could you be a little nicer, please? I've had a very long flight from San Francisco. Well, um, Cindy here just feels a little sad, Luke, because, um, her heart is broken. Okay, Cindy. Well, I'm gonna leave you a really big tip, and that'll probably make your day a lot better. Yeah, it really will. But love is still fake! Whoa, Cindy definitely has a chip on her shoulder. Um, uh, suddenly I'm not feeling very hungry. What about you, Molly? Um, uh, me either. Bye, Cindy! I'll still leave you a tip, though. Just don't want to be around someone who doesn't believe in love. Yeah, exactly. How about we go for a walk instead, Molly? Sounds fun. Let's go. Whoa, look. The moon is huge tonight. I know, right? So cool. Whoa, Molly, we've been talking and walking for so many hours. It's morning. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I'm going to be really tired for work today. It was so nice catching up with you, Molly. The hours just went by without even me noticing. I know what you mean. Hey, look, there's the old cemetery. Remember when the kids at school used to dare each other to go in there? Yeah, but we're grown-ups now. We're not afraid of the cemetery. Look, looks like there's a fresh grave. I double dog dare you to go in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Luke. All right, fine. Just for old time's sake. Wow. Well, what's that sound? Look inside, Molly. I triple dog dare you. Okay, fine. Hello? Is anybody. Ah! What's that? Bah! Ah! It's Luke! It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. A zombie! What? A, a zombie? Bah! Luke! Run! Ah! from this zombie. I, I, I definitely have to get away from that zombie. All those years, someone dared me to go into the graveyard. I never did. And I think I was probably smarter for that. Molly, is that you? Are you okay? Molly, come on, get in my car. No, zombies are fast. We have to find somewhere to hide. I have the key to the bank. Come on, I'll let us in and we'll hide in here. Okay, you think this is a good idea? Absolutely, come on. We can go hide behind the desk. The zombie will never think to look in the bank. They're too dumb. Well, Molly, I... I have to say, this first date really was anything but boring. I have to agree, Luke. I kind of wish it didn't end with a zombie trying to kill us. Brains. Oh my gosh, Luke, the zombie is inside the bank? How'd they get in? I don't know, Molly, but I think we might have left the door unlocked. Oh, man. Money. <laughs> what? M Stop beating your head against the ATM. Oh, M G! It's trying to break in! I didn't think they cared about money, just brains! Apparently this zombie is also money hungry. <laughs> Maybe they want a new outfit. Wait a minute. Did they just steal all the money? Get back here! Molly, stay low! You don't want it to come after our brains again, do you? Just let it take the money! Oh my gosh! The, the, the alarm's going off! Wait a minute, is it taking your car? Luke! Oh, my sports car! Come back here! Ah! Luke, wait! Come back! Are we gonna have a second date? I've gotta go get my car! Get back here, zombie! I'm gonna get you! Okay, well, call me! Oh my gosh, I have to call my boss and tell them that the bank's been robbed! Okay, it's ringing. 
It's, it's ringing. Why are the police here? Okay, good. This is perfect. I didn't call the police, but they can help me. Hello? In here! In here! The bank's been robbed! Hands in the air! What? No, I, I didn't I didn't do it! Hands up! Okay, but I, I'm just saying, I, I didn't rob the bank! Well, you're the only one here who did! I can explain this whole thing, Mr. Police Officer! It was a zombie back from the dead! <laughs> That's the best one I've heard yet! Hands behind your back! But I would never steal from the place I work, ever! I don't believe you! You're arrested! But, but there was a zombie in... in, 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 in did rob the bank, I swear! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So I suggest stop talking about a zombie. You sound very crazy. But it's the truth! Shh! Okay, fine. All right, into the police car. Oh my gosh. This has turned out to be a crazy date! You're gonna be put in prison for a long time. What? No, I'm not. I need a second date with Luke. Who's Luke? Who cares? You're in trouble, you thief! What? But I didn't do it! It was a zombie! Like I said, shh! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! I'm stuck in jail forever! Molly? Is that you? Luke! Oh my gosh, Luke! They think I stole all the money from the bank! Even though I don't even have it, what would I do with it? That silly zombie ruined everything! Now there's these bars between us. Luke! I I I'm missing you. I'm missing you too, Molly. Also, by the way, you look great in orange. That's a great color on you. Oh, thanks. I thought this prison outfit was kind of drab. You can make anything fab. You can take drab to fab. Oh, Luke, you say the sweetest things. Molly, there's only one thing for us to do. What, Luke? Be together. Stand back. L Luke, what are you going to do? I'm going to hotwire this and I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to open the bars and you're going to get out. What? Luke! I'm out! Thank you! Now come on, Molly, run! Oh my gosh, the sirens are going off! Ah, there's the police! Run! I shouldn't have eaten that second cupcake at lunch today. Molly, come in here! The police will never think to look in the church. Wow, this is a really nice church. I know, right, Molly? Um, so, uh, since we're already here at the church and everything, maybe, uh, we should... Get married. What? Get married? Are you serious? I just broke out of prison. What better time for us to commit our lives to one another? Well, if you really think so, then let's do it. Really? Yeah, I've loved you my whole life, Luke. Let's do this. We are gathered here today to join Luke and Molly in holy matrimony. Wait a minute. Did you just break out of prison? What? What are you talking about? You're wearing that orange jumpsuit. How rude! This is my wedding dress. I have been planning this day for months. I went to this special bridal shop that's very exclusive and picked this out. And you're saying it looks like a prison outfit? I'm um, very sorry. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful dress. Okay, can we get on with the wedding? Do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. Forever and ever. Oh, Luke, I love you. And do you take this guy, Luke, to be your husband forever? I do! I do! I do! Then you may kiss the bride! <laughs> Molly, that's the most ridiculous future I've ever heard in my life! <laughs> what? It, it could happen. Yeah, right, Molly. First, you go on a date with Luke. Hey, that's believable. Uh, sure. Then there's a zombie. Uh-huh, also could happen. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> then the zombie robs the bank and you get blamed for it and go to prison. Uh-huh, also could happen. <laughs> Ridiculous, Molly. And then, if Luke breaks you out of a high-security prison and you guys get married, <laughs> <laughs> That's the silliest and craziest, most ridiculous story I've ever heard. Go to bed, Molly. <laughs> Before my stomach explodes from laughing. Hey, Daisy, it could happen. It could happen. Uh huh, Molly. <laughs> sure. Good night, Molly. I think it could happen. It really could. Well, Molly, I I'll see you in the morning. Have a good sleep. Hopefully, you don't have another weird dream. I'm telling you, zombies are real. They really are real. <sighs> In this Brookhaven mini-movie, it's almost time for prom for 
Molly and Daisy. As they are getting makeovers, a package arrives for Daisy from a secret admirer. And the secret admirer is none other than Boss Baby. But Boss Baby is now a teenager who is trying to win the heart of Daisy so he can take her to the prom. Will he succeed or will he turn into the monster Molly thinks he truly is? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And don't forget to like this video and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. On this exciting conclusion of Brook High, see what Lily says to Brittany. OMG! What does Lily say to Brittany? Mm. These Doritos are delicious. Time to wash it down with a donut. So good. I can eat all the snacks. Molly, Molly, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Oh, Molly, you, you smell awful. When was the last time you changed your clothes? And when was the last time you took a bath? Um, I can't remember. Mm, this is good. Molly, have you been spending the entire weekend just sitting on the couch watching Brook High? Uh, pretty much. Did you grow a beard? How do you grow a beard? Oh, no. <laughs> That's moss. <laughs> I just sat here for so long that plants started growing on me. Oh, Molly. Yuck. Don't you know that tomorrow is the school dance? The big one. The prom. You can't go looking like that. Who says I'm going to the prom? I think I'd rather stay here and eat all these Doritos. Molly, you have to go to prom. It's like so important. Now go take a bath. We're going to the spa. Oh, fine. Why do I have to go to the spa though? Oh, uh, because Molly, you have a moss beard. You definitely need to go to the spa. You can't go to the dance like that. Fine. Ugh, I hope she's happy. I had to give up my Doritos for this. Is this better? That'll do till we get to the spa, Molly. I mean, at least you shaved your moss beard. <laughs> I kind of liked having a plant growing on my face. I felt productive. Well, Molly, I guess you were productive sitting on the couch doing nothing, eating Doritos and watching every episode of Book High. Well, I'm glad you see things my way. I don't, Molly. Now, come on. Let's go to the spa. Oh, I need to get zen. <laughs> zen. Yeah, you're stressing me out, Molly. Daisy, I think you're going the wrong way. Molly, like, you know where the spa is. Of course I know where it is, though. Ugh, what's that smell? It smells like heaven. Like flowers and potions and lotions. I think I prefer the smell of Doritos. Oh, Molly, what are we gonna do with you? Now, where is my normal girl? Where's Brittany? She normally does my hair. Uh, doesn't look like Brittany works here anymore. What? It's okay, Daisy. Just sit down in the chair and uh, I'll go in the back. See if I can find Brittany. Oh my gosh, my sister's gonna freak out. It's okay though. I can just, I can pretend to be Brittany. <laughs> Daisy? Oh, wake me up when Brittany gets here. Brittany said she's gonna be here in one minute. Just go sit in the chair and close your eyes, okay? Okay, good. I'm so glad Brittany didn't quit. What would I do without her? She'll never know it isn't Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Are you gonna um wash my hair and stuff today? Oh, yes. I'm gonna wash your hair. Oh, Brittany, that water's too hot. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, must be something wrong with the faucet. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that water's freezing. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, your hair is washed. Uh, don't open your eyes, though. Just here, um... Come on over here and I'll, I'll help you sit in the chair. Okay. What if I run into stuff? Oh, you won't. I'm sure of it. Whoa, I can't see anything. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, just come right this way. I, I don't want you to open your eyes because I don't want you to get any of the awesome um conditioner I put in your hair in your eyes. Yeah, that's it. Have a seat. Okay, let's give you some new hair. Brittany, you sound really funny. Oh, uh, I just have a little bit of a... A cold is all. Oh, I hope you feel better. Try not to give it to me. I'm going to prom later. Oh, that sounds amazing. <coughs> oh, your coffee got me. Sorry about that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad, Brittany. I have to look perfect for prom. Okay, um, wh why don't you, um, just step right over here and, um, we'll do your, we'll do your nails and some makeup, too. Okay, uh, can I open my eyes yet? No! I want it to be a big surprise. Come over here. Well, I can't, I can't see anything. This way, follow the sound of my voice. Yeah, that's right. Oh, finally, I found my way. Okay, 
<sighs> Give me the works. I need to look perfect for prom. Sure thing. Anything you want. Are you going to give me a tip? Oh, sure, Brittany. I always give you a tip, silly. Okay, I'm all done. You can open your eyes. What? What? Molly? What? Why are you sitting where Brittany sits? Um, because I am Brittany. What? Where's Brittany? She wasn't here. I didn't want you to get really upset, so I did your makeover. It looks beautiful, though. Um, okay, let me see it. I really, I really like Brittany, though. No, it's good. I, I, I did a good job. Go look in the mirror. I'm a little afraid, but okay. Ah! Molly! I look like a clown! Look at me! Oh my gosh, I'm so ugly! Holy guacamole! This is bad. This is so bad. Daisy! Daisy, it's gonna be okay! Oh, no! I am gonna be the ugliest person in prom! Daisy, seriously, it, it's not that bad. I mean, you have a winning personality. You're super smart. Molly! You made me into a clown! I might as well join the circus! Um, uh, hello? <laughs> Luke? Oh, hi! Oh, my gosh! Someone I know! I better run and hide! Uh, is that Daisy? Yeah, I gave her a makeover. Oh, <laughs> Uh, that was a really interesting makeover you gave her, Molly. What, you don't like it? Um, uh, well... <laughs> well, I guess it was kind of terrible. Oopsie. So, what what are you doing here, Luke? Oh, I came to ask you of something uh, kind of important. Molly, I can't believe you turned me into a clown! Oh, this makeup won't even come off! Okay, well, I'll be there in a second, Daisy! Uh, what... What did you have to ask me, Luke? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just if you uh, did your homework. Uh, not yet. Well, you better so you don't get detention. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, Daisy, where are you? I'm hiding. I don't want anybody to see me. Daisy, I'm sure we can get the makeup off. Hello, I've got a package delivery for Daisy. Is she here? Daisy, they're... They're, they're delivering a package here for you. But why aren't they delivering it at my house? Oh, this is a special delivery from Amazon. I'll leave it at the door. Daisy, come on. Let's go see what you got. It's probably some sort of cool present. Or maybe you won a major award. Oh, I did win the science fail. Maybe I'm getting a trophy. Whoa, Daisy, that's a huge box. I wonder who it could be from. It says, from my secret admirer. What? You have a secret admirer? Yeah. Look what's inside. It's a stuffed monkey? That's a baby toy. I think it's adorable. Besides, I don't have a date for prom yet, and it's not going to be very easy looking like a clown, so I'll take all the secret admirers I could get. Uh, now I have to see if I could get into a different spa. I'm a mess. What a day, Molly. What a day. Well, at least we're having an awesome campfire at the lake tonight. Yeah, but I only have one more day into the school dance. Well, at least you don't look like a clown anymore. Yeah, thanks to you. Hey, you want to roast some marshmallows? Sounds fun, Molly. Let's do it. Are you excited about prom, Molly? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I told you I'd be just as happy staying at home eating Doritos. Molly, you can't just stay at home and eat Doritos all the time. You have to get out and have adventures. I don't know if I'd call the prom an adventure. Well, look at me. I have a secret admirer. That's pretty adventurous. Yeah, until you find out that it's like a cat or something. A cat? <laughs> or a llama. Maybe a llama wants to take you to prom. <laughs> <laughs> nice llama sound, Molly. Sometimes I swear you're the most annoying sister on the planet. Well, I try. It's an achievement that I work hard towards. Oh, boy. Trust me, you're gonna win it. Hello over there on the beach. I have an Amazon delivery uh, for Daisy. What? Another package? Amazing. Have a great day. Thank you. What's it say, Daisy? What's it say? It says to Daisy, from your secret admirer. Oh, and she. What is it, Daisy? What is it? It's, it's red roses. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. And inside the card, it says, I'm going to ask you to the dance soon. Whoa. You really do have a cool secret admirer. <laughs> Looks like you're going to prom with a llama. <laughs> Molly, it's not a llama that's sending me all this stuff. Llamas can't even write, duh. Well, maybe the cat helped the llama. Do you even hear yourself sometimes? Do you even hear yourself? <laughs> Oh, Molly, we stayed here so late, it's already morning. <laughs> Molly, we better get some sleep before the big dance or we'll be tired. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> 
Molly! Okay, sorry. Whoa, was that a limo? Hey, hey, you're parking behind us, rude! Who is that, Molly? I didn't know anybody famous lived in Brookhaven. Can't see who it is. Whoa, who is that? Um, I don't know. I've never seen him before. Ahem, <clears throat> hello. Um... Hi, who are you and why are you blocking us in? Yeah, who are you? I am Boss Baby. What? But, but you're not a you're not a baby. Yeah, you're not a baby. What are you talking about? And who's who are you, who are you the boss of? Pretty much everyone. <laughs> you may remember me from my movies, Boss Baby. Wait, what? You're the baby from Boss Baby? Whoa, he's a teen. Now, but surprisingly, his face still kind of looks like a baby. Why do you think I'm still famous? Actually, I haven't seen a movie from you in a long time. Yeah, what happened? Well, I grew up a little bit, and and I'm just I don't know. I've got to wait till my baby face goes away, and then I'll be a, I'll be. I'll be a star again. Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. Um, that's nice. Could you move your limo now? Well, I have a question for you. Um, okay. She doesn't have time for this. We didn't sleep all night. We were out here at the beach and we have to go to bed. So, because the prom is tonight. So, could you please move your limo? What is your real name anyway? Boss Baby. No, we saw it on the movie. It's Theodore. Don't call me that. Call me Boss Baby. Okay, Boss Baby. You still do have a baby face though. Like, see? Seriously, look at your baby face. That is really kind of weird. Hey, stop getting so close to my face. This face is worth a billion dollars. Yeah, okay. Um, move your limo, please. Fine, but I'll be back to ask my question. All right, bye. Wow, I can't believe that guy. Weird and rude. Wow, can you believe it? Boss Baby lives in Brookhaven. You mean Theodore? No, he said his name was Boss Baby. No, that's his famous name. His real name is Theodore. Well, I'm surprised that he lives in Brookhaven. Why? Brookhaven's really nice. Yeah, but he's so famous. I figured he'd live in Hollywood or something. Hmm. This is a delicious donut. Ah, and another episode of Brook High, my favorite. Who could that be? Oh, no. It's Theodore. What do you want? Uh, I want you to not open the door up into me. Jeez. Sorry, come on in if you must. Where's Daisy? I have a very important question for her. Uh, boss baby, she's not here. Okay, well, I guess you could make me a snack then. I don't want to make you a snack. I don't want a snack. You need to make me one right now. <laughs> Wow, I see why they still call you Boss Baby. Because you're bossy and you act like a baby. You're so mean. I just want a snack. Make me one. Fine. Wow, rude. Here, we have some waffles. I only took one bite out of it. What? You took a bite out of my waffle? Ew. <laughs> okay, well, here, you can eat it. Go ahead. Hmm. These are actually really good. Make me more. What? Okay, fine. Good grief. This guy eats a lot for being a baby. Well, I guess he's not a baby anymore. Here you go. Mmm. These are good. Now give me some ice cream. Seriously? How much am I supposed to feed you here? Boy, you're going to be pretty fat, boss baby, if you're not careful. What? What did you say? Nothing. Here's your ice cream. <laughs> Wow, you're having a temper tantrum? How old are you, by the way? Never mind. I'm gonna be a baby forever. Okay, well, Daisy's not here, so um, you should probably get going. Feed me more snacks. No, sorry. I have to watch the rest of Brook High. Very important things to do. Bye, boss baby. I'll be back when Daisy gets home. Okay, bye. Oh, wow, that was insane. Oh, I guess I could take a little nap before the prob. <sighs> gigantic i'm still hungry feed me boss baby i don't have anything else to feed you please please don't eat me ah! oh my gosh boss baby ate me ew ew boss baby ate me yuck and i'm i'm ew so gross wake up molly wake up wake up molly molly wake up you're gonna miss the plum molly how oh, no boss baby no no Oh my gosh, it was just a dream. Molly, you must have eaten something really weird before you fell asleep for that nap. Molly, wake up. Prom's gonna start soon. And I made a big decision. Wait, what? What big decision? Oh, that dream was so creepy. I have 
decided I'm going to the dance with Theodore. What? No, you can't. He wants to eat everything. He's going to eat the world. What? what are you talking about? Don't be ridiculous, Molly. I have to go get ready. I have to look beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe she's going to the dance with that giant baby who's a boss. Oh, Get dressed, Molly. Fine. Is this better, Daisy? I'm ready. Look who's here, Daisy. It's your date, Theodore. That's boss, baby. Okay, boss, baby. Just don't eat me. Molly, what are you talking about? Just be careful, Daisy. He eats all of the snacks. That's not nice. That's not nice. I mean, what if you want a snack? Molly, relax. Boss Baby seems really cool. Um, yeah, sure. I'm going for a snack. Don't follow me, Boss Baby. Why would I want to follow you? I'm here for Daisy. Okay, whatever. Ooh, they've got pizza at the school dance. And Doritos. An apple. Who wants that at a school dance? Hmm, I'm super thirsty, though. Glug, 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 glug. Uh, hey, Molly. Luke, hey! You're at the dance. I didn't know if you were coming or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, you look beautiful. Wow. You you look super handsome. Was there something you wanted? I mean, you can hang out with me if you want and stuff. I, I, I just didn't know if you wanted to, I don't know, ask me something. Actually, I did want to ask you something. What is it? Okay, so ugh, this whole time I wanted to ask you to the dance. What? You did? Yeah, and, um, well, the truth is, is I, I, I like you. You do? Yeah, I do. And I was wondering, do you want to dance with me? Yeah, I'd love to. Let's go. Whoa, Daisy, you're a great dancer. Thanks, boss baby. So aren't you. I, I, I really like you. What? You do? Yeah, like a whole lot. Ew, you... You like Boss Baby? Yeah, what's wrong with that, Marley? Oh, he just, I don't know. He's hes a baby and he's bossy and, 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 and he's got stinky breath. What? That's not nice, Marley. Well, I'm just saying. Well, you're stuck with me now, Molly. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, no! Molly, so what about that dance? Um, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Well, you seem like something's wrong. Don't you want to dance? I don't know. I'm just worried about my sister. And where is everybody? Yeah, I was wondering that too. How come we're the only people at the dance? I don't know. Boss Baby seems kind of evil. Come on, Molly. Let's forget about that and just dance. Whoa, Molly, you're a super good dancer. Thanks, Luke. So do you wonder why we're the only ones here? <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. What? What plan? You see, I set up this school dance just so that you would fall in love with me, Daisy. Wait, it's not an official school dance? No, I put the whole thing on just so that I could ask you here. Wow, actually, that's really sweet. No, it's not. It's creepy. It's creepy. Molly, mind your own business. You're dancing with Luke. And I'm talking to Boss Baby. I think it's really sweet. OMG. Oh, my sister's in love with Boss Baby. It's my first day of kindergarten. OMG, this is gonna be so cool. Well, I think so. I I've never been to kindergarten before. Okay, I just gotta brush my teeth. Wait a minute, I can't reach the sink. How am I gonna go to school now? I I'm too short. I can't go to school with stinky breath. Molly, what are you doing? Hurry up, we have to go. I can't go to kindergarten. What? We have to go. I'm gonna be late to school and I want to start off with my amazing career on the right foot. Uh, but but I can't go. Why? Because I can't reach the sink to brush my teeth. Well, you'll have to skip it, Molly. I don't want to skip it. I have stinky breath. Well, you can say that again. P.U., your breath does stink. Okay, I have an idea. I'll, um, I'll crouch down and you can jump on me to get on the sink. Are you sure, Daisy? Absolutely, Molly. Try it. Uh, I, uh, wait, I made it! Awesome! Now brush your teeth and hurry up, we have to go! Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Oh, there it is! La, 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 la. Molly, how can I start my career as a rocket scientist if you don't get to school on time? <laughs> that reminds me of um when we first started daycare, remember? Yeah, I think you made us late that day, too. What? No, I didn't! I think I did a bag at the bar, I'll go right there! Molly, he's not happy about coming to take you. I want my mommy back. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Your mommy will come back, I know it. What if our mommy doesn't come back, Daisy? She left us here too. Molly, 
buddy. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Don't cry. Mom will be back soon. Hello. <laughs> Would you guys like to come over and play in the circle? We're gonna read books and stuff. <laughs> Molly, why are you crying again? I have a dirty diaper! Oh my goodness, Molly, that's horrible! Well, maybe one of these nice people would change your diaper. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what? Well, I'm ready to be my friend! Molly, that's not a good way to start your new um career at daycare. Well, hello there, little girl. Why don't you come over here? There's gonna have lots of fun. We're gonna play games and we're gonna have snacks. Where you going with my sister? Come back here. That's my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I got a new diaper. Where well, I got a new diaper? I make poo poo. No one changed my diaper. <laughs> Molly, are you laughing or crying? Crying. And I'm laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Molly can't make up her mind if she's happy or sad. Get that over. Get that over. You dropped me! I get to take her kill one star. I gave it one star too. He dropped me. I want my mommy. Don't worry. Stop crying. Seriously, your mommy will come back eventually. Yeah. Molly, let's go play with toys. Okay, go play with toys. Ooh, you a stinky diaper. I know! No one changed my diaper! Woo! Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi! Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy we went to daycare. I know, it was kind of fun though, right? Um, yeah, once we got used to going. I bet that's exactly how kindergarten's gonna be. Yeah. Probably. I think we'll eventually like it, but maybe the first day will be a little scary and a little different. True. Well, we better get going. The school bus is here. Yeah, let's go. Hello, class, and welcome to kindergarten. I'm so glad you're all here today. I know you're going to do awesome on your journey through school. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. I'm Mrs. Smith. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Oh, this is so lame. Why am I even... At school. To learn so you can be super smart and get any kind of job you want or start a business or something when you get older. It's a really your choice, but you need a good education. That's what my mom and dad say. Whatever. This is so boring. Okay, well, I'd like everyone to split into groups, please. And um, we're going to practice our ABCs. Can you believe this, Mr. Monkey? It's our first day of kindergarten. We're going to learn our alphabet. Why do you still have a, that stuffed animal? Stuffed animals are for babies. Um, because I'm still little, so I have a stuffed animal. If you're a grown-up, you use a laptop like me. Uh, but I'm not a grown-up. I'm still a kid. Well, I just think you're a loser. Wait, what? You're a loser. Huh? What? Why would you say that? And I don't like your monkey. He's ugly. <laughs> Molly, is everything okay over there? She's just crying like a big baby. Sarah, we try to use nice words in this kindergarten class. Molly, what's wrong? You want my mom? I want to go home. Oh, Molly, it's normal to miss your mom on your first day of school, but, you know, it's going to be okay. We're going to have fun, right? No, this isn't fun at all. I don't like school. Well, Molly, I think you might change your mind eventually. <laughs> now, let's go to lunch and see if we can have a much better day. Well, okay. Well, that girl's really me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Something smells really good. It's... Is that what I think it is? Molly, are you okay? I am now. That smells like pizza. Daisy, did you know that they have pizza at the school? Yeah, I, I knew because they sent mom the, the uh, cafeteria menu a week ago. Holy guacamole. I picked my favorite subject at school. What is it, Molly? Lunch. Oh, brother. Uh, how much longer do I have to be in here, Mrs. Smith? Molly, your detention just started. And it's already boring. Molly, take out a piece of paper and a pen, please. And write, I will do my homework about a hundred times. 
Oh man. Molly, you have to start taking school seriously. It's very important that you get good grades and you learn. It will set you up for the rest of your life. I mean, you wouldn't want to be stuck in detention forever, would you? What? Forever? I can hardly make it through five minutes of this. This is horrible. Exactly. So you need to start applying yourself and doing better. What you do now is going to affect you in high school and for the rest of your life. Wow. Never thought about it like that. Can I be dismissed? I'm hungry for pizza day. Molly, I know that lunch is your favorite favorite subject, but you're not getting out of detention. Oh, man. Miss Smith, Miss Smith. Oh, there you are. You wanted to see me? Molly, are you in detention again? No talking to the prisoner, please. Prisoner? Yeah, Molly, you're in detention jail again. What can I do for you, Mrs. Smith? Well, Daisy, I see you got another hundred on your test. I just can't even believe it. What a goody two-shoes. Molly, remember you're writing. I will remember my homework about a million times. Anyway, I have something special to give you because you won the mathathon too. Really? OMG! Really? Could you be any more perfect? Ugh, so annoying. Yep, here you go. <laughs> it's your very own mathathon trophy. Whoa! I love math. It's so awesome. Actually, who did that question on the board? They got it wrong. That would be me! Molly, if you did your homework, this wouldn't happen. Well, Daisy, I just want to congratulate you on being an amazing student. You're well on your way to rocket science. I know, right? I've wanted this since day, Kale. Ugh, sisters are so annoying. Uh, Mrs. Smith, I've been here a really long time and, um, the school is flooding. Well, Molly, your detention is not over yet. But, but the water is up to my knees. I have to go. <sighs> okay, Molly, I guess your detention can be over. But remember what I said about starting to apply yourself at school. Now, you should probably evacuate. Huh, bye. Oh my gosh, it's flooding everywhere in the school. I better get to higher ground. Plus, I totally need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, look, here comes a loser. Whatever, Sarah. Ugh, rude. I've had the worst day ever. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't do your homework and you got detention again. You spent your life in there. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Ugh, what a loser. I'm not a loser, Sarah. Yeah, you are. And you're a little bit ugly, too. What? That wasn't nice. You're, you're, just, you're just bullying me. Whatever, loser. I've got to talk to my friends. See you later. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you just come into the bathroom and you're mean to me. Correction, you came into the bathroom. Ugh, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Molly, maybe coming to the beach today wasn't such a good idea. Holy guacamole, there is no beach. It's completely flooded. Molly, be careful. The water's over your head. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get to higher ground. <laughs> Molly, what are we gonna do if the whole town is flooded? Too late, Daisy. Holy guacamole. Daisy, what are we gonna do if this keeps flooding? We're gonna be stuck here, Molly. And maybe, maybe we'll do, wow. Oh my gosh, that's terrible, Daisy. Hello up there. Do you need help? I've got a floating um, four-wheeler. Whoa, you mean a boat? No, it's a four-wheeler with floating tires. Come on, I can help you. Why ask questions, Molly? Just get on the floating four-wheeler. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to get on. I, I can't get on. Oh my God, I'm in a tram. Hold on to me. I'm Luke, by the way. Oh, hi, I'm I'm Molly. Hey, you too. Are you going to remember me? I'll be back for you. Whoa. Whoa, Luke, be careful. Don't worry. I'm an expert at driving these floating four-wheelers. Okay. Whoa, I can see that you are. You just crashed again. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm a little nervous. I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you. What? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Okay, I I'm going to go rescue the other girl. That other girl's my sister. Her name's Daisy. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute. Wait, what's your name? My name's Molly. My name's Luke. See you in a minute. Uh, bye, Luke. OMG. He's so nice. And he's so cute. Oh, I really like him. Daisy, Luke brought you back. Yeah, he's really nice, huh? And so cute. What? Molly, did you fall for Luke? Um, well, uh... You did, Molly! Look, the flood is gone. Ah, oh, thank goodness. That was crazy. Hey, guys! <laughs> Look, the flooding's all gone and the sun's out. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. Thanks so much for uh, rescuing... Uh, uh, re uh, uh, she means rescuing us. Yeah, sorry. Got a little tongue-tied there. No problem. Hey, um, so I'll see you in school tomorrow? Yeah, I never noticed you in school before. That's because I just moved here. Oh, well, um, maybe you have the same teacher as me. I have Mrs. Smith for math and English. Me too. We could sit next to each other tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ugh, did you guys see that vlog? It was so insane. Wait a minute. Why am I talking to you? Oh, who are you? Oh, hi. I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> uh, so are you going to the dance on Friday? Um, excuse me, but Luke and I were talking. Actually, I've got to get going. <laughs> I'm going to be late for dinner and I'm starving. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Luke. Ah, oh, he's so dreamy. What? Don't even think about it, loser. I think he's going to be my boyfriend. What? No, he's not. He's going to be my boyfriend. No. What would he want to do with a loser like you? Pff, I can't even believe he talked to you. It's just because he's a nice person. What? That's not true. Yeah, it is. See you later, loser. Tomorrow, when I ask him to the dance, everything's going to be amazing. What? No! Where's our teacher? Like, she's late for school. Does that mean she gets detention? It's probably still flooded where she is, Sarah. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I just walk into the classroom and just ask her. Oh, my gosh. It's Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> oh, he's about to ask me. Oh, uh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Luke. Okay, so I'll just spare you, like, of feeling nervous because I know I'm gorgeous and stuff, and it would be hard to ask me the dance the answer is yes what he he asked sarah to the dance sorry molly i know you really like luke actually wait a minute sarah i i wasn't gonna ask you to the dance wait what i was going to ask molly what you you were yeah you're so cool, Molly. Would you go to the dance with me? I brought you some flowers. I'm hoping you'll say yes. Yeah, of course I'll go to the dance with you. What? This is preposterous. I cannot believe this. I'm out of here. Ugh, this is horrible. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are going to the dance together. Wow, Luke. This is going to be so much fun going to the dance. Yeah, I think so too. I can't believe I get to take you. Wow, this is YouTube gold. I'm going to make a show about growing up in Beacon High School. I'm going to call it Brook High. Wow, Daisy, that's actually a great idea. Except for not of my life. But Molly, you do go to Brook High. And you're going to the dance with Luke. That's right. I sure am. <laughs> I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people too! Uh, Molly, raccoons aren't people. They're animals, you know? Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh? Laugh at a time like this. It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well, then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot, so I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no-go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy and I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly, I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers! Looney Tunes! Molly, knock it off, seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me, it's not as cool as you think. Whoa, it looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look, Brookie, 
you were right. It's a blizzard out here. Brr, it's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean, if if it's that bad out. No, it's, it's, uh, you can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house, and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't going to do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like 10 minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school for at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls. Well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do. I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly. I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> Was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No? Was it yours? No? It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't heal someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used that used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay. So, it's okay. You can say it. Molly, he's trying. Yo, I better go start a fire. That that might warm him up some. Good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I... I am you 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 What? Your blah 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 blah? What's a blah 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 blah? Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, I'm your brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop. Jeepers. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, Frozen Dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, 
Oh, that's much better. Oh. oh, look. He's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look. He's not blue anymore. He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh. I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, I probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning. I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. It's because I've been doing a lot of research. And I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just, I just got the records this morning. And I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow. But I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am! Our fans know everything about our lives! And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long-lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted, and I wasn't. And... And I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Uh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I, I never was around you guys, but, but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Brookie, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out. I'm, I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters and I'm your brother yeah what are you talking about Daisy don't be rude to Levi he just she just saved our house um well uh Daisy I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out what yeah why don't you um become my plumber or something Molly that's not very nice well I'm just telling you your booty is hanging out oh uh, whoops <laughs> I guess this um these pants are a little too small yeah you think so Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes. Because we were siblings pale, and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira, 
My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well, then I can come in. Um, oh, man. You look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well, I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart, too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally! Well, I'm playing Roblox, and Bookie's playing Roblox, too, so uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah! How about you, Levi? I love Roblox! Are you guys noobs, though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know, a creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah! We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do! You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will in a minute. I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Good morning. Are you awake? I did your job of a... Um... Good morning. Good morning. Wait a minute. Brookie Cookie was sleeping in your crib, Daisy. Where, where, where is she? Brookie? Brookie? I I don't know where she went. Oh my gosh. We have to find her. She's she's gone. Oh my goodness. Where could she be? Oh, she's not in the bunk beds, which makes sense because she's so little. I, I don't think she could climb up there. I'm sure she's somewhere, Mom. Mm, what's for breakfast? I want a bottle. You have to wait, Molly. I have to find Brookie Cookie. Whoa! Ow! I fell down the stairs. Oh, are you okay? Come here. It's okay. Come on. I'll help you down the stairs. I did it, but I don't want my baby. Oh, that's right. I forgot Daisy. Okay, I gotta go back and get Daisy. You stay here, Molly. Okay. La la la, I want a bottle, da de 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 wee, jumping on the couch, wee, <laughs> wee, so much fun, so much fun, wee, da 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 ba ba ba, ow, 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 okay, try again, da 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 ba da da ba, Molly, you're not supposed to be jumping on the couch, get down from there right this instant, wee, it's fun, no, you're gonna fall and get a bonk on your head. Remember last time. Ah, oh, it's okay. Let's go camping. Yeah, da -da -da -ba. camping. No, we're not going camping. We have to find Brookie Cookie. Hi, <laughs> in here, Mom, in here. <laughs> Brookie Cookie sleeping in the dog bed. Ah, oh, good morning. Good morning, Brookie. Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Sleeping in the dog bed. What? Bookie Cookie? Oh my gosh! How'd you end up in the dog bed? Well, Daisy was hogging the crib, so I came down here and did it with the papa. Wee! I'm gonna get in the dog bath. Molly, don't get in the. Ugh, okay, whatever. Does this mean I still have to give you a regular bath if you took a bath in the dog bath? Nope, I'm all clean. <laughs> now what's for breakfast? Yeah, I'm starving. Da -da 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 -da. Where's Daisy now? Daisy? I'm right here. Sheesh, open your eyes. I can't. I'm still tired. Ooh, toast. That looks good. Maybe I can make a breakfast sandwich. 
Let's see what I've got. Oh, yeah! Mm. How about some nice fruit for breakfast? No! I'm eating an egg and tomato sandwich! Oh, Brother O'Malley, that really sounds disgusting. It's really good. You should try it. No, thanks. I think I'll just have something normal. Egg and tomatoes and ew. It's very good! Uh, I think I'll try it. I don't know, but I'm hungry! <laughs> we don't have to cry about it. What are you, a baby? Routines with three babies. What was I thinking? Don't lie, Mom. You love us all. Of course I love you all, but seriously, three babies. Molly, what are you doing? I'm riding on your shoulders. Giddy up, horsey! Molly, we're not playing horse right now. We have to make sure everyone's had their breakfast. And then will you change my diaper? Ew! No one wants to change your stinky diaper! Molly, I'm a baby. You have to change my diaper. No, I don't have to change it! Yeah, but mom does. Okay, girls. Okay. Um, why don't you guys line up and I'll change each of your diapers. No, I'm a big girl now. I'll use the potty. Yeah, wait, Molly. That's what you said yesterday before you poopy on the floor. I did not. Take that back. Rude. Closing the door. Whoa. That potty looks really big. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I might get flushed. I think this might be a bad idea. Molly, are you okay in there? Um, yeah. Oh, I need a shower. Hitting in the tub, the tub, the tub. Ah, much better. Molly, I'm so glad that you think you're a big girl now, but you should wait until I can be in there to give you a bath. Uh-huh, sure. Did you why is she taking a bath by yourself? Um, yep, and I'm totally clean. Wow, Molly, you really are getting to be a big girl. You did it all by yourself? Yep. Well, there's still some soap in your hair. Okay, fine, I'll go wash it out. <laughs> do you need some help, Molly? No, I can do it, I'm a big girl now. Oh, you're such a big girl, you still talk in baby talk. Okay, well, I can't help it, okay? I'm still sort of a baby, but I can do a lot of things on my own. Okay, well, would you like to go to preschool? Um, no. Molly, preschool's gonna be fun. Come on. I don't want to go to preschool. I don't want to do it. I'm not going. Molly, we all have to go to preschool. It's good for us. I don't want to go. I'm gonna stay here and watch TV. Well, too bad. I'm hungry again. I'm hungry. Daisy, you just had breakfast. What are you talking about? You're hungry. Yeah, piggy. What, what are you eating? I'm eating a s'more. What? How come you got a s'more for breakfast? I didn't get a s'more for breakfast. <laughs> oh my goodness, girls. Come on, it's time for school. Fine, but I'm still mad I didn't get a s'more. And I pooped my pants. Oh, I need a vacation. Okay, here we are, right at preschool. I don't feel so good. Me either. Me either. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, my gosh. All of my babies are sick. Watch out. Everybody in town, watch out. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I don't feel so good. Everybody watch out. Don't hit me with your car. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take my babies to the hospital. You poor things. Hello, what can I do for you today? Wait, you can't go in there. Yes, this is an emergency. 911. Hello, what can I do for you? Oh, my gosh. Three sick babies. Holy guacamole. Please make them better. I go first. I don't feel good. Oh, it's nice to see you, Molly. Would you like me to heal your whole family? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Hart. Okay, girls, are you ready to go to preschool? Wait a minute. I was sick. I don't have to go to school. <laughs> no, you still have to go to preschool. What? No, I should get a sick day. <laughs> oh, Molly, quit crying about it. I can't help it. I'm a baby. I cry for no reason. <laughs> oh, Blue Wado, how'd I get stuck with her as a sister? Hey, you're mean. 
Okay, girls, here's your preschool. Wow, it's like pandemonium in here. There's eggs and people and... I just want to sit down in my seat. Go ahead, Molly, have a seat. I can't fit, I'm too tiny! Wouldn't that mean you were too fat if you couldn't fit? I don't know, that's why I'm in school! Wow, I feel so much smarter already! I did it all by that, bye bye. Don't feel smart again. Well, Daisy, uh, keep trying. School's almost over, then we can go to the park. Yeah, the park! Woohoo! Like a very long recess, that would be great. Yes, I finished school! And that completes our morning routine. Where will mom get you? I don't know. We kind of wore her out this morning. She might be on vacation. <laughs> yeah, boy. Like moms ever get vacations. <laughs>
I've never seen a storm like this in my life. Holy like guacamole, Daisy. We better get inside. This is dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you so tall all of a sudden? I had a growth spurt. <laughs> when are you going to catch up? You seem so short lately. Holy moly. Um, teacher! Teacher! There's a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and the sky is purple and red. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we really are going to die! Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I don't think it's safe for us to be near these windows, though. We're all going to move into the gym since it's more centrally located inside the school, and we'll start setting up to spend the night there. Um, is there anything to eat? Because I'm starting to get hungry. Yes, I'll go to the cafeteria and pick up some supplies. You guys head to the gym and I'll meet you there. On second thought, look at all these windows to the outside. This is probably more dangerous than I thought. Are you like trained at all for disasters? OMG. Yes, I'm just a little bit nervous, okay? This is my first year as a teacher and I didn't expect to be stuck in a hurricane. It's okay. Um, just, just, um, basically take us to the auditorium and everything will be okay because there's no windows in there. Oh, Daisy, what would I do without you? You're the best student ever. Come on, everyone, to the auditorium. Okay, everyone file in, please. Single file, no pushing. I'm just going to pull up the weather channel again and see if there's any updates. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, panic! This is the worst hurricane Brookhaven has ever seen! Everything's flooded. Oh, make sure you get to high ground, but stay inside. Make sure you have enough food, but don't go to the grocery store. Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes! You never know what's going to happen next! Okay, we're turning off the iPad. That's just freaking me out. All right, everyone. I did find some uh, sleeping bags in the supply room. Must be they were there for emergencies. So I'm going to spread everyone's sleeping bag out up here on the stage. And this will be where we sleep tonight. And I also brought some snacks. Rookie, are you still freaking out? I'm, I'm sort of hyperventilating. Rookie, it's going to be okay. Everyone's safe. Just think of this as a really interesting sleepover. I mean, we had to invite, invite Sarah, but you know. Whatever. Like I'd ever come to a loser sleepover anyway. Well, Sarah, we'd probably invite you, even if you didn't want to come, just because we're nice like that. Well, I'm not nice like that, and I probably wouldn't come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! And we're in a hurricane! Yeah, but we're also having an amazing sleepover. According to this little instrument that I found in the science room that's supposed to measure the weather, but I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know what it's called. What? You don't know what it's called? Daisy, I can't even believe this right now. Uh, yeah, I feel a little, um sad in myself that I don't know what this meteorologist equipment is. I'll, I'll make notes and have to look this up when I get home. But anyway, according to that, the worst of the storm is happening right now. Ah, you could say that. There are actually some windows backstage and I did see some lightning. What? The teacher told us that, 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 that there was no windows in here. Well, it's the spot that's the least windows, Brookie, and the most protected. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I don't believe you. I'm starting to freak out, and now I really just want to cry. Brookie, I promise everything's going to be okay. Your best friend is right here. Okay, everybody, I brought some food. Bean burritos, tacos. Do you guys like Mexican food? Oh, my gosh. I love Mexican food. Oh, no. It's going to be terrible. What, the storm? No, you, after you eat that bean burrito. Oh, yeah. We don't want to feed Molly a bean burrito. Too late. Mm, this is actually quite delicious. Mm, this is so good. <coughs> oh, my God. Molly's farting already. She just took the first bite of a bean burrito. <coughs> Uh, I think I'd rather be out in the hurricane. What? It's not that bad. <coughs> Molly, you fought it ten times in the last five seconds. <coughs> Ew, Molly! That stinks so bad. Where's my gas mask? <laughs> I think there's an emergency in the gym. I mean, in the auditorium. Wait, where are we again? Brookie, you're still freaking out right now. It's gonna be okay, Brookie, I promise. And I have an extra bean burrito that I'm gonna eat. <coughs> Molly, please don't. <coughs> Molly! No more bean burritos for Molly. She's sworn to not eat anymore. Okay, class. I want everyone to get into their sleeping bags. Molly, no more bean burritos. Seriously. We all have to actually sleep in here. 
<laughs> can't believe we're sleeping in the auditorium at school. This is so weird. Yeah, but I think the storm is starting to pass now. I think you're right, class, but I think you should stay here for the night just to be safe. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. This was kind of stressful. I know what you mean. <laughs> this dress makes me laugh. Did I tell you that yet? Yes, like so many times. You're so annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Sarah, she's not annoying. She's my best friend and she can't help it. She's just scared. Yeah, I think we all will. But in the morning, we'll go home and hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully.